it's all I mean, emotion spray. I mean, I like cranberry juice, so I'm not saying that because of the cranberry phobia. juice is okay. Oh, don't worry. I liked it a lot more as a kid, but I feel like now it's just mm. it's all gonna make sense. Right? Do you prefer cran cranberry juice or cran apple? I'm sick of cranberries getting involved with other fruits. I, I just want them to be themselves. I'm sick of really. This. And sick I, of this. I, I, I'm this, not, this, this trans fruitness is getting. Old. I'm getting. I'm sick of this. I, I say <laughs> yes to trans fruitness. I think the fruits should meet the and fruits. mingle, and they should make the fruits. The fruits should the the fruit That's should fruits. get together. Like just, um, just, like just cranberry be yourself, cranberry. Cranberry. No, don't be afraid to mingle. You can't you know, be afraid. And these next we, we thing you know, we're gonna have they're gonna mix with pork chops. We're gonna have cran chops. It's gonna be out of cran chops. Oh, don't knock imagine going until you in, try the cran imagine, chop. Imagine seeing the sixty-four fluid ounce bottle of ocean spray cran chops, cran chop. and it's got this like reddish pinkish color to it, but it's really like cloudy because it's half pork chop. Oh my goodness! <laughs> On that it's note. like Thanksgiving in a bottle. Welcome. No, that would be that would be cranberry and turkey. To the cran cr cr cran turk cranky cran cran cranky. Sorry, I keep cutting off moments. Okay. You guys have got tur crans to talk about, and that's that's fine. I'll just continue to you know I'll just sit here. It's fine. It's fine. Right? No, it's fine. I I just I just want to say shout out to Ocean Spray, sponsor of this EFAP, sponsor of EFAP two seventy three. Which go to uh, go to allthatpower.oceanspray.com forward slash efap and put in the code efap to get 15 percent off your first 12 you'll never believe uh, that sponsorship we got it thanks to uh quib gift they, they that's had, right in one of the slots there was an ocean spray thing in there and we were like wait you guys work with them and they were like yeah we can get you the number yeah quib gift and ocean spray is the uh it's the team up of the century well i say it and like it's news but for. most people think of both whenever they think of one you know it's that popular yum kind of cool Whenever you open up a quib gift and you get that little, because Ocean Spray they make those little like like taster bottles, like they do for the the little li little tiny liquor bottles. You know they do that for all the different Ocean Sprays. They do it for you know cranberry original, cran apple, cranberry pomegranate, cran cherry, cran chop. Um, cran chop. That's that. Yeah. Telling you. It's really good. That. And now there's always they do, someone they do who stops that mixers. video. Cosmo oh, was that cocktail me? mixer, rum punch, strawberry. I've never, I've was. legitimately never used this before, so I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Yeah, don't hit play. <laughs> um, oh, I didn't hit play. I, I, I was trying to change my name. <laughs> okay, don't hit play anyone else either. All right. Oh, Welcome I can't to actually do it as a meme because I actually have my name as my thing, so then it'll yeah, you can't get away with it. Um, or I could just, or I could just do it and say, ah, oh, Fringy, why'd you do that? Didn't you hear him? I mean, you could, but then it would say rag, so that would ruin everything. Uh, oh, see, and then he did that? it, and then Fringy did it, and, and then he tried to blame me. That's crazy. It said rags paused. How about it's that? Rag. No, it didn't. It's <laughs> it actually <laughs> did. It, did. It, it didn't. It says user uh, Orly. User Orly. One of the critical errors in your I, plan. I'll tell you what. You I'm not even going to change my name. Theme. I'm just going to let you guys handle that. I have no idea how this website works. Utter, utter chaos. It's really simple. I, all you have to do is, as Fringy just demonstrated, you just have to press the little triangle down at the bottom left. Don't don't press the actual image. But if you press the little play pause at the bottom left, yeah. it play pauses it for everyone else. Yeah. So well, I meant to, I'm, I'm not even going to bother them. changing my name. I'm just going to. I'll just be whoever. It doesn't matter. I mean, we I've don't. never bothered ever, so <laughs> yeah. yeah, don't worry about it. Um, okay, so as you may or may not be aware, gentle viewer, uh, a steaming Sony sludge torrent has dropped furiously all over us, meaning the internet, I suppose, or culture as a whole, and many are what? discussing the power, the sheer power of the Webster, Madame herself, okay. the Webinator. Um, Mademoiselle the, Webbington. Everyone knows her so well from basically everything she's been in, be it comics or you know TV shows, anime, and all the movies she's been in before. That this is pretty exciting to see her uh, Sony movie debut of 2024. That's the one everyone's been looking for, and it finally released. But before we break it down, tell you what happened, and wonder if you'll actually believe us because we're in that particular. Uh, sort of world of film yet again, I wanted to instead first go over some of the things they've done in the marketing that are rather amusing. 
And so, uh, I oh, don't... you're trying to build up that hype. No, I like it. I, like it. I don't know what the opposite yeah. would be. I'm, I'm, uh, hype? like degrading the bringing the hype down, like crashing well, you, it down. The, the, the escalation. Muller, you've thumbnail. already made the thumbnail, so we're already in hype. <laughs> Everyone's already I saw, like, I gotta see the content. Uh, I'm so ready. I've, I see Madam Web on that ocean spray bottle, and I'm whoa, I'm psyched up. I'm ready to go. I am aroused. Now, I don't want you to see the whole trailer again. For anybody who has or hasn't, whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to a particular part, so you have context for something we see later. But this is the oh. famous meme part of the trailer. That's what we're playing for you at home, all right? Get ready. You're not ready, but here it is. <laughs> not how it works. I've seen that man before. So who is he? Ezekiel Sims. He was in the Amazon with my mom when she was researching spiders right before she died. Wait a second. That line. That I don't think that, that line is not in, in the, the movie. movie. No, no. It's not what? in the movie. That's probably it's worth not. saying oh, now, I guess. No. Yes. Sorry, chat. You will not see that mentioned in the movie at all. That line. They've oh. cut it out. It's gone. I guess they knew. There's not a really overly word, wordy dialogue in, in this movie anyway. Oh, so. yeah, the dialogue. Is oh, God, I have, yeah. we have so many lines many to talk about that are much funnier than the one in the fucking uh, trailer <laughs> anyway. Like, yeah, so, it's just so it's I interesting missed, that they took it out. I missed the line. Which one was it? Because I, I, I have two sets of headphones, and that one went through my, the wrong one. Which line was it? It's the... Uh... Oh, my God, are you Mark the Cyborg? <laughs> no, I just... I have editing headphones and then streaming headphones, and I had uh, that oh, one went the editing headphones. okay, yeah. It's okay. Why do you have two different headphones? Because uh, one is closed and one is open. Oh, okay. We, we can. Which one do you use for which? Do you edit with your closed or open? Closed headphones. Open. Uh, the open ones are for uh, streaming, so I can hear. What's ah, going so everyone else can hear what you're streaming. Okay, <laughs> that's true. Very true. <laughs> so I apologize. Great, Using great the power of Watch no, Together, I can show you it again, so you can appreciate it. And for anyone in chat who may have missed it, I've seen that man before. So who is he? Ezekiel Sims. He was in the Amazon with my mom when she was researching uh -huh. spiders right before she died. <laughs> it's, it's funny. It's just a funny It's line. incredibly clunky and hilarious and delivered, like, with such, all of these you know, uh... I mean, <laughs> Wait, are all the of whole... these gun people? They're not, they're not in the movie, are they? No, they gun weren't. No. All of this isn't in the movie. Right, it's, Which, a, it's uh... a modern superhero movie. It's, you know, the trailer's not the movie. <laughs> oh, okay. Those are two different it's things. It's just weird like, to see well, they, lines they, and visuals from things that they clearly shot and got ready, put in the trailer, and then the movie rolls around and it's just not present. Oh, I mean, this will be the extended edition. A, yeah, they reshot a shit ton of this. So. They unshot a lot of things. Apparently. Unshot apparently. So, right. Um. So, <laughs> this trailer was if only really they had not... predictive powers like <laughs> Madam yes. Web, they would have known to just this, shut it this down. This trailer essentially doomed the film to being memed. And, and um, yeah, it was which, it was, it was already slammed. on that trajectory. Yeah, but yeah, this trailer doomed it. It, it basically made people go like, "Oh, this is the new Morbius." Then, <laughs> not long after the trailer came out, Dakota Johnson left WMB and got a new representation at CAA for acting. Obviously, <laughs> what <are these>? um, <laughs> wait, what do these letters mean? WME and CAA. Those are, those are like two of the. I don't know what they mean, but they're like they're just agencies. Or 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 no, CAA they're, those... is like the top Hollywood agency, though. Yeah, so they're just they're just upgraded. agencies for yeah. Okay. Meaning that, um, right. uh, well, so and, uh... we, we, there's speculation. I don't think we've got any definitive confirmation, but the speculation is her agent got her into what they told her was a Marvel connected movie, right? Which is all the hype for all the actors. <laughs> and uh, I think there's even sure. a quote, it's not a part of this selection we've got, but um, that she saw, I can't remember if it was, uh, it was uh, uh, Elizabeth she Olsen, I think. bumped into Elizabeth Olsen and asked for advice on, like, yeah. how to do Marvel stuff, which is funny. Because <laughs> as much as you could even say being a part of, let's say, uh, you know, like, Echo is not really a part of the MCU, but being a part of Madam Web is hugely not a part of the MCU. This is very far away, and she... But uh, the thing is, know. it's like, oh, well, it's a Marvel movie. It's a Marvel movie. Yeah, it's a Marvel movie. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, well, it is. Well, I mean, in terms of <laughs> technically quality, that, it's a Marvel movie. Technically, that's not a lie. It is a Marvel character. All they all they had to say was, it's in a Marvel-connected universe. They didn't tell her which one it was, though. Um, well, I mean, it is a Marvel movie. It is. And it, it's just and not it a Marvel is a connected universe, movie. Just, of, uh, just of the bottom-of-the-barrel C-list and D-list characters. 
<laughs> this is like the grimy floor that the barrel sits on top of. Well, yeah, that, yeah. I think that's how that went. She eventually realized and then the agent was like, oh, shit. Okay, wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Damn. Oh, it's a bad thing I'm your agent. Oh. And then uh, it would have dawned on him quite quickly that she was promoted now as, as being a part of a movie that's just a fucking joke that no one cares about, which is infinitely funny, let's be honest. Mm -hmm. um, I w I really wish that when that revelation kind of occurred, that she was able to have enough time to really chew the scenery, make it super hammy, because that would have been that could have potentially saved this movie as an experience. If well, the, uh, the, yeah. the, the, uh, we connects them all. We will get to uh, <laughs> opinions on the film after we're done with this section. Don't you worry. But yes, these are the uh, started promotional like posters for her. And, uh, it's just her face and all of them. It's exactly the same. It has a funny, funny impression. It has this blank, flat. Yeah. Um, uh, this is, yeah, this is like, this is what you look like when you're distracted and you're supposed to be looking at something else, I think. <laughs> these are these are literally all the same. Picture, yes. That's why. Yeah. They're and it's so blast. Like looking blast. at all four of them. They're not the best even... one. They just they just photoshopped her head onto different like different oh no she's wearing the same outfit in all of them too. Her web connects yeah, them all. Yeah, that's her best outfit. Every time. And every time there's a web because get it web also maybe yeah. Spider Man but no she doesn't no, wear no, the no, uh, Spider Man that, that red undershirt that red shirt she's wearing I don't believe that makes well, an that appearance. That's the, 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 the actual yeah, costume maybe at that, the they, very that end. they show uh, at the yeah. very 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 end. Yeah, we'll get to all. I, I just find these posters mm -hmm. very amusing. That's costume uh, these are really good this makes me want to see the movie again speaking um, of her costume the uh right. and the image for this efab this was how people got the full reveal of her costume i find that so <laughs> I, I mean I even that look like her. that's not her that doesn't just, look that's not her i think it might be him with, with loads of photoshopping mean, i think that's a different human being it's a solid tie-in. I mean, they it's a solid clearly the color tie of the costume like... was was cranberry red. They were like, "What can we do for some uh, advertisement here? We'll get we'll get ocean Ooh, spray." Ooh, that's a good sure. superhero name, cranberry red. Cranberry red. Ooh. There you go. That's a good superhero. Oh. I'd I'd watch hey, cranberry sorry. red. You say so. Yeah, <laughs> cranberry red's great. <laughs> Okay. Um, Delicious. I what, what is Cranberry Red's, Red's you powers, know nuts? She's tart, but sweet. Affordable there are, and delicious fruit-flavored beverages There are absolutely going to be web tards out there who are like, this is the best fucking thing that's ever happened, and holy shit, look at how they revealed it. That's so cool that it's on, like, an ocean spray. How many, how many of those people Japanese do you think exist? Seven, spray. maybe six, and they're from the same you know family. What? It's not often that I apologize to other countries on behalf of my own, but I feel like it might be warranted <laughs> with Madame Webb. <laughs> Maybe we all owe an apology just to. I, the, I can't the think of anything else. I, as an American, I can't think of anything else to apologize to Japan for. Uh, oh yeah, but, there's, not, there's absolutely nothing. That's right. But to be fair, we actually started this one, so I apologize for Madame Webb. <laughs> We didn't mean Honestly, it. Honestly, the, wor the worst the worst thing to happen to uh, Japan from America is just this influx of weeaboos that go over there every year expecting to, like... Or this uh, image. Yeah. Like... <laughs> or that, that one is <laughs> really funny. Why? It why? Look, it looks why? like a fake... It, it looks like an air-generated person. But why is she saying stop? See, that's stop. Because you, oh, she's <laughs> trying to warn us. Her premonitions. She's trying to warn us to change. Yeah, that's Sena. at the bo that's at the back of the ocean spray bottle. She's telling you not to litter. I, I think the reason why <laughs> at the bottom <laughs> of the ocean spray I bottle. Think, I think the reason why this one is really funny. Talk to is the because hand. You see the other one where it's like, oh, so they they specifically made one with your hand up, <laughs> fate like right at the camera for some reason, saying like stop. Stop buying that. Hold, hold it right there, crying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get you. They definitely that that hand is definitely photoshopped in there. Like that's yeah, it's fake. Yeah, it's <laughs> I think the person is everything's photoshopped. It's a photo. It looks like that's those it. um those little emoji memes with. Let me see. This. I'll just type in gun. There's got to be one in here. Yeah, like Jay's got one. I've got one for like my little goober peepos. It's just really. This shitty. would make a good emoji for the um for the EFAP Discord. Whenever someone says something cringe, you just have Madam Web. Stop right there. Stop. You're stop posting there. cringe. I you am, stop that. I am ca I'm Cassie Webb. I have seen where your cringe leads, and uh, I don't like it. <laughs> Stop. I'm Madam Web, and I'm telling you to stop. Yeah, this is what I compare it to. See this little peepo with his gun? 
it's the <laughs> same level of effort. But you know what? It, does it not just get you so ready for a movie? You're like, yeah, I want to see what this girl gets up to. I mm. didn't. I haven't seen Captain America on an ocean spray bottle. I haven't seen Thanos. Now, on an ocean um, spray bottle. No. Where we shall go Sometimes. next? Go, uh, to be fair, this uh, this is all stuff I found out thanks to uh, at Nova Mania 17's account collecting it. Um, these images. There's uh, there's some more stuff, but uh, I would ask because I don't think we need the watch together now. Um, I would put it in there with Twitter videos and stuff, but it gets all complicated. So instead, you open up this little thread that I am graciously providing you. You must scroll down okay. to things that uh, if you can have the like this is a, you guys specifically in the call. If you uh, go to the the gifts, there's four promotional gifts. Oh yes, yeah. Uh, okay. I'll just I'll oh, just show okay. that for the people at home. These. Oh God! That looks... <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh yeah, these oh, are these no. are high quality. These are high quality right here. <laughs> oh, these are these are great! Wow, this is so they funny. Get... Oh my goodness! <laughs> what? <laughs> they zoom in and then they zoom out and then they zoom in. And they... I don't understand. Is that after like... you've seen, like after you've seen the movie, though. The context of these being gifts that they made yeah. seems all the more like um, like you're lying. Yeah, you it, know? Yeah. it's a bit of a ruse, isn't it? Because this is just not the film. Like even even though it's cringe in its own way, this is not like yeah. a part of the these film. These are lies. These this isn't. Well, I mean, they're in well, the this film. Is to remind you, this is to remind you that it is a superhero film, even like very aggressively, <laughs> even though. Even though you only see these costumes for maybe like a minute total, mm -hmm. and not even in reality, in like mental flashback dreams or flash forwards, <laughs> yes. I guess. Uh, I find that all very amusing. But then it should be easy to follow. Next up, we've got um, Dakota Johnson promoting the film uh, on some <laughs> side. But if uh, we'll we'll sync it up for you guys at, uh, in the call as well. So if you go on zero, I'm there. Ready? Yep. Mm -hmm. I didn't hear two more yeps. <laughs> wait, wait, oh, I'm wait, sorry, wait yes. what are we doing? <laughs> I totally we forgot. Are, go to the go to the twenty five second uh Dakota Johnson little, little promo thing. video. Yeah. Ah, I see. Yeah, we're gonna watch it together. It's gonna be great. On Twitter. Yeah, because this is the easiest way I can get this done. But um Dog Hour, are you ready as well? I am I am ready. I was actually going already. I just rewound it again. Oh, fair enough. Okay, so <laughs> three, two, one, go. So while my character in the movie may be able to see the future, I also can. And I know what the future brings. I know that when you see Madam Webb, you're going to love it. In fact, I think you're going to see it twice. Madame Boutina. <laughs> That's <weird. laughs> God, she seems what is what is so that? Interesting. That's weird. My, my she, favorite. Like, I love the little like. Me. Why does she want my lip. dick? <laughs> well, <laughs> you Why gotta get in that can... uh, that theater. That so, was the first take off a teleprompter. 100%. Well, yeah, she would have recorded I mean, like probably fifteen of those in a row. That's how it, that's how this works, right? With these sorts of videos. Yeah, but that yeah, was that definitely the first take. Day, that was probably the only one she was thing. willing to do. That's my guess. I mean, probably, yeah. You probably want to go home at five, you know? It's like, don't want to um, be working overtime for Madam Web. So this next one, if you can sync on that ready as well, uh, is a sponsored video. And I don't know how AI voices, the, not even, like, I, don't, I shouldn't even say AI, you know, like Microsoft Sam shit. I don't know how that gets into these videos. But if you ever wondered if they would ever do that, here you go. I'll try and be careful with the uh, copyright music here and there as well. It's but... the next one down. It's the, it's yeah, the next one, right one below down. it. Ready. Ready? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yes. Three, two, mm -hmm. one, go. What if you could see the future? Come on, let's go. That's... <laughs> <laughs> what if you could see the future? <laughs> oh, man. Just wait for it. You got another one as well. What if you had the power to change oh, it? Oh, my God. <laughs> really? They couldn't just pay someone to. No, I don't know. Like, <laughs> They paid so many money for this. What's wrong with you? <laughs> uh, One of wow. you could see the future. Why did yeah, that's, just uh, that's really bad. Yeah. Just so, say it. It's just two little lines. If you skip to the, 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 the trailer. Johnson say it. 
it skipped to the next video, and then we we will have to provide a bit more context for those at home with this one. It's been said already, but the uh, you have Madam Web and then three spider ladies, and they're all going to be, you know, working through this movie, and you're like, oh, so anything could happen. It's like, well, in reality, as was said, no instances of them, the three spider ladies gaining their powers or building their suits and wearing them and doing things in them. You only get a future flash. Uh, two of them. Yeah. And they're both like in the context of things you have yet to see or understand the context of. So there are no spider girls in this really at all. Uh, not even really Madam Web in, in her like Madam Webbiness right until the end. You get to see like a snippet. So with that in mind, check out this next clip. Is everyone ready? I'm yes. ready. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. One of the comic drawings that I saw of Julia, which is always upside down, feet together, very ballet aerialist moves. So I begged and begged and begged to have my character drop from the ceiling because that's just what Julia would have done. They have a lot of photos of me just hanging God. upside down, just waiting for action. <gasps> like it. I feel bad for what? her. I did too. She was like, I went to the comics and I looked at my character and I wanted to have some connection between this movie's portrayal and the, you know, and the inspiration for it and the way that the posing was and the look and with the hair hanging down and to have that kind of Oh she, yeah, she, I feel bad. Well, she broke yeah. the first she broke the first rule that they tell them all. She went and researched the character. Yeah, that was that was, that was a dumb move. That probably uh, is why she had like less screen time or something by being familiar with the source. But it's so funny to promote use that to promote it when she's in the movie as that for what? 10 seconds? And like unironically, about 10 seconds. The rest of her is just good. Yeah, girl. might might have been about 10, 15 seconds. I would most. go as far as saying that's, that's a bit unfair. Uh, I have a question. I do have a question for everybody, oh, though. Uh, what, at what point would, did you would, realize? Yes, well, no, yeah, well, yes, I, I think that's that's without a given. But at what point did you realize? Like, how far into the movie were you before you realized they weren't going to get their suits and powers? Like, what was the what was the moment? Like, I like, think when they were in the forest. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. At, I, the, uh, at the forest, because at the forest, we're, we've got a not a, a huge chunk of the film is done. We have no person to like there's no mentor character. There's no costume character. There's 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 nothing to introduce that into the film at all. There's yeah. nothing has been set up. I mean, they that. essentially get introduced as characters proper, like maybe like a, over a third of the way through. So at that point, yeah. it's just it's just like you don't have the time. You don't. Mm -hmm. For me, I, I don't remember the I remember it was about like an hour 20 in, which is probably right at toward the end of the sequence you guys are talking about. And I was just like. You know, I had no, and I had nobody to complain to. I was the only one in the theater. I was like, "This is me too." This is <laughs> Hello, bullshit. Like no. I, <laughs> like, well, I was just like, I, I couldn't believe that that it was at that moment. I, 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 you know, when you've been baited and switched, and that was exactly when I felt. Um, I suppose I find it really funny because I, I guess the logic is, well, we're biding our time, right? We'll, we'll set them up. This is the setup for those characters for the next movie. Um, Which, in <laughs> that context, this movie does a really bad job of doing. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I, I think mean, one of the yeah, one of the well, reasons why it took me so long to realize was because it was hard for me with the pacing of it, with the like her powers, replaying scenes. I never knew how far into the movie I was. Like, I was just like, okay, well, I've seen this scene multiple times now. What's going? And then after a while, I was like, no, I've been sitting here for quite a while. Like, there's they should have at least mentioned like something about their powers or something like and it, it just it got it never got to that point and i was like yeah because they don't have happen. powers yeah well that's what I, never... I was saying that that's what yeah, i'm saying much to that, ask that was when yeah i they was i was saying no that powers. was when i realized it you 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 wait for that moment and it just never yeah. comes because they the girls do not have powers they don't get costumes they don't get powers they're just they're just three girls that's it. They were they one were of them. One of them is hungry. Annoying high school stereotypes. Yeah. Two one of them is well, hungry. Wait, stop. You guys are talking too much about the what? movie. I'm gotten there yet. Oh, whoops. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just idiots. really excited about Madam Web. Exactly. I just really want to, you know, I just. But oh. yeah, point being with that one is practically misinformation slash, you know, marketing lies. Like, <laughs> especially knowing how much people are invested these days with actually caring about sources. Like, that's become a big talking point. It's a. I think that's a bit slimy to use, especially for her too, because she was very probably genuine when she said that. Um, you know, with the scenes that she was able to influence them in that way, got it to happen. But hey, is everyone synced on the next one? 
Mm. This is, uh, let me, oh, let me wait, scroll wait. down. Hold on. Which this one is, is Dakota Johnson SNL one? on SNL. On Saturday yes. Night Live. Give me okay. just a second here. Okay. Uh, Dakota Johnson. All right. Yes. Three, I'm there. two, one, go. I have a new movie coming out. It's called Madam Web. Woo! Yeah. All right. In the Marvel Universe. And it also stars Sidney huh. Sweeney. Yeah. So kind of like if AI generated your boyfriend's perfect movie. <laughs> Such a weird comment. <laughs> AI generation. I'm just like, I'm going to be honest. I, you can't wear that and expect me to not be distracted. I'm sorry. Um, that's your I input. Mean, All right. Fair enough. She did mention Sydney no, Sweetie. No. I assume that's all people know about her as well. Yes, I actually, <laughs> uh, I love to say that she's known for exactly two things and neither of them are, are her acting ability. So. Well, that wouldn't have changed based on watching Madam Web, I'll be honest with you. No, um, no. Kind of like so AI. then, what's next year that's super interesting is, uh, as they point out, IMAX, 40X, and ScreenX posters for the film release, so they are easily the best posters we've got. I was just like, well, wait, um, uh, hi, God, these are, like, cool. The, well, the very, thing is, very I, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of like the lame trend. A lot of films, there will be these alternate cool posters, but unfortunately the main theatrical one is the one where they throw every single character, you know, every single actor onto the, onto the uh, poster and arrange them in size order from top billing, you know, down. But then you get occasionally these really cool posters Pringy. that are like minimalistic or. Oh, so you, uh, Pringy, yeah, Pringy, look yeah. at how good the poster. We just we just covered all of the posters. Really <laughs> Those other good. images, yeah, <laughs> like holy shit. Yeah, these are these are really good though. Yeah, I think Pringy, I think you're talking about the Hildebrandt style, where it's like almost like the Star Wars posters, where it builds down. Is like the one that you're you were you're referring to. Uh, well, I mean, if you're talking about the old Star Wars ones, those are way better than like the yeah. ones that you see a lot now. Well, no, I'm saying like, but like bad. you were saying like where it has the main character at the top and builds down the the Hildebrandt uh, poster style. Is that what it's you... called? Yeah. I assume. Oh, I, without going I'm that far, just, just the heads. Like, everyone's heads are always yeah, the heads. Like, heads, heads. Uh, cause like for instance, you see with Dune two, yeah. like that there are there are these really cool posters, but they're not the main one. The main one is the one where you've got like ten actors on the. On the poster, arranged in size order. Honestly, out of context, this the 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 IMAX one is a really cool poster. Like out of context with the eyes, I like that. But yeah, yeah. You know, no, but nobody's seen those really. Than... <laughs> yeah. Yes, this is yeah, well. like so that. Lame. Meanwhile, it's so lame. lame. It's so fucking at, lame. Usually, it's so lame. Usually, the teaser like poster, the one that comes before, is really cool because it has like some kind of specific art direction going for it, like some idea. You remember the Ant Man ones, like how it was just Ant Man, but yeah. really small in the middle of like a big white poster. Just, because the the book is fairly old, there's been all kinds of yeah, opportunities the, to, the problem to is make that crazy it's, cool it's posters. It's into Hollywood is like, well, you got to make yep. sure that you get the actors' faces on there. It's probably like stipulated. I'm assuming you guys saw the uh, article or the the headline of that they banned the. Dune popcorn bucket from being taken into Madame Web. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? Wait, what? what? Why? Wait, uh, I mean, wait, wait. Uh, just does to every, be clear. Does everyone here know about the Dune popcorn bucket? Yes. Yeah. No, I, no, I don't know. What? What's going on? Oh my god. <laughs> you liar. <laughs> Is there a worm inside of the popcorn that like... I, I think what? that's what they were worried about was there would be one if, if people were watching this. Which I don't, I don't know how, but... what? What's going on? So, I mean... Just just go look up what it looks like, and you'll figure out oh, what I'm talking oh, about. Oh, is it literally to... just a? I thought there was like a story. Dune popcorn bucket. They like they just banned it Images. because. Of... There you oh go. no! <laughs> so. Uh... Oh no! For those oh, who don't know, no. I guess this is the promotional Dune popcorn. Oh no! So, sorry to derail from this fantastic. No, Web, I'm but... so glad that I. <laughs> I think I'm glad that I saw this. Oh so no! So they were they, they were afraid that uh, this would be used for other things besides popcorn if taken into Madam Web. So they like banned but, it. Like, they stick their dick in that though. There's, Someone's like, done it for a meme. Things I would. Sticking... I would. Yeah, I... maybe for a meme. I would for a meme, but not <laughs> you know like really not you know for the purposes of you know. It looks really bad. Uh, I, don't I, do I, this. Is that a sandworm in your bucket? <laughs> that's a, that's a great. Oh no. Reach in and grab my Mwad Deeb. 
Uh, anyway, uh, uh, have we got the anyway, next to, video uh, ready? Back to real cinema. Which is... Yeah, uh, that's one yeah, so the I, guess, uh, I was going to say it's just more promotional sort of stuff, but she has asked a question about a certain moment, which I'm sure everybody remembers that we went over. Let's get Dakota Johnson's opinion on it. So, three, two, one, go. Whether with a line from the trailer that went sort of viral, do you, do you remember that? What was it? It was the line that says, he was in the Amazon with my mum when she was researching spiders right before she died. Do you, do you remember that going viral? That's Why weird. did that go viral? I think it went viral because... Out of context, people oh, just poor like, interviewer. What does this mean? Did it, did you did you catch that at all? No. I, yeah. Somebody brought this up, and I have no idea what it's about. There were lots of memes because I think people were like, "What does?" Just out of the context of it, it was just a very. But isn't bizarre. any sentence out of context out of context? Yeah, very true. What a silly. <laughs> this is the greatest interview I've ever. <laughs> <heard>. <laughs> <laughs> He was in the Amazon researching spiders. <laughs> seems like a basic storyline. <laughs> seems like a basic storyline. <laughs> true. That. Very true. <laughs> the best part about that interview is at first you feel bad for the interviewer because like he's trying to coax something out of like her. Like a meme, yeah. No, it's because like, he trapped himself. He, yeah, but that's what she asked why. Why called, was that yeah. a meme? And then he has to like explain it, but he can't be like because it sounds fucking retarded. Yeah, you can't, like, say, can't that. say that. So. The interview. <laughs> then it, it flips back on itself, and now you feel bad for Dakota because all she's saying is like, yeah, the, of, of course it's out out of context. Anything is stupid, and she now you feel bad for her at the end because she can't say like there's nothing she can say like she has to recall I mean, this, this whole line. thing is fascinating it's like performance art or something it's like yeah. it's really funny oh yeah this is a really um, this it's like a weird skit yeah well and so it's, it, it, i feel like after the, what we've seen now she's just like she just doesn't care like what is even all mm -hmm. this stuff? Like, no, or just like that? Does that even sound like it's like? Why does that get memes? Like, I don't know. Whatever. She because yeah. once you see it in the trailer and the causes, I think you could definitely guess it. But explaining it to her and like, oh, your mother, the Amazon was killed by the guy or whatever. She's just sort of like, yeah. What? what? <laughs> that doesn't sound politic uh, particularly meaningful when you say it the way that he did. But then, like Rag said, it's like he would have to explain like, oh, it sounded really cringy and stupid. That's why people found it funny. What do you think? <laughs> it's like, I'm, I'm promoting the movie, man. Yeah, like, like, <laughs> like, what do you mean to do? I, I don't really know exactly what he expected her to say. That's the thing. Like, yeah, I, I really hated that line. Like, I don't know. Like, you're here for... He was just trying to get something. He was trying to get something. Because he was hoping to get some, some meme value. Expected. But, like, I don't know. You're right. What What is she going to say to that? Like, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, that's say, great. Yeah, that was a really funny meme. Madam Web shit. Like, she's not going to say that. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, you guys ready on the skip the next one? Go to the helicopter one. Oh, it's always great for the helicopter. Helicopter, um, a Madam Web helicopter. I want to make that clear: a Madam Web helicopter. A Madam Web helicopter. Yes. Oh, maybe it's the one they used in the film. Okay. They, they got this assume. is part of the marketing that in India there is a Madam Web helicopter. This, by the way, helps explain how there's such a huge marketing budget. Where does it go? Well, let's have a look. See, shall we? Is everyone ready? It's my helicopter. Yes. Yeah, I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. Why? <laughs> it broke. It's too. got sparks. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, that's not part of the, the thing. No, is that, oh, I thought it was broken. Oh uh, yeah, I thought it was supposed to be. But then but you... why? But why is there a <laughs> why? web helicopter? What? <laughs> <laughs> what the um... fuck? Yeah, I thought they were like building it at first. I don't know what the hell that was about. I just I thought that was part of the the thing. Why? <laughs> I thought that was supposed to do that. <laughs> why? But why? why? There is, is there a helicopter in the movie, but <laughs> Madam Web helicopter like what? <laughs> they're still they're still welding it together here too. That's the yeah, they are actually welding the the propellers at the top. I just don't understand how the decision was made somewhere at Sony. Let's Part of the marketing. Let's allot a budget to a helicopter with Madam Web on it. <laughs> That'll get people and to it's see like, the oh, movie. Is it flying around? No, it's just sitting in front of a cinema. Okay. I wouldn't be shocked if this thing doesn't actually function. 
It's not. A real, it's probably not a real helicopter. No, it, it's no, probably not. But that's, that's, I mean, it, just I mean, we already know it didn't road. perform its actual function and like sell tickets from the movies. Yeah. So. That still kicks a can down the road. Of a decision was made to have a fake non-functional helicopter with Madame Web stuff on it sitting in front of a cinema. <laughs> what? I just this is such a like a display of why this movie is already a catastrophe, and we haven't even <laughs> looked at what it's about. Um, so next one is a video from the uh, at Madam Web movie TikTok uh, profiles. Everyone ready on that one? Ten seconds. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Okay. Uh, it says when you're single on Valentine's Day. Three, two, one, go. You don't think this is weird? It's honestly like the least weird thing that's happened all day. Oh. Yeah. Oh, like, oh, oh, oh. Web movie. That awkward, like, cutting them out, and then just. Oh. You know that the idea is like, we're supposed to, we gotta do memes with our product. Oh. For the Zoomers. TikTok memes for the Zoomers and the children. Oh. Have, this that is was, what they love. Was, corporate that memes. Was rough. They belong in hell. <laughs> <laughs> corporate memes is oh, so gross. Geez. That was yeah, the really awkward bad. pause in between dialogue. <laughs> yeah. Terrific. And then uh, a, a video was posted on Instagram from, I, I'm guessing, the official account. Again, more examples of what they spend money on in marketing. Uh, everyone ready? I'm ready. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, go. Oh, this song, man. I oh, don't like it. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's like uh, a dating profile. Yeah, I'll let it play on repeat. I've just muted out. But like, it's... are like the same footage. It's like a second that reverses and. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's supposed to be like you know, alter ego, Facebook pages, myweb.com. It's like, oh, look at that. Oh, crazy. Because now yeah, she's. If, if, if now you she's have spider cool. powers, you can join this website. I think it's supposed to be cool. Basically. It's not though. <laughs> I'm, I'm it's reading it's the. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm the reading Madame Webb's details. Let's see. She starts off. I'm a New York City EMT who prefers to be alone. All right, that's her about me. And then here for because I have to be. All right. Relationship status happily single. All right. Uh, well, she has. She wouldn't be on myweb.com if she was happily single. Uh, hobbies are eating Chinese food. That's a fun hobby. Um, currently listening to Sirens. Oh, because uh, like she's EMT. Like a, yeah. I thought that was like a band, Sirens, but it's actually just like the EMT, you know, ambulances. Okay. Um, now, Madam Web, about me. If you want to live, you have to trust me. So that's that's good dating material there. Um, here for my Spider Girls. Okay. Um, relationship status, Madame, not Madam. Okay. Okay. Hobbies are seeing the future. That's useful, right? You might get hungry because you lost your other hobby. But currently listening to my inner voice. Okie dokie. Well. Well, yeah, I guess that's... because she, I guess it's, it's, it's implying that she was, uh, you know, she's narrating there, so. Wow. I get this is her profile, right? Yeah. Anyway. I, her I, profile. I, just, I wonder again, if this is a real website. I want to know how much they charge to make that, like the marketing people. They're yeah, like, well, they hired someone to. We'll get you this, bullshit, but you got to yeah. pay, of course. Like this is big potatoes. This is gonna get a lot of people drawn in to see the movie. Okay, uh, so I typed in myweb.com just to see if this took you anywhere, and it literally just says, "Looks like you've landed <gasps> nowhere." Oh, Jay you killed Jay Longo by men mentioning that. Cringe. Oh my god! Oh man, that's my anymore. fault. I'm sorry. I'll I'll leave the website. I feel like website. we really okay. uh, we were about to play one of the best ones, and we can't do that without yeah, her being here. Really, damn it! This mm. one's a really good meme. Well, I guess until she, we'll give her a few seconds, but for now we can just talk about well, how I, the nature of all I, of this is obviously to highlight. This is not the only movie that does this. There's a reason why everything I'll is falling right apart. Back. There's uh, the the amount of budgets that are ballooned by marketing movies that are already reshot and spent a bazillion on. All this costs money. All this insane well, yeah, nonsense because, costs because, money. You know, the overarching thought is why did any of this how did these decisions get made how did any of this materialize why wasn't there someone who said uh we probably don't need to spend money on the the helicopter or <laughs> hmm, probably don't need to spend money on this weird like early 2000s internet like ad thing hmm, we probably should 
you know, maybe not like release this picture of her holding her hands <laughs> up to the to the camera. It seems who regrettable. Yeah. Who, who approved these decisions, or is this just something that just happens? It just happens, and the money gets spent in well, ways that end be, up massively um, damaging the film. It's got to be that they pass money on to a group of people who are like, we know how to market a movie, okay? We've been doing this for years, like, right. And then they've got a list, and it's like, Madam Copter, Madam Poster with a hand. <laughs> Madam <back>. Copter. <laughs> Madam Ocean Spray. Like, yeah, this is all the normal stuff. It's like, it doesn't work. It's like, it does work. We've been marketing movies for years. And it's, I think it's just a matter of marketing generally works with all the major stuff and they just start throwing things in and because of the fact that nobody has yet sort of noticed which is really working which isn't right right that that you end up with these things that probably didn't you didn't need to spend all this money on something that when when you know a trailer and running ads on tv you know or putting some on a bus is probably more than enough to let people know that the film actually exists yeah and I at think this that... point like the internet feels like the main thing does anybody not know that deadpool and wolverine is a film that exists really exactly is, is anybody going to be shocked when they find out that that film exists probably not yeah like marketing you know, if marketing is trailer. yeah if it's telling me something i already know like if it's telling me about a movie i'm already like aware of it's lost most of its potency because we all talk about marketing know. budget, but I don't think we really generally that much explore the marketing beyond trailers, typically. Like, no, because there's yeah, a lot no. of dumb mm -hmm. shit. If you look at a lot of movies, there's a lot of like weird things that get money spent on, you know? Yeah. It's... Well, one of the weirder ones I've seen in my life, so this wasn't for a movie. I can't even remember what game it was, but I used to go to a game convention, uh, Penny Arcade Expo East, and... Um, they had, I forget which game it was, but they literally had, like, a Ferrari just driving around the convention center for four days. And I was like, you know, everybody's going in the building where you have a demo. That's good enough. You don't need to have this hyper expensive <laughs> car driving around in circles. That's and... reminding me of um, when Xbox, when they announced a new Forza game, like at E3, they would lift up, like, a thing at the back of the stage and reveal, like, the car, the main car yeah. for that game. And it's always just why. Like, I don't I, even. But if I recall correctly, because this this has got to be like six years ago at this point, but it wasn't even for a racing game. It was so. Oh. I was like, it doesn't make sense. What are you doing? So it's well, probably sorry. that it's likely that these uh, marketing firms just have these catch all things that they just throw at stuff, and this is one of them. Well, yeah, I know like, the hey, one of them that I find interesting is you you know how like the those three D billboards that you, you see, like sometimes you see videos at like Times Square or equivalent places in other countries with like three D billboards. I yeah. always wonder about that. Like if you spend a bunch of money to make a billboard that's only gonna play in Times Square, I mean, who is that you know what I mean? Like, is that worth it? If you spend like two, three million dollars on that, is that actually worth it? For like also, the people who are going through the thing Times about Square, Times Square though, like, Fringy, is that uh, they actually all companies uh, that advertise in Times Square realize that that is going to be a loss specifically just for that advertisement. But they want it there for like New Year's, so that way when it gets you know all the video uh, like for the ball drop, it's there. Uh, those, but there's a lot of people in Times Square at all times. You know, like, there are a like lot of people at Times Square at all times. But I guess what I'm yeah. saying is, like, I I wonder, you know, if you have to make something specifically that's only going to play in one location, even if it's okay, a really popular saying. one, is that a great investment compared to just release a trailer on the internet, <laughs> which is Pro probably I not. I just know, I just know that like almost every restaurant and stuff in uh, Times Square operates at a loss because they're just there for like a, a stagnant standard uh, ad advertising area. That's all it is. So uh, the only reason I bring it up is because I feel like it's all these little things add up eventually, right? Of all these things of, yeah, oh, yeah maybe that's not sure. absolutely worth it. Oh, maybe that's not absolutely worth it. Oh, maybe that's not absolutely worth it. And then you pile them up and you realize, oh shit, we probably didn't need to spend as much money as we did on this marketing. <laughs> you gotta show that meme. Of course. <laughs> The the uh, webinator, she's getting there. <laughs> Why is it yeah, 2016 let's... though? <laughs> well, because Jeb, that was 2016. Oh yeah, there you go. Okay, she's... yeah. Uh, Jeb was gonna take the country by storm. Uh... She's predicting the 2024 uh, box office numbers for Madam Web. 
Well, Let's that, give a, uh, this uh, is like accurate, Rags. This is the amount of people that actually went in each country. <laughs> Sorry, each state. Like, <laughs> How many people went in my state? Oh, she's covering it up. I hope it wasn't uh, that many. Hold on, hold on, <laughs> let me see. 14 people went in mine, apparently. It, it makes so oh, much that sense to me that, that 29 in, uh... Floridians went to see it. I mean, I'll just tell... I'll... No, Rags, I have I'll to look. No, I'm, in... I'm not okay. looking. Uh, uh, 14. Whatever, dude. Yeah, I'm... yeah, yeah. Uh... God, it's so fucking hard to find it. Oh, Most you're in New Jersey. Here. You're on the little numbers oh, yeah. on the right. Okay, you're yeah. in, you're in New Jersey. Bada oh, bing. you must have loved this movie because it's really close to you. Oh, tr uh, trust to me. That, when we're we just get down to that. the road. Madam Web is. What? You can go in a car and you can visit Madam Web. Well, when we get to that, don't worry. I got plenty to say about that. Ah, uh, Jersey. You know, yeah, you give, know we don't all sound minutes, like that, right? Yeah, I think you do. <laughs> Uh, we don't. So. Do I'm glad I sound like on, that right now? You're putting on an accent for the sake of the for the sake of the the, the, the podcast, which I appreciate, oh, but it's not fuck. necessary. You don't have to. Someone said they can't wait for Eve like to get their own promotional fringy copter. <laughs> 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 oh my god, that would be great. We're working on it, goddammit. He's just the, leaning out of the window, like throwing a view at people. No, no, I'm not just thinking about the cockpit is the nose and the windows. Yellow eyes. I love it. I love the idea. Anyway, Charlie comes out uh, and crashes to his yard. <laughs> I'm afraid it, that was a good joke. It is not anyway. clear on when um, Jay Longbow will rejoin us. Her power's gone out, unfortunately. So we will right. soldier on because it is time for everyone to see one of the best pieces of marketing. Yes. Um, yes, Dakota Johnson is asked if she can name three Tom Holland Spider Man movies. Some people may have seen this before, this, but if you I haven't. Call this one. Is everybody synced? Yeah. Yes. Oh, Rags is muted. That fuck. It... <laughs> what do I, what do, I do? Just, just carry on. Ass off at this one. Just, yeah. I think what I mean. he said they were doing something. He just he ran off. <sighs> what are we looking at here? He Seconds off. or minutes? I have. I figure it's quick. Maybe he's he's just going to. to he's a dog. He saw a car go by. He ran after it. We don't know. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Come on, Rags. This is the best. This might be the best one. <laughs> oh, I, you do see? You saw this one already? Oh, yeah, I, I've seen this, this. one's oh, this famous. Is, this has got to be some. This has got to be some of the some of the dumbest things I've ever heard someone say. I dumbest. I uh. I'm well, yeah, I, would, I wouldn't go I that direction with it. It's it's. I I understand why you would, might have said that, but like I we we we're gonna have oh, to just like, watch okay. it. I think. Like uh, I'm yeah. sorry, Rag. Sorry, Jay Longbow, but you know we just we, the show must go on, as is said. So you guys ready? You two ready? Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Three, two, one, go. Can you name the three Spider-Man, uh, Tom Holland movies? Yeah. <laughs> Should I just go on faith? Yeah. Oh. Spider-Man, here's here he comes. Here he comes. That's that's yeah. number one. Yep. Spider-Man, and he's back. And the other one, the last one is yeah. um, at uh, go the Goblet of Spider Man. Need <laughs> <laughs> a vacation. Harry Spider Man and the Goblet of Man. <laughs> the, so the impression I got from this was that she's just like fuck you, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> around. Goblet well, of Spider Man. Like... They're like uh, smart dumb. They're like she's like she's she clearly doesn't know them, so she's just gonna fuck with the guy basically. But she had to come. She had to like come up with them on the spot. So it comes. It's yeah. I think yeah. Uh, so. Some people might interpret this as uh, ha. She was like caught in a lie. I, I think she was in on the joke from the get go. She was she was already preparing to say stupid Spider Man names for films. Yeah, like as soon as she said yeah with that I'm grin, sorry. it's just like yeah. oh yeah. <laughs> Just I wish she would have just said. I really wish she would have just said one, two, and three, and then that would have been it. I gotta watch the clip. I'm sorry. I, I I went to go to drink while Jay Longbone was gone, and then I knocked over my thing, and ice got everywhere, and it was really oh, no, stressful. Right. It was really stressful. Um, but I took care of it because you can't leave it because then you'll then you'll come back later <laughs> and you'll be and like, oh my god, this water. This is water is just, oh, states no, of matter. What have I done? It would have been water out of nowhere. Responsible for this. Yeah, technically, it was already water on the floor. That is true. Wow. Well, very, that's very true. We can very we deep. can play it one more time for good old rags please, and people. Please. What I want everyone to pay attention to is uh, her her like tonality. Do you think? What do you think she's doing in this clip? All right, we'll go with that. So, ready? All right. Yep. Three, two, one, go. Can you name the three Spider-Man uh, Tom Holland movies? Yeah. 
<laughs> Should I just go in faith? Yeah. Oh. Spider Man, here's here he comes. Here he comes. That's that's yeah. number one. Yep. <laughs> Spider Man, and he's back. And the <laughs> other one, the last one is yeah. um, at uh, the Goblet of Spider Man. <laughs> 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 what? Harry, Spider Man, and the Goblet of Man. <laughs> so uh, that was uh, that was kind of amusing. That was amusing. It's a good for, name. For me, it's a good. Yeah, I, I, I find it fine. I think it's chill. Like Spider Man, I, I just, here he comes. <laughs> it, with building like a profile Iceman, of like, Dakota Johnson in our heads, I feel like this matches her whole like I don't care. Like I'm here for the. I have to be here. So yeah, whatever. I, I honestly it. think she was briefed on them ahead of time and forgot them. I, uh, that's the that's the body oh, language well, I'm getting off from her. That could have happened. I think, I think what people the need first to one... understand is that sometimes even the actors don't really give a shit about, like, <laughs> you know, any of the... Like, they don't know anything about these movies, and they don't know anything about the comics or the characters, and you, you think, like, wait, but, I mean, you're working on them, so, like, presumably you know more than just people on the internet. Nope, not necessarily. <laughs> no, but sometimes the they don't know what they don't care. So the reason why I say it though is because a lot of times with these interviews, they're they're told the questions ahead of time, especially these like kind of yeah. feel good sort of interviews like this. So mm -hmm. it really looks to me as I now that I've watched it like probably about four times, it's it almost like she has an answer. She she says yeah, and then she's like shit. I don't remember what they told me. Like it it, it you could, it's almost like a terror comes over her face that she forgot it. So she well, tries and, to turn it into a joke. Honestly, this guy probably knew. He was like she's probably forgotten. So, you know, I give well, her an out. I can take it on faith that you know, of course, yeah. Like, that was her out, but then she's like, no, no, let's just fucking do it. This will be funny. I, the it first was, one, it was funny. I thought it was funny. The first one, like, here, here he comes, like, I can under, like, because it's homecoming is the first one. So, like, I could see her in her mind, like, formulating this this sentence and like, oh, it was oh, something coming, coming, something. and then, like, all of a sudden, she's like, here he comes. There we go. That sounds right. And it's, and then it was just off the rails from that point. <laughs> Spider-Man. I don't know. I, I, I don't have the same read. I have this I have the read as soon as she said yes, that it was gonna be a meme. Yeah, it looked like there's a smile on her face, like she's prepared yeah, to yeah. do she some memes. Say, That's, I, I she mean, was ready to go either way, but wasn't it, uh, uh, to an extent, like I think she's just she's probably too young to go too far with the don't give a fuck sort of stuff. But you know, like wasn't Harrison Ford asked uh whether or not he was a force ghost in Rise of Skywalker, and he said, "What the <laughs> fuck is even a Force ghost?" Like, <laughs> she, is, she is a second generation Hollywood actress, so she might have that like feeling of like I could just not give a shit. Like I, my dad was famous. I'm famous. Like you know, it's like well, yeah, and, and like remember, that. she switched agencies very likely because of this film. So promotion it, uh, promoting it well after you filmed it and no, know, known this is like a joke. <laughs> You know, sort of this stuff is just like, yeah, okay, here we go. Yeah, spider man of the Goblet of and Man. If anything, and if anything, it might be a big brain move of if I'm in on the meme, if I'm really in on the meme, then I can insulate myself from the damage that this yeah. film could That's cause. That's probably the way to go. It's to be, it's to chew the scenery, it's to play it off and be like, you know, lol, this movie's a joke, and like, I, I, we're all here for the memes, and, you know, Spider-Man, here he comes, ha uh, you know, I can, that's probably the way to go. I can see why you would get like I just rewatched it again, just uh, on just for. Oh my god! See where you're going. Yeah, I know I'm a masochist like that. Wait, oh but the, the can, movie or the meme? No, 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 just this clip. But oh, okay, the, uh, that's not that's not that. Thing. No, but I can see where Fringy is coming from. Where it, like it could be that she was in on it. I, I, you, her body language could kind of go either way. It's either she forgot it or she forgot the joke because that could be it too. She was like, uh, well, what was I supposed to say? What was the what was the meme that I was supposed to do for this? So it could I don't know. I, I guess the thing is, is that I, I wonder sometimes with, uh, cause I remember there was like a thing. I remember it was something that I saw it was, it was like an interview where she was saying something along the lines of that. It was crazy shooting the film because of all the blue screen stuff. And I remember that there was something in there as well, where she said something along the lines of like, I put so much faith in the director. And I look at that and I'm like, ah, if depending, that could be really clever. It's like, ah, uh, I put so much faith in her. You know, I'm not used to doing it like this, so I put faith in her. You know, so it's her fault if the film's not oh, good, not yeah, mine. Yeah. That kind of thing. I'm not sure if that's like it could just be totally innocuous, but in the context maybe. of broader maybe. meme, maybe <laughs> it's tough to tell. I don't know. I don't have enough information on her as a character to really know for certain. Well, next up we have um. 
the the actress who played uh the funny thing is i didn't even know their names after seeing the film so one of the spider girls she posts a meme about madam web uh, <laughs> <laughs> it says, roses are red wow. our fates are tied he was in the amazon with my mum researching spiders right before she died <laughs> The thing is, I guess in her case, she, she's fine. She's uh, she's in. She's going to be in the DCU, so she don't need this one, I guess. <laughs> it's just so she can just buy into the memes. It's so funny because I think someone could be like, "What are you doing? Making fun of the movie?" It's like, "Oh, the movie's fucked. Let's just have fun. It's like, fun. just have fun with it. Yeah, and then move on." Uh, yeah, then Dakota Johnson says that she hasn't seen Madam Web and doesn't know when she'll see it, maybe someday. Now, a lot of people point <laughs> out, hey, it's perfectly normal for actors and actresses to not watch the movies they're in. It's like, yeah, but it's not perfectly normal for them to announce that to people or to answer the question that right way. When the film is coming out, Nobody right does this. What out. they're supposed to do is say, like, of course I'm going to see it. It's going to be incredible. And the work that everyone well, did on it is amazing. You know, I never watch my films because I don't want to see my own performance consistently. Yeah. Uh, Which it, some people say it's so blandly said as well. It's just like oof. Mm -hmm. So, uh, next up, if you're ready on the next video, is a uh, is a Raven Simone helps promote the film with a very unserious video posted on Instagram and TikTok. So this is paid for as a promotion for Madam. Oh, Web. she has a PSP. Yes. Is so that a PSP? Top, oh my God, top tech. Oh knowledge. wow. Well, so okay. the the thing is, watch this, and then we can talk about uh, whether or not we okay. think the person who made this really took this job seriously, right? This is a paid promotion. So three, two, one, go. Ah, uh, these sound effects, wow. Yeah. Not gonna lie, I just turned around thinking Hi, that John something from was the Madam Web playing Marketing Mario team. behind me. And yes, I would love to make a video for you. <laughs> Whoa. How did you know I was calling you to ask you that? Because I can gaze into the future. <laughs> uh, uh. Oh, oh, whoa. oh boy. <laughs> that one's rough. That one's rough. That's pretty that horrific. And that that it, one's pretty rough. It costs oh, money. Oh. That costs lots of money. I don't know Why? what Raven Simone's doing these days, but look, I'm going to be honest with you guys. That trailer, also, that was that well, was not very Raven at all. Raven that was not Simone. Totally, that was is, totally uh, not Raven. She's sabotaging the movie. <laughs> like, what are you doing? What are you that's, making that's that's so cringe. not Raven. No, it's not. Lately, she's she's mostly like telling people that working for Disney sucked. That was essentially what she she's been doing recently. Ugh, helped promote the film. <laughs> oh, 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 that was rough. Oh, and, that, uh, was, that was bad. Yes. Uh, lastly, Madam Web director S. J. Clarkson explains why she didn't really have the Spider Women in the movie at all, and that she felt it was too greedy to try and tell the origin story of the four heroes. So she says, "Quote." Yeah, yeah. Well, I thought it would be a bit greedy to do four. No, I thought it would be a bit greedy to do four origin stories. Clarkson explained, "That's not really fair, is it? I've got to share it. Come on, I mean, first and foremost, it's Madam Web, right? But I hope the exciting thing about it is this is a tease, and I think the origin story of the girls we're given, hopefully, a hint of the spirit of who they are. We've tried to stick to the spirit from the comic books, a draw from <laughs> that, and find out who they are and get a little bit of their sass and a little bit of their character coming through." But that's a lot of story to tell, I think, in one movie. And I think it wouldn't do any of them any justice to try and sort of crowbar or cram them all into one movie. So I think it's Madden Webbs, and here's kind of the development of something else underneath it. But yeah, I thought that was probably too greedy. They'd be like, get out. Okay. So after seeing... This is interesting now that I've seen the movie, and we'll obviously talk about how incredibly well characterized everyone is in the film. Mm-hmm. So, it, yeah, I, I guess we'll keep this mind for when we talk. Keep this in mind for when we talk about it uh, later. In fact, I'm going to save this in a new tab just so that it's handy for later. Um, so there's n basically, there's no reason why this film wouldn't do several billion. I think. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, it's starting off slow, twenty four million across. I think a six day opening weekend. <laughs> You know, that's start pretty slow, bad. It can well, ramp just, up I mean, there. just wait till it hits India. They did such marketing there with that's helicopter. right, the oh, helicopter. Yeah. yeah. Once it hits the India market, this thing's gonna skyrocket. Just wait. To be fair, that I th I saw it at an Indian theater, and they <laughs> no no I did. That's funny. You probably had more if 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 you saw it in India, you probably had more people in your theater than I did, and I saw it in 
real life. So, you know, on Valentine's life Day, here. did you go? On Valentine's yes. Day? Yes, did I you did. Take was... your, did you take your girlfriend with you? No, no, no. Wow. I just I just took myself that's... and Oh, that's I, mean, I, I, I asked them I asked good. them for a dune a dune popcorn bucket. They said no. It was No, they said they're they're they're, <laughs> they're too crusty. We have to clean <laughs> them off. But there was nobody serious. in my theater, um, which I basically I'm getting used to that now at this point. It's kind of I always think that I'm in a uh, some sort of strange horror movie or something where when I'm in a theater alone, I'm like, what's going to happen here? Like, but I'm just realizing more and more people are just not bothering to see movies. Well, because they all suck. I think uh, with the enthusiasm behind this film, it's an inevitability that we can expect certain sequels to arrive. Um, I have a feeling that uh, oh yes the universe is getting bigger you know more and more amazing characters getting involved uh well i guess it's funny because someone would be like oh so they're not making another madam web film is like almost certainly no but they're never going to stop making like spider-man slash spider-man adjacent movies sony will never stop <laughs> just keep doing it because they have well, to in order to retain the I feel like they I feel like they're just making the movies so that way they never lose the license. Uh, well, they're... let's put it this way, you know, when you've got Spider-Man No Way Home having a total box office gross of about two billion dollars, you can afford to lose some money on a few other movies, you know? You can afford to do that as long as it all helps you keep uh keep the rights to Spider-Man. Why would they ever give it up? I see people say Sony should sell them. It's like, why? It's worth more if they hold them perpetually. Spider Man is worth because so you much. Ain't getting them back ever. You're no, never probably, getting them. Probably back. not. I don't know if there's even a price that you could. I, I don't know. Maybe like, I don't. I don't know what price they would accept. You'll have to get to like <laughs> public domain shit before you get it back. And at that point, it's just like everyone has it then. At this point, now, had this been, like, right after Endgame, and like you were saying, like, what what would the price be? I would say that Disney could probably afford it, but there's no way now. There's so well, many... It wouldn't, be for, it wouldn't be for sale. Spider-Man No yeah. Way Home made twice as much as their most successful uh, film, which was Multiverse of Madness. It made twice that. And then you compare it to a lot of other Marvel films that have been coming out recently. They've been doing really badly. And the thing is, you make Spider-Man 4, it'll make a billion dollars, you know? It'll make more than that. It's it's the one that's gonna make money, uh, and Venom Three is probably gonna make money too because Venom One and Two were successful, but, and Sony I mean, doesn't spend as much money on these films as uh, Marvel spends on their films. Madam Web no, costs eighty million dollars, which million, is still yeah. too high, but that's you know that's less than half of what the Marvels cost to make. So you know, let's see how much which one is the bigger box office bomb, right? Is it gonna be Madam Web or is it gonna be the Marvels, which cost over twice as much money to make and therefore needs to make over twice as much money as Madam Web does to be more profitable. Yeah, and also with Spider-Man, it's as a license, they make money off of other things like, you know, the video games, just the merch in general that they can that they can make for the things. Uh, I, th I, I thought uh, merchant, because I thought the nature of it was that uh, it was specifically film rights and the, all the merchandise uh, well, and all of that They also stuff. have the video and that, rights and stuff. So. Do they? I thought that was a licensing agreement that they had with Marvel for uh for the the Spider Man games on PS4. No. I mean that's a possibility, but they as of right now they pretty much control all aspects of it. And, and yeah, there's there's no re there's no re reason for them to let it go. But on top of that, it's like it it created like so. One thing I I've always I I've been looking at recently is like it it essentially created the template right that everybody's building off of. But it got swallowed up by this, uh, the concept of the, the connected universe, which is where we find ourselves now with it. And I'm just wondering, how many more of these are they going to attempt before they, like, just, oh, my, my mic is low, apparently? I can, I can, I can hear you fine. I can mic. hear you just fine. Yeah. Someone said in the chat that my, light, my mic is low. And I just, and because I read that, now my, I lost my train of thought. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, You're maybe talking come back about how Madam Web's, uh, uh, how her web well, connects all. The, the thing is that ah. when when Venom, because the first Venom cost, I I, want, I think it was like a hundred million, and it made eight hundred million dollars, and the second one, yeah, cost about that much, and it made something like five hundred, six hundred million dollars. Why would they? Well, like, basically, where I was, can, yeah. you can keep making these films, and you can you can have a Morbius, and you can have a Madam Web, but even as long as Venom keeps making money, it's probably worth it. Well, I, I'll just. 
I, I kind of lost my train of thought, but like basically what I was go what I was heading toward was how many more of these are they going to make before they eventually try to do this big um, crossover film that they're heading uh, toward? <laughs> I, I don't think they have a plan. The web vanishes, you mean? I don't think yeah. so. I think they're just. Yeah, I, I had movies. I had more of a thought in there, but the fact that I I thought no one could hear me threw me off there for a second. Oh, we can hear but, you. We can hear you. It's, yeah. it's just. Everyone's I, I uh, people in the chat were telling me they couldn't hear me. So. Uh, don't listen to chat. Don't <laughs> pretend they're not even there. Pretend everyone in chat is naked or in their underwear or whatever. And also, do me a favor and stay you? the same distance from your microphones at all times so that I don't have to lift you or lower you. Um, something else I was going to bring up is there's a quote from Dakota Johnson uh, relatively recently, I guess, in relation to this, the production of this film. She said, it's really, it's a really fucking bleak, oh, sorry, it's really fucking bleak in this industry. It's a majorly disheartening. The people who run streaming platforms don't trust creative people or artists to know what's going on and what's going to work. And that's just going to make us implode. It's really heartbreaking. It's just fucking, uh, it's so fucking hard. It's so hard to get anything made. Everyone who makes decisions is afraid. They want to do the safe thing. And the safe thing is really boring. <laughs> Interesting that a, comment. That was a well-timed comment, wasn't it? Well, and I think you got, thinking about that and, um, oh, what's her name? Uh, Numi Rapace said that she doesn't want to play like strong or interesting women she wants to almost she wants to play real characters she's tired already of like some of the scripts she's been passed of what's been going on and i guess yeah like the implosion is ready to happen or is happening i suppose we should say of just like these this this shower of shit movies um that people have very much noticed at this point and like even the actors and actresses and stuff they're just they're pointing it out very publicly and i think that Madam Web's promotional stuff is is almost evidence that we're, we're we're reaching a critical point where even like it's like you could you could imagine there would have been an interview where she looks around and she's like what are we doing why 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 are we even doing this so it would uh, to me I don't know just evidence that we're, things will probably change sooner rather than later um, probably and isn't it ironic too that it's like getting... this is considered safe. Like it happens uh, oh, because Web, of yeah, it happens idea. because yeah, of that mindset, but that it's actually not safe at all. This is a very unsafe thing to do for making money. This was a really bad idea from the start. Uh, not just because the film ended up being bad, but Madam Web, yeah. you know, really, yeah. like if you it's, own it's... the rights to Sony, uh, like if you were own the rights to Spider Man and all of his characters, Madam Web, you would pick Madam Web over many, 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 many other characters that you could make a movie about. Well, how come this movie wasn't made during like the height of everyone being super excited over Spider Man? You know, uh, Sony, it was, right? I think Sony doesn't have a plan. They just don't. They were just sort of figuring it out as they go along. I mean, it's reflected in that Morbius post credit scene of just having vultures show up. There's no plan. They don't know what they're doing. They're just making films but and trying like to figure culture. it out as they go along. Yeah, so throw them in there and say like, "Oh, we're gonna go get Spider Man." <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. trying to think like who else they could have thrown because Venom was obviously the smartest one. They uh, I don't know, Black Cat or something. Black Cat know, could like, work. I could see that. Yeah. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think like how about, work a, how about a lizard film. origin story or something? Our main character is lizard, and it's just him going on lizard adventures. Hmm. Not against it. I'm not against that either. <laughs> also, welcome no, back. I, I, honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm real. Oh, hello. Hooray. You missed out I on am really like, I yeah. am. I'm, I'm trying this through my phone for now. <laughs> oh. All right. All right. <laughs> okay, anyway, carry on. I was, just, I was just saying that that I like the concept of a possible Black Cat movie, but, I mean, we've seen what happened when they tried to make a Catwoman movie. Well, well, this, I, this, this is the same that. rhetoric. We've seen what happens Eddie when they make any movie that. at this point. You exactly. Know? Yeah. Uh, oh, someone in chat just pointed this out, and actually I've thought about this in the past. Um, why not lean on the Ben Riley idea? Like that, because then you could have Spider Man without having Spider Man. You just Scarlet Spider. Mm, I don't know. I think they're scared of, uh, I, I think they might even be a little scared of doing other Spider Man, Spider Man, you know, like <laughs> to some extent. And clearly not, because they, they had not Spider Man in this one. So that's. Uh... Ezekiel, yeah. they took a character that has no spider powers at all from well, yeah. crawl around. Uh, like, here, here, he, yeah, but I can that was crawl around. Much. Yeah, not on ceilings, baby. I know you want to. Uh, I they point right, this out yeah. in the movie excessively. Okay, so I'm not gonna. Yeah, they think that. Well, that's because that. 
one of many hilarious jokes in this movie, I might add. Mm -hmm. It's just the hits don't fucking stop. It's just banger after banger. Oh, my mouth, my face hurt after this movie. After I watched this movie, my face, I just all of me was in pain. I was just in pain. I'm sure there's just a lot of there's a lot of pain was happening. Well, uh, since we're already an hour in, we should probably start talking about what happens in the film. Because oh, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, I guess so. A lot of people may have assumed we've already done that. We have not. Uh, we've talked about everything around it, which is kind of funny because it's awful everything around it. But like, you know, at least if the film is good, right? That's something. Or just okay, or maybe even bad, but not terrible, right? Hmm. Um, <laughs> there are people who said. I got a few conflicting uh, reports about this movie before I saw it. I have, I have said, seen someone who liked it. Isn't that crazy? Did no? They were memeing. Maybe they weren't being serious. Trick they couldn't have been. It. But but mm. well, I heard a couple things. Some people said that the movie was so bad it's really funny, and some people said that the movie is really bad and it's like eh, it's it's so so like it's not miserable. And, um, I, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't a so bad it's good. I, I wouldn't recommend that people go see the movie if they're looking for a so bad it's good movie. Um, it has its moments. It has its moments. But it, it does have stretches of being kind of boring. Not really much happening. Uh, it feels, oh, this movie feels like a movie that came out like 20 years too late. This is like a time vortex movie. Well, since, I mean, we could do that sort of like opening statements, maybe. And since you've, uh, you've gone there, I'll, I'll just go from right to left from my screen, which would be me next. And I'm going to go ahead and agree on feels like a movie that was made about 20 years ago. But I'm going to disagree on it being boring. I actually, uh, the time flew by for me. I, I was so uh, amused and interested by all of the little flares of the writing and directing. I couldn't get over how bad everything was. To the point where it was surprising me, and some stuff wasn't like surprising, but it was still fun to just see it. Such normal incompetence uh -huh. when it comes to storytelling. I would indeed call it a so bad it's good, but I would never ever say you should pay money to see this. Um, so you know, make of that what you will. And uh, if you have a chance to see it with friends, possibly with substances, uh, you know, maybe maybe that's something you could explore in Minecraft. But like, it's it's something to uh, consider. I will make this argument across probably this whole stream. I think this is a very funny movie, um, absolutely unintentionally and highly incompetently. Um, but I'm kind of glad it exists in some ways. That's, okay, that's all take. right. Uh, Lauren, what you got? Uh, I guess I would say it's so bad it's good, but there were parts where it was just, you know, it was a little boring. I, was, I found myself like drifting drifting off a few times because I was just like, can you just, can, can you just get powers already? Any of you, like, could you, it's just like a couple girls running around and running away from this, you know. I think it could have the potential to be so bad it's good all, all across the board if they just, I don't know, like bullshitted their way into getting their powers earlier in the film. But yeah, there's a, there is a like a huge chunk of this movie that's just hilarious. There's like lines of dialogue. Like there's this one part um, where he's where the, Ezekiel Sims, I guess his name is. He's talking to his uh, to his uh, what his psychic. He said, like, she said something about uh, all. Yeah, she said something about finding the girl. And he was like, look, I feel the psychic. So you couldn't get this uh -oh. job done. Hey, get it, Jay Longbone. Get it, get it, get it I, done I, better or some shit. I don't know. I, uh, I, I didn't catch well, a lot it, of that. Yeah, I didn't then, catch a lot of that because of the phone. And super so. unfortunately, I think uh, you're on your phone because you haven't got power back yet, I think you were saying, right? Oh. Oh, <laughs> maybe and, maybe her oh. power's back and she's switching. I'm not sure, but uh, Fergie, do you want to go next? Uh, I mean, it's terrible, um, but it is, it is pretty funny. I cackled um, a few yes. times. It was really, it's a really funny, it's funny at times because it, it's, it's, it's fascinating to look at as just 
this amalgamation of a lot of really, really, really bad writing and filmmaking. And and the fact that the, the very film's existence is a meme in and of itself, so that contributes to it being funny. Um, something that I guess I would add is I I don't this this film is terrible, but so like every Marvel film that's come out in the last few years, they they're all really bad. So I find it really funny that Madam Web is the one that's like, ah, oh, yeah, this is the worst. It's like, is it? It's terrible. Is it worse than Ant Man? The, like, is it worse than Quantum Mania? You know, is it? It was that more much worse than, than any of these other films. I feel like the M O M and Quantum Manias of the world are a different breed of bad than this. This is this goes back to the two thousands bad. Where well, I'm like, so yeah, this is that, old school. I agree. Man. I yeah. agree. But I guess uh, the point would be that I think that what happens is that the Sony Marvel films, or like a lot of a lot of superhero films that come out from anybody except for Marvel Studios, essentially get rated accurately for their quality of being rated accurately as dog shit. Whereas for some reason, Marvel films will get like an extra two, three points in like, you know, mainstream reviews. This film sucks, but yeah, it is classic, good old fashioned bad. Um, and it's, <laughs> it's pretty funny at times. It's a funny movie. It is. Like I said, I'm like, hoping to convince. And it flies by. Um... It really does fly by. Like I was surprised by how quickly the film was going. Where it's like, holy shit, it's been an hour? Really? Yeah, no, it's when convinced. we it hit like a, a sort of, the, several scenes in this film there are just moments of like oh fuck we've got like barely anything left like yep. uh <laughs> and i i think i think what it is is like uh, maybe a lot of the boringer parts i sort of was just thinking about what i'd just experienced and so the boringer parts yeah. weren't noticed well the thing is is that even in the midst of the boring parts you get some funny lines and memes and just funny examples of uh bad storytelling it, it is throughout there was no scene that just slides by without being a goober scene um it obviously is, yeah don't, like seriously though like i do hope that they, these films stop getting made like this shit is terrible for just art in the yeah, industry when you... in general when you think about all the work that has to go into making a film and yeah. the fact that it all went to this, I mean, we, we've been laughing at all the promotional material, you know, for the first hour of this episode, but that's all work. That's all money. People get hired to do all that stuff. They made a helicopter. All of that. All in service of this. I would way prefer that $80 million got funneled into one or many good films rather yeah, than... Yeah, $10 million dollar projects like go. This. Yeah. But this is a funny movie. It is. It's funny. It's terrible, but it is funny. And for anybody <laughs> who thought ass. it was not funny at all, I will I will try and explain myself. So don't worry. Some people said I'm mad. It's like, don't worry, I'll explain it, I swear. And, uh, oh yes, of course. Uh, sorry, the one thing I haven't done yet is, is it introduced because it just felt so natural. Uh, Dark Hour is our guest, and he's not been on EFAB Hello. before. You may know him yes. from such other uh, industry giants as uh, the Critical Drinkers Open Bar, or, and I'm getting this right when I say this right, uh, the Movie Cynic and Little Platoons podcast, Beast Up. The best stream mm -hmm. best, on the best universe? Show, best show in the universe, probably. There you go. So, um... Welcome, welcome, of course. But uh, yeah, we've just got so much to talk about. You know, I rushed right past it. We've got so many it's memes. It's fine. I, I just, it's just felt natural. You mm. know, I like, I just love being here. Well, and now I'm just, I'm just, I'm just happy to be here. That's you all. can, you can let <laughs> us know. Uh, what, what are you? What's your overall thoughts of this wonderful film? So I won't touch too much. You guys all pretty much nailed on the writing pretty well. But one thing that, first of all, it did feel like it went really fast. But at the same time, I got so annoyed with the repetitive nature of the of the movie. So not only does her powers, like the 30 second jumps, you know, for the, the first like four of them that she does, she doesn't even deviate from what's going on. So she'll like envision this and it'll happen exactly the same way that she envisioned it. So I have to watch the same scene twice. And then the repetitive nature of she has to continuously save these girls. It's like the same story three times or four times. I don't remember how many times she does it. And it, that started to get really, really annoying to me. I, I don't know if I'm also getting jaded at this point, but I don't find a lot of like the terrible writing to be funny anymore. I used to laugh at that kind of stuff. Now I'm just like, uh, they, like I, I, I get you. The, the, the thing that gets at me is always going to be if I feel the person who's delivering this stuff earnestly thought it was cool or funny or interesting. I'm always just like, God, that's... That's just funny in and of itself. But I get what you say, like in, in the wider context of the industry, it's like, well, this is almost normal, isn't it? It's like, I guess so. Yeah. I still watch good movies every once in a while. I watched a few recently, actually, uh, that, were, that were neat new ones. I recommend everyone see The Holdovers and American Fiction and uh, Maestro. They're all very, 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 very good films. 
uh, enjoyable but yeah, as that, hell. Yeah, that's my, then, my general feeling of it was that, like, I, I'm, and I know that there was a lot of reshoots, but that's probably my favorite thing. I hope we get into that about how they couldn't place this in the continuity because they had no idea where to put it. But it, it just, it seems like it was a movie that was made by people who have literally no idea what the hell they're doing. No passion, so, no yeah. anything. Well, it, there's no research, no passion. Uh, the, the, the there was research sucked. in the Amazon. Well, yes, there was research on spiders in the Amazon. Uh, the 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 cuts, like the jump cuts of uh, from uh, in certain scenes, to, like they didn't even do that right because usually that's the like hide bad camera work and stuff, and it's still not. You can still see that shit. So the, overall, I I I can't. I can see why you guys would laugh at the uh, the terrible nature of this. Like I said, maybe I'm just jaded at this point. I've seen so many bad movies that I don't even think it's funny anymore. All right. Well, that's my, my general <laughs> take. <laughs> um, in that case, it's, it, I, I, it's funnier. Talk. I, I have a much better like time, and I think I find it funnier talking about it after the fact. In the moment, though, I wasn't really particularly amused. I guess. I mean, yeah. It's, it's not that it doesn't make sense. It's just that uh, I, I guess I was in the right mood for it, at least for that uh, kind of experience. Because uh, I, I don't know. Th this is another interesting like fact. I don't think I'd be mad at this film. I think it's just so kind of pathetic like it's just trying and failing so miserably there are films that make me really mad really, i was only really mad about it because of the bait and switch nature of the powers and all that stuff we, we, we yeah that's on already that's the i wasn't like sitting there like ah oh, they killed my girl like it's a, madam webb's such a great character how dare they destroy this important lore like i wasn't like that but like i just felt really angry when i was like i was i was i was promised something that i didn't get here and that's even if it's on such a weird level of <laughs> Well, even the director being... described it as a tease. Yeah, it's like, okay, so... But that that's the thing that ticked me off, was I don't like that kind of stuff. So that was where I, I, I it lost me. As soon as I realized that, the remain, however much remaining in the movie I had, I was just checked out completely. Well, would you guys like to uh, deep dive into Madam's Web? Mm-hmm. I don't see Madam's why not. Madam's Web. <sighs> so we start... In, well, actually, you know what? Before even the film starts, it lets you know that Columbia Pictures <laughs> are experiencing their yeah. uh, centennial, you'd call it, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah I would call it that. Yeah. That's yeah. awkward. <laughs> to be so on Madam Web. The first film. The first that's, uh, film that's actually her name. Celebrated 100 the, years. Uh, the woman there with the, the, the torch, and the, that, that's Madam Web right there. That's what it was no, referenced to. Yeah. It was um Yeah, yeah, that's Madam they Webb. They foresaw where they would be in a hundred years and that's what they wanted to make sure It was knew. all up to Madam Webb. In in nineteen twenty four, when Columbia Pictures was founded, they said, you know what? Actually they, they they said it a little bit different. They said, Hey, you know what? One of these days gonna be Madam Webb a hundred years from now. People are gonna is, love that's it. That's how they talked in nineteen twenty. Yeah. It is sad though. A hundred years of filmmaking and this is where we're at. Like what, what happened? Did he, like it it's was too all hard to explain. To okay, it was uh, the same last year as well because it was Disney and Warner Brothers last year, and it's like, oh, what do we get for it? What do we get for Warner Brothers one hundred year for massive superhero flops? It, it Several does films seem just getting like absolutely catastrophic like, loss of money forever to never be seen again. And it of does course, seem on like side, what two profitable films last year? Maybe at most like two profitable films out of ten. It, it does seem like whenever they have one of these like tribute intros, I guess we'll call it, like or like at the beginning, it's always attached to something that it shouldn't be every time. Whether it be for a anniversary or like one one example I always love to point out is that the uh, the Stan Lee one was always is, has been is attached to uh, Captain, Captain Marvel, Marvel forever, yeah. and like it every time they do one of these, it just ends up in the wrong. Thank you, film. Kevin. Which one's um, the? Oh, thank. Oh, oh right, of uh, course, Suicide Squad. Yeah, because yeah, you, know. <laughs> you know any other project would have been nice to have that attached to it. Oh, was that? The, that was the one. That was the one for uh, uh, Kevin Conroy. Yeah, the gang. Yeah, Kevin Conroy. Yeah, yeah. Kevin Conroy. Um. So yeah, just embarrassing, awkward that this would be something of a representation of like what a hundred years of Columbia Pictures means. You're just like, why would you even? <laughs> Is this? Scene? Yeah. Oh well. But, uh, yeah, and, and the in association with Marvel is always funny, too, because it's just like, <laughs> we're Marvel, yeah. <laughs> no, you're not. Sort of. Sit down. Um, 
Anyway, it's 1973 in the Amazon rainforest. And it's, uh, I've always found that, that already to me is just like, because uh, a lot of films that are made by people who are very distinct in what vision or what approach they want to have, they would never entertain doing it. They would just be like, no, we're going to give that away from the scene itself. That'll be something that the audience can gather through listening and seeing. And it's like, no. And it's like, oh, so no good film has ever done it? So it's like, no, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. It's just the, there's other ones that they use in this movie that are funny too. It's just like, yeah, it's a bit of exposition. It's almost like um, indicative of what's to come in a bad way when it could be perfectly fine, like I said. But uh, you, I don't know how else to intro it other than the exposition dialogue in this is some of the worst I've seen in a while. Like, it's very consistent. Almost every scene, people talk in a way that's just completely unnatural to get you as much information as possible as quickly as I can. Speaking of which, um, I, I'll actually say this before we start uh, with, I guess, describing the scene. But this this entire first segment of the movie literally didn't have to be here. No, it didn't no. have to exist yeah. at all, as we discover later. No, it's true. Um, and it's funny as well, because it like anyone who's been listening to this and has no idea what happens in the film, they've already got a bit of con they already know this what, what i'm about to describe happens in this scene and the scene after it they know from that one cringe line in the trailer mm -hmm. so uh yeah the, the, it's the rainforest and it is uh madam webb's mother i guess it doesn't really matter if you were to know that now mama webb yes she's um that's exactly how i wrote it in my notes too mama webb mama webb she, she'd yeah. be this is doing researchings webb. And, uh, yeah, the, the guy behind her is like, you think we're close? She says, they're almost impossible to find. No one's ever captured one alive. And it, literally, like, that's the first it's line from her. Like, and you're like, why would you say that to him if he's been with you the whole time? This. He would know this. Yeah, like, But we wouldn't know this as an audience watching the film, so we got to make sure that we catch up the audience by having her say this line. Like, it's if, funny already. If this is the web of the spider that she really wants, shouldn't you like look around the tree, maybe look under some leaves, look under look on the sticks and everything around it? But she doesn't do any of that. She's like, Oh, we've never ever seen one ever. We never found one, and she's like taking pictures of the web and everything. I was like, You look around, look, take well, look, rags. investigate. She finds it me a seconds after this, so there you go, oh, buddy. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Maybe <laughs> off she did screen, too. Yeah. Off screen. Yeah, that's the off best screen. part is that she finds it off screen. But uh, yeah, this it guy is his security, CGI the spider. and he has been throughout the uh, the trip. Apparently, we do find out later that the whole reason he is her security is because he's hoping she will find the spider. So, the, basically, what I'm saying is, with without context, it comes across a super exposition, and then like with context, it's even worse because he's he, like I said, she said they're almost impossible to find, and no one's ever captured one alive. He knows all of that. That's why he's there. Like, it, it's, it's it's so fucking odd. And um, that he says, I agreed to do security because I thought you were close to finding the spider. It's like, wait, but so why did she tell you all that stuff? Like, what? what, 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 what? There's... Also, you would have had to agree before you even started. Yeah, and this this, this, this is not a conversation you have now. Like, these fucking ages well, what ago. I'm saying, yeah, what she I'm, said when she, what was I'm saying... when she was trying to hire people, she said, I'm going to be researching uh, spiders in the Amazon forest when I die. So I'm going to need some people. <laughs> so I'm going to need some people to help me out. What what I'm saying is that she like at the beginning she would have been no closer to finding the spider like she would have been literally the furthest she possibly could be it'd be before she even started the journey, and he and that so that would not be the first thing that was said in a conversation it wouldn't be like I'm really close to finding this thing you're not even in the country yet, but like this is again already why I start to find it funny so I'm like so the writer was like we got to translate to the audience that what she's trying to do here is real difficult and then we got to get them information as to why this guy is even her security. I know. Yeah. We'll have him this say, is important stuff. I'm your security because I want to find the spider. Then she's like, they're impossible to find. <laughs> no one's ever found one alive. Like, there we go. Nailed it. <laughs> like, everyone's got the information. Mission accomplished. Now. All of and the then, information uh, has been delivered to the audience on a silver fucking platter. Well, and it just keeps going. She then says, the peptides in the spider's venom supercharge a cellular structure. Why did you even say that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Why like, did you say that? How do you know that? <laughs> Why? That's, yep. That's just, okay, all right, then. And then he says, uh, or I think she said a spider could give superhuman strength. And then he says the mythical spider. Or, or he says something that relates to um, the people in the area having like a legend about spider people. And she's like, oh, the spider people who run across the treetops and punish evil men with their black poison touch. I'm interested in science, not legends. 
was like, what, clear, what the fuck? To be clear, <laughs> their, their legends about spider people, after seeing Madam Web, it's way better than our legends about spider people. <laughs> This review is like seconds in. And I was like, "God, this is horrible! Like, what? What's going this on?" Is so, like, no, this is this is express delivery of important information. <laughs> they're just wow, They're just machine gunning out these important facts you need to know as an audience member. And this is the mark of quality. Before you can even ask any fucking questions, I was like, "Sorry, there's a there's a legend of spider people that live here who have super strength because the spiders bit them and supercharged their cellular structures, but you can't capture them alive." The spiders. They They're worship like, fucking, the peptides. This is, this is so much information all at once. And then uh, he says the spiders are wasted here. You're like, wh what? And then, <laughs> and then she says the spiders can cure hundreds of diseases. And you're like, oh, okay, yeah, mm. yeah, okay, yeah, okay. So you like, only we let them get degrees, yeah. I feel like there was a way cleaner version of this scene, but it's just like, fuck, okay, all of that just happened, fine. And then she has her, her, like, pregnancy pains, and she says, oh, she's trying to keep me from working. Which I thought was also a strange line, and it's gonna come up later for a really funny line, uh, but, you know, it's just like, whatever. And he says, perhaps you should rest, and she says, I don't have the time. Like, oh, so I guess, uh, something, something may be wrong with it. Okay, that's probably the subtlest they well, ever I are in this movie. I took that to mean that if she doesn't have the time, like she's going to have the baby soon, and then she won't be able to research spiders in the Amazon when she died if oh. she has the baby, right? So she damn, has to like damn, race getting in the, the way of your just to race the pregnancy. <laughs> yeah, well, it's always enough. been my it's always been my dream to die in the Amazon researching <laughs> spiders. If I have this baby, that's going to become a serious problem. So he uh, he walks off, and we follow him, and he's like he's looking around in all the tents, and he's looking for something in particular. It's kind of you get a sense of like something's going on with him that's probably not um, you know on the up and up. But then he's distracted because she runs into the place saying, "I found it! I found the spider! Incredible, isn't it? Something so small yet has so much power." I think I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> All right. <laughs> these yeah. Not normal um, lines. These, these not what humans it's, say. If he's been, and also if he's been here for like months and months and maybe years, and you know, doing this business. He like sneaks back and he starts taking all the pictures with his little spy camera, flipping through the notes and everything. I'm like, dude, there's, there's probably not a, there's probably not really a hurry, you know, to do all this stuff. You, you're right. There here, is. You've been on here for months and months, maybe. You're not in a rush. And yeah, you, not only would there have been thousands of opportunities to get it gradually over time, but the fact that the scene treats it as though he has to get it all now, and you're like, yes. Huh? Um. But yeah, she's she's just announcing, I have found it. It is so powerful. And then the guy starts shooting people. Uh, our, our mystery guy. And it's like, oh, oh dear. And she says, what are you doing? I don't understand. The delivery was so <laughs> funny. She just saw, like, her fellow researchers <laughs> expedition people get shot. And she's like, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? It's so funny. It's almost like they didn't tell her what had happened. <laughs> one, of my, one of my favorite things about this was that, so as she's running with the spider, the first thing that just jumped right out at me, it's just in a Petri dish. It's just a, like, you know, a little thing. It's and a they, jar. They even, a jar. And they just, they, all they did, they, they even CG'd that spider. They didn't, they couldn't get a real spider for just even that scene. I, I can understand like a, them not wanting people to get bitten. It would have been and they stuff. could have used they could have used just an exotic weird spider yeah, from the jungle that no one ever really knew and had it in there and they just said, "Yeah, this is the super secret spider" because people wouldn't like know, you know. Or you could take so, but a quote unquote regular one and and give it like you know fine detail bit of paint. I think there's a way to do oh, that. Oh yeah, like yeah, if it's yeah, not toxic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give it a little bit of coloring, make but, it look special. What's funny is or, this, I never would have believed or, they would do that. I would be like, yeah, they'll CG that. Yeah, for or sure. or we could just make a terrible looking CGI spider that's it's extremely fake looking. <laughs> anyway, uh, so he she says like, what are you doing? He's like, I've been searching for that spider for years, and she says, no, we could help so many people, and he says, and I'm not joking. I'm not interested in helping people. No one helped me when my family died. The, the road, my road is not as clear as yours. I didn't have the same choices as you. I don't even... <laughs> it's, it's Why did some... he even need to shoot those two people? I don't know. He's he could have like, just evil. stolen evil. it at yeah, night or whatever. He's evil. It's, uh, I've seen someone describe this villain as well-motivated, and I wanted to die. I was like, what? Really? You, you can't really? tell me and this when... 
he like when she says I don't understand, a normal person who has the motivation he has would be like, and you never will, you know, like this is this goes well beyond things you could ever understand. Like takes it and is like, please don't make me hurt you, like that sort of thing. Wouldn't even waste time explaining his motivation. But no, the writers were like, no, we got to make her understand. We're gonna make the audience understand. How do we do this as fast as possible? Quickly, say, make him say, I don't want to help people because I wasn't helped and the, my family are all gone. And you know what? The choices I had to make were harder than your ones. Somebody and then the writer <laughs> sat back. He sat back in his chair and said, "This is why, this after is writing Kino. Dracula Untold and The Last Witch Hunter and Gods of Egypt and Power Rangers and Morbius, how this do they is do why it? we still make the big bucks." How, I don't understand. <laughs> how do you make those movies? How do you write those movies and still get jobs in I Hollywood? I don't. I don't understand. It, in that, I don't understand. There were films that were viewed as bad and failed. Um, not films that were bad and made money. Right. Like Alex or films Kurtzman, that were really he, he good that, that actually made money for however bad that they were, you know. But how do you just consistently make bad films? Uh, oh, they had a story credit for Power Rangers, so they didn't they didn't write this screenplay for that, but the ideas behind the story, I guess that was theirs. <laughs> and did uh, anybody uh, else besides I was, did anybody else besides me get the sense that Ezek all of Ezekiel's lines just felt either like dubbed over, ADR'd? It was just like. It didn't uh, yeah, seem like yeah. he was talking. A lot of it, his lines felt like they were shot from the over. side. A lot of them. Yeah. But his mouth is moving, but is he saying what he's saying? I'm not sure. Also, I would say the that the body language didn't match up with how how he was speaking. Like it would, it, his movements weren't natural. Didn't feel natural to the words. Mm -hmm. Well, I was also going to say his uh, ratio of like lines delivered to hilarity said is really high. I can't wait to get some of the stuff mm -hmm. he says. Oh yeah, he's he has some <laughs> of the most golden, terrible lines I've heard. He's a goofy goober. He really is goofy. Um, but yeah, of course. So he, as a as a adult male, struggles to get an item from a pregnant woman and has to shoot her. Uh, he doesn't want to bear in mind, but he just has to, otherwise he can't get what she's holding. It's like yeah, okay. And um, then she, uh, <laughs> he leaves. Just to be clear, I this made me hate the mom. Um, this man has a gun, and he just killed two people with that gun. You you are pregnant. You have a, you have a life that you're kind of responsible for, and you're gonna try and get into a like a, a fighting match with this guy who's on his own, way stronger than you. But he also has a loaded firearm, and he's willing to kill people to get what well, he wants. I'll, so I, I was also, gonna say I'll do you the... one more, but I guess oh, I'm doing you one less in a sense because what you're highlighting is more important. But uh, in character, she would she would not have done what she did because the whole reason she is in the Amazon researching spiders right before she died is because she wants to save her baby. That's that's her main mm -hmm. motivation for putting herself in a lot of danger as well as the kid. And so you'd be like, oh well, okay. You know from the movie that the baby will eventually die if she doesn't get that spider. So yeah, of course she would put everything on the line. It's like she just found it. She has every reason to think she could find another one. As I was literally going to say that this isn't the only spider. This nope. isn't a singular spider. There's possibly hundreds this of is them. It. No, this is the, this she, is it. That's the this one. This is the spider. This is the. That's only why it's one. so elusive. There was only one this whole time. And so yeah, oh, uh, right. I brought this up. I think on FNT. I can't remember if someone had said something like, "Yeah, well, she, you know, in a way, it is death." And it's like, well, in a way, it, no, it's not. And the the bullet would be death. <laughs> that is actually bullet, death. Yes, like, the bullet will kill you. Like it killed the two people right in front of your face seconds ago. Yeah. Yeah, it's like you could take the the possibility of of dying while trying to find yet another spider or the guarantee of dying. Well, yeah, I mean, what's she going to do? Is she she's not going to wrestle it away and assuming she does, what? She's going to outrun him? Like Well, it just puts you back over. to square one of just standing there being like, yeah. "Go away." <laughs> like, I don't think it's going to work. He's willing to no kill winning. people for this. Like Yeah, so You got to find another spider. You yeah. can't find spiders in the Amazon right before you die. If you die, well, and she she's now officially the best person at finding them, pretty much in the world. Remember, they've, yeah, they've never been never it, been captured alive. Well, look what you've done. You've just captured one alive. So how about we get that except second for, one? Except for all, except for that entire tribe. We, we don't talk about them. Well, we are going to talk oh, about sorry. them right now, actually. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, cool. These spider people. Sorry, I'm, I'm out of my head. The spider people start descending from the trees, and uh, one of the first things they thought about with this, it's like, so what did they say the legend was? Not Two minutes ago, the mythical spider people who run across the treetops and punish evil men with their black poison touch. They punish evil men. Do you know, I, I, I think that if they were watching this whole ordeal, 
they would probably consider the guy who shot a pregnant woman to be relatively evil. But they let him escape. I just let yeah, him, go. him go. No, he really... came from nothing. So they, he, need, he needs he, like, he gets a pass. The film should already be over. They capture him and be like, yeah. fuck you, man. And, I, and then kill him. <laughs> I don't. But they don't. Yeah, he could, let him here's escape, the thing. He so couldn't have possibly got that far. He couldn't no, have possibly got that far. He's in the jungle. What's he going to do? Yeah, he hasn't got powers yet. The spider people will fuck him up. The spider people are able to carry her as they leap across the treetops yep. at really mm -hmm. super fast speeds. He doesn't have a chance. <laughs> yeah, they don't even bother to go after him. It's nope. just so no, funny because go. they want you to happen. immediately understand that these are very altruistic spider people. And it's like, they fucked up immediately. Like they, <laughs> The funny thing is they were apparently there like the whole time. They didn't help anybody except her. They were summoned by the gunshots. They heard I the gunshots see. and they crawled over. And they just didn't see him. There you go. Yeah. He was also their name out. is Even like though... Masaranya, and I believe that just means the spiders. And and, and bear in mind they've got some future powers as well, because the guy she speaks to later on in the film, he even says like the the spider bro, <sighs> evil spider man is is running from his fate. And it's like Wait, you know what his fate is? Yeah, because you is? let him. <laughs> like he was gonna say, like you his, could have done something about that. His fate would be that Yeah, his fate could have been you caught him. But it, but you let him go, so now he has a different fate. Also, the way they um they carry her across the treetops looked horrible, by the way. Uh, well, all yeah, of it looks look horrible. Terrible. The way that they like swing through the air and crawl down the tree. Yeah, it looks it really looks cheap. Awful. It yeah. looks like a. I'm. Um, I mean, like it. It looks like something you'd seen like a theater. Yeah, like like I I was thinking that too. Like uh, someone who's being suspended by like their feet and like going like <laughs> down a like a curtain. Or yeah. something like that's exactly what and why like why would you crawl down face first like why because would you just, it, that's how what well, why wait, how he, would you crawl down if you had spider powers? I, I mean i would just i would just slide down the tree it, it would be well one of them just jumps straight down with his little stick and he lands and he does the pose and the other one awkwardly crawls down head first well, so what we gather quickly from this movie as a result of those guys and uh, evil spider-man is how much spider-man's powers the, without the swinging creates a lot of trouble for him. Without the uh, the web shooters, like evil Spider Man has to do a couple of awkward things, such as I will get them by getting into my car. You're like, yeah, okay, you know, because it's just like you have to reasonably travel places, but it just uh, it creates an awkward sense of you know, like when he's crawling to him on the ceiling of the subway. You're like, I guess that's as fast as he can go. He should be able to run. Okay, maybe. it's really tough. It's and really tough, though. You just you, maybe it makes you appreciate how much Spider-Man's uh, web slinging is just a perfect synchronicity what? with a lot of his powers as well. It it is it does retroactively make me pretty angry that like oh no it's not the it's not the radioactivity of the spiders that gives Spider-Man his powers. They just happen to be special spiders that out there that can do that for you. Yeah. Well, the thing about this continuity is I don't know what they're implying about how Spider-Man gets his powers because he is in this. Film Peter Parker is sort of yeah technically. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what's about for about two seconds. Yeah, uh, we could talk about that when we get to it. But anyway, um, she they they allow a spider to bite her, but it is unable to save her, even though she would have been provided with something because it then feeds into the baby that she you know she's pregnant and uh, yeah. that that is the Webster herself. Then this it works is, fast. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was about to say that. Like, it doesn't make it like. If it's if it doesn't get through her well enough to like save her and her in her bloodstream, how the hell does it get to Cassie? Like it doesn't make sense. Like that that's she dies within like seconds. Oh, she, sorry, she sorry she gives birth within seconds of of this of this. Um, fight. I guess we give a bit of room for just fictional thing that's happening here. Like in terms of it would have bitten her blood travels pretty fast around. If even a hint of it gets to the baby, then maybe they'd argue it has to have time to Why not gestate have... or something. Within a Just have the spider post. bite the baby. It's a delivery. This baby well, is going to be out. Rags, they want to make a reason. A second, right? This doesn't. This doesn't actually explain this, but I think they wanted to make a reason for why she has such unique powers. Because oh, she was. Because it was the mom. Yeah. Okay. But like that's still. We'll get to that as well. Okay. Anyway, uh, she is bitten. The baby is born, and then I guess they know that she's still going to die because he tries to assure her and says the journey will not be easy, but she is strong and she will come back when she needs answers. And when she does, I will be here for her. That's what the Spider-Man guy says to uh, uh, Madame Web's mum as she's dying. What I thought was really odd, what struck me is before even addressing anything he said, I was just like, 
You speak English? All these people do, Dang, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Man. I didn't even think of that. That they're just. But like, like why? Guys, like... <laughs> it just, it's just okay because they're like they're so like closed off. Understand. Well, yeah, they're very closed off from other civilizations, right? They're they're like a very self-contained culture, and they're even protective, I think, of the spider stuff. But it's just like oh, they they're all very fluent. Yeah, I guess. They're, they're very they're very isolated. Yeah, so they would they probably honestly wouldn't even speak Spanish if they're this yeah. isolated. I wouldn't be surprised they have their own like language. Their own... Yeah. Yeah, they would yeah, have their they own. They speak the spider language. But maybe they spoke they to the her through, yeah, through spider mode. They, there's like a universal spider language that they can all speak. So, get I that. really love their outfits too. They have like red body paint and then they have black, like weird black webbing sort of over it. It's very cool, very spidery. Uh huh. Well, and they're all bald except for our main guy. Um, oh, of what he said. Is the implication that he knows the future and that she's going to come back, or does he just believe that she will, even though she has no reason to think to come back? Well, I got the implication that he saw it. Oh, I want to know how she gets to New York. Do they raise her? Oh, as, well, why well, do they not raise her as the spider people? Or... Uh, a stork. Why not, why not just raise her as one of the spider people? That is not um, a fate rag. She must become a paramedic. Oh, okay. All right. Yes, she also doesn't have a name at this point or any paperwork. How would she get back into the ice? That's a Illegal great question. Yeah, what is this, California in 2024? She stinks across. Becomes well, it's paramedic. <clears throat> yeah, and that's uh, that's your prologue, I suppose. With all that that's exciting it. information. And, and also, all of that, everything we just talked about, totally pointless and could have been removed. Yeah, you don't need any of it. Yeah, uh, done like all that literally could have just been removed. Yeah, the first six minutes of the movie just didn't really have have to happen. I mean, really, it's yeah, you know, like six and a half minutes because we'll get we'll get it later. We'll, we'll get it again essentially later in the movie. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you are correct. Yeah, about you basically that. get the reverse scene, like essentially the reverse scene with a, with a slight recap of it. So like, why bother? Um, yeah, and then we get two thousand three New York, which again I was just like. No, we, we don't. Yeah, we do. We get 2003 Nueva York. Nueva York. All right. Uh, so, like, why would you need that, like, exposition-wise, I guess? It's, uh, once again, coming into mind. But I suppose it's it's just not as bad as anything else. Because if you had started the movie with her in the ambulance driving, you wouldn't even need to tell us when and where it is. You'd get it. Um, hopefully, anyway. The recognition of all the different iconography of the era. Maybe even an explicit mention. But, um, I don't know, I guess they don't need to get confused, so oh, I'll accept just, it. For the people in chat saying you get the joke, it, it wasn't a joke. That's what the movie says. I, I do want to point out, there was one thing that I really have to say nice about the film, and that's that the Pepsi cans and stuff are accurate to the year. I will give them that. They did a little bit of research on that. Well, I'm glad. Yeah, yeah, that's I mean, that, that's fair. that's yeah, the one yeah. thing I was able to come up with was that they used 2003 accurate labeling. Um, this is uh yeah, so she's uh, she's we... crashing through the roadway, all right? She's going real fast. It's showing that she's putting everything on the line to make sure she can save her person in the back. Though her patient, no offense yeah, to ambulance. Dakota, I just don't buy that she really sells the scene at all and what i came to find was that That's she doesn't all the sell scenes, the entire movie yeah. <laughs> yeah um and she yeah so she's job. she's kind of no. like it, it you know the the action of it the way it's filmed is very like uh, uh oh like we've got to make sure you do everything right something but but she herself seems pretty eh. and in the background is ben parker in the back of the van the ambulance i mean ben what parker. interesting ben himself that, and that he says, lost pulse, I'm starting compressions. I was just like, fuck, damn, lost, lost the uh -oh. pulse. That's, the, that's terrible. That's <laughs> um, and then she says, Ben, what are you even doing back there? W which I was like, oh, that seems inappropriate. You know, like, <laughs> the person's time. But okay. It, uh, you can, the paramedics don't just have a switch that they flick on and off for people's pulses. Like, depending on what the accident was, that can just happen. Well, that's but why, why you're in why a hurry to like, get to the hospital. What are you even doing back? I feel like she should be like, Jesus, fuck, okay. I told like, you. Yeah, because you don't... I don't think you treat it that way. You, you, you'd probably try and gun for 
no pulse. Urgency? Oh my god! Like yeah, like like and then focus. A tone you know, of get them, like panic almost. Get or them to like, the hospital. Yeah, like professional mode has been engaged. Like this is what my training's ready for. We got a thing to do. Um, it's 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 nothing like personal. This is this is work mode. You are in paramedic life saving mode, and so yeah, has like, been. And you're working as a team. Like a good line would have been something along the lines like he said, uh, you know, no pulse. Oh, start compressions. We're only two blocks away. Something like that would have got, you know. A little bit more serious, but yes. Instead, let's just throw in a uh, a quippy uh, retort. It's, uh... it's it's like all of the dialogue in this movie is really flat and first drafty. It doesn't feel. I mean, in the acting, never really. Do, it's just. Um, it all feels cheap and just flat and flavorless, and there's no character to anything. It starts here and it continues for the whole movie. Well, it's good. It's because writers, especially these kind of writers, tend to write everybody sounding like them. So you, it almost sounds like there's a conversation between two of the same person. Kind of, yeah. They don't feel like distinct people. They don't act like distinct like, people. Either. Sometimes that, like, you know, for instance, I know, like, they haven't been introduced yet, but like the girls, it's like this person speaking like this, but with a slight flavor of this. It's it's never a, it's they never sit at and look at it on like the ground level and be like, well, this person would make this decision because this is how I've built them up to this point. Or they would say this because that's how I built them up to this point. Um, the scenes were shown a very like action sort of packed. I think it's just to try and keep you sort of in, in the in the nature of it. But regularly forgets what's actually happening because it'll then cut back to her and she's doing a sort of like how do i put this like, like like a kappa face winky face sort of thing being like how you doing back there to ben who is dealing with someone who's lost their pulse which i just feel like again it's like that's that's the relationship that's the dynamic like oh someone's dying watch out you know better get him to the hospital but then he says not a great, ben. yeah not a great creative decision well so um, this is supposed to tell us what their enduring. relationship is but i think it's clashing yes, with their good bodies yeah but the situation like, is dire because mm -hmm. uh, he yeah, says last time i did a trip like this i was being shot at and then she says wouldn't want to be homesick from the army huh uh, and then he says never thought i'd be this happy to be back in queens and she says you've never been shot at in queens this that's dialogue probably, that's man actually, that's actually pretty accurate, that line right there. I, I don't dialogue. know. Like, this, this is not how you'd be talking to each other if someone was dying right in front of you. It's, uh, it, I don't even know about the, the nature of saying, like, you wouldn't want to be homesick in the army, so it's kind of good in a sense that you're being shot at, or you were being shot at the last time you did a trip. Like, what? what, what? They're just trying to tell us that they've been on adventures before as paramedics. Which you could do but, like, a way we, better job of that. that. The, the we that walk can... in with the assumption because they are. Well, I'm going to assume this isn't their first, like their their first day. Because we get that if it's similar to the kind of dialogue where someone's like, "You're my best friend," character. It's just why would they say these things? Yeah, I don't think I've ever told. Being... We go like all the way back to, to our time in the That's Marine right. Corps, and before I've this, known and... you for ten years, like that kind of shit. When instead, you could just have the characters talk about something that has nothing to do with anything. If they have, like, this relaxed, casual sort of back and forth, um, and they're serious together, um, but, yeah, it's, it's just, it, you're, these are the things you're supposed to pick up on based on how they act, not things that you specifically try and implant in people's minds first and foremost. Um, and also just the way it's shot, it's just, there's not, there's nothing interesting about it. It's just super quick cuts, the occasional car noise, and you never get the, you don't, the, the out, what they're trying to say is that like the frenetic outside driving around, it isn't, um, it doesn't, yeah, like while I was saying, it doesn't match the, doesn't match her expression or like the way it's, that the car is moving around on the inside, you know? Well, yeah, and I just also, don't like the idea that this is how they deal with someone who's dying. Uh, we'll see the difference later. They, they they do an actual, like, how to deal with someone who's actually dying properly I, somewhat. Well, uh, there, People say is... I was typing. You were typing. But he's blaming so, me for the noise so of typing. There, I'm not blaming you. I will say that. No, you're not blaming me, but you need to clarify that it was you were typing, not me. I didn't even, I'm, I'm not, not even reading chat. What do you mean? Everybody in chat is saying typing sounds and that it's my fault. I'm not typing. 
Freddy Good. Carry on. What, <laughs> what the fuck? I'm just saying, I don't give a shit. <laughs> carry on. Me. <laughs> uh, uh, what I was going to say about that, though, so there is, uh, with people who deal with a lot of death, whether it be uh, firefighters, uh, police, or in this case, EMTs, uh, they do tend to have a sort of dark sense of humor to get around oh, sure. that, but not in front of patients. Well, no, no, no. So, so uh, when, can, yeah, when you not only not in front of patient, but when you've got one that just lost their pulse, that's very bad in yeah. terms of assessing yeah. the situation. You have them in your ambulance, and then something gets worse. You know what happens then is like yeah. call outs for what we need and where we need to go and what time frame we have. Not <laughs> oh, everything all right back there? I think that's cringe. Yeah, basically. No, I'm saying, I, 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 I was just pointing. Oh, well, that just happened. I was just pointing. No, yeah, no, I wasn't, you're right. I wasn't I get justifying you. it. I was just saying that, like, yes, this is a thing that they, and which leads me to believe that that's as far as it got with like a person being like, oh, I've heard that like EMTs have like a dark sense of humor, and it's like, yeah, yes, but that doesn't mean but... they're sarcastic and they don't care because that's not well, the that's kind of saying. job that you yeah. take if you don't like actually give a shit. Well, that's what I was saying though. It's like that's that's as far as the, as well, and, the and... research got there. It's like, oh, we, we've heard that this is a thing, so we're just gonna throw it in there, you know. Well, and, and the comparison would just be that they deal with people in very, very bad situations later and treat them much more serious than that one. I don't know why that one's off. My assumption is because they wanted to try and show us the chemistry of Ben Parker and Madam Webb herself and uh, express that they've had many times, many adventures, many, many histories together. And you're like, okie dokie, thumbs up, I gotcha. I just uh, uh, don't I think it's very in, well executed. When I was in Search and Rescue, one of the guys who was in charge of it was an EMT. And he told he would tell us stories all the time about the crazy shit that he'd have to go through and see. And a lot of the stories were really funny. A lot of the stories were really gross. A lot of the stories were really serious. And the way that he's he was able to like you got the sense of there were like you have to have your modes. You have to be in serious, don't fuck around, no jokes, life saving mode. And then you can go into Oh, all right, you know, wasn't that funny? It's incredible. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness, I've never seen a gallbladder that swollen, or you know, whatever it was. So you'd have to, you need, you need to be able to like have the modes and have the switches on and off, and no one to be serious, and no one to be sarcastic, and no one to bring out the, you know, the dark humor. Well, and not like I said, that, it, and... it gives you indications of character that aren't meant. They're not. They don't want you to think this about Madam Web. In fact, this film tries to argue she's actually very caring about people. I was literally I mean, about to say that this does not ingratiate the, her no. us as a character. Yeah, it makes she's it almost very like... unlikable. Exactly, that's exactly where I was going to go. Um, so yeah, uh, the, 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 try and picture the roads. You know, you got your 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 barreling forward in the ambulance because you're desperate to get this patient to the hospital, and a skateboarder goes into the lane right at you. And uh, the way they edit it is remarkable because both of them stop right next to each other. And she's like, "Whoa!" And and you know, the person on the on the skateboard is, uh, if you're aware of any kind, she's going to be relevant later. So it's like, "Oh, it's one of the spider women." Wow. And then she says, uh, "You know, like like the, the you know, get out of the way, sort of stuff." And and she does move off, but she flips off the ambulance when she was in the wrong lane. She was driving the. She was she was holding onto the back of a dump, uh, like a like a garbage truck. Yeah. Then she purposefully goes into the left side of the road, which for those of you who don't know, we drive on the <laughs> right. The correct the right we, side we drive of the road the here. We drive on the, the correct side of the road. So she's going against traffic. She's heading into oncoming traffic mm -hmm. on a skateboard, doing a flip. And it's and an that's ambulance with its sirens on. And she stopped an ambulance with sirens on and is mad at them as if, oh, wow, fuck you guys. It's an ambulance with sirens and, on. Well, and, and, and going against the mechanics of she would have gotten flattened because this ambulance is charging forward to save a life, right? And there's no... She wasn't slowing down for a light or anything. So she, the, the break is instant. And it's amazing. In fact, oh, it shows up in the trailer also, here. How the... wonderful. And also, I mean, if we're going to be fair, that that dump truck that the other that the skateboard chick was on shouldn't have been moving because if there's an ambulance coming with the sirens on and everything, you stop. You stop and you pull to the side of the road if you can, but you stop. You don't keep moving. I don't think it would stop so, in the other lane. Uh, yeah, you slow down. Oh, no. And especially what? in New York, you'll, you'll get ticketed real fast in New York. For oh, yeah. That. If you've got oh, uh, okay. if there's right. yeah, if there's an ambulance coming the other way, especially if it's a two laner like here, you, you stop. You're stopping and you're. Pull into the right if you can. Over here, like, people will try and get out of the way of an ambulance in the same lane, but typically... Slow down and move out of the yeah. way. 
Um, but in well, the most case, accurate thing about this scene is that is that she does. Uh, you know, I wouldn't be shocked if a teenager in New York would flip off of ambulance. That's pretty accurate, actually. Well, um, yeah, because they do. It doesn't endear us to no. two of our uh, semi protagonists off the bat. So. Well, but uh, to Coach Johnson's delivery again, she's like, "Who flips off an ambulance?" Jesus. I don't know who stares there. Who stands there gawking at some skateboarder when you've got a dying person in the back? No, that's Go, remember woman. she said, "How you doing back there?" with a little winky face. So it's fine. We're fine about that. It's chill. Remember, We're he's doing compressions, so it's fine. All all of the check marks on the list of like characters that I don't like, and they're hitting them almost with scary efficiency. Yeah. So they were successful. They brought the person to the ambulance, and they have been stabilized. Woohoo! Um, to the hospital. What did I say? Ambulance? Ambulance. <laughs> yeah, they hospital. brought them to the ambulance. Um, and th th then we're, we're, they're walking together and uh, uh, Ben is like, have you ever been to a baby shower? And she says, no, I'm careful not to get roped in. And, and the conversation is sort of around how she avoids getting into any kind of social environments. Because that's our Even madam. Even though her web connects them all. Yes. We're getting She's more character building here. She is anti-social. Yes. And, uh, I think then... she's even more than antisocial. She's a dick. <laughs> well, we're about to get to a really good example of that. So, yeah. uh, nurse, I think, says, "Oh, I'm glad I'm caught you. She's okay." And she goes, "Who? So the patient that you guys brought in." And this little boy wanted to thank you, right? So, bear in mind the scenario here is that the is it the son of the person you've just saved is handing you a drawing in thanks for saving his mum. All right, that's the scenario, and. uh... Mm -hmm. She says, oh, there you know what, one... um, Ben Parker here, he's the one that did all the work, so, uh, and then Ben looks at her and goes, take it, take it, just take it, take it, and then she awkwardly does, and I was already like, what are we, what are we doing here? Like, like I get that she doesn't like to hang out with people or whatever, but this is just a, a, a kid thanking her for saving someone, and she There's can't, like... one correct thing to do when in, you're in this situation and a child hands you a drawing of appreciation for saving the life of their family member, you take it and you say that you are glad to do it and you you don't awkwardly like decline it and say, no, 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 I'm not going to. But as if that, that could be as bad as it would get, um, the kid walks off and, uh, well, sorry, first they, they do this thing of, are you all immediate family? And then, uh, what's her name? Sydney Sweetie's just here. The camera sort of pads to her and it's just like, hello, I'm here now. And she says, I'm her stepdaughter. <laughs> you're like, okay. And she says, uh... Which is, still, which is still immediate family. It's like... Well, yeah, but then she says, I think she might prefer... And then, I guess, the dad there says, I'll see you back at the apartment. And the uh, Madam Webb and and Sydney Sweeney look at each other because they're in the web together, you know. So they know they look. Mm -hmm. It looks, and it just it just it struck me as like, oh, so we're just randomly dropping these girls in, and they're gonna be like, see, like, look, oh, isn't that crazy that we met up so many times? Oh my god, it's so nuts. They're always so awkward. Um, she walks the off. Frame, the framing for her is hilarious. Too, yeah, yeah. It. Like, they'll walk off, and. uh... Uh, Madam herself turns to Ben with the with the drawing and says, "What am I supposed to do with this?" Which, again, just uh, characterizing it, you're like, "What do you mean? What are you supposed to do with it?" What an asshole! But then, shockingly, Ben Parker says, "Just put it in your pocket and then throw it away later." Yeah. Now, someone might cool. argue, "Oh, why are you nitpicking? That's tiny." It's like. Why do they make Ben Parker and Madam herself shit on a kid's drawing about saving his family? I just yeah, don't understand. They're just they're being assholes. I don't get it. Why are you like this? You didn't <laughs> have to write them like this, but they chose you. You specifically, when you could have wrote them as anything that you want, you wrote them to be this instantly I I unlikable and unprofessional right off the right out of the gate. I, like, like I said, I just I got nothing for it. I'm just like this doesn't help. Makes people... This was their creative vision, I guess. I don't know. So, so then we get cool. more seeds of their bonding, because you're just es establishing their connection, because it'll be banked on throughout the movie. Oh, wait. No, <laughs> not really. <laughs> anyway, um, We've actually referenced this already. Wait, which thing? Oh, what they're bonding. We've, we've already referenced. Oh, yeah. So this, is, this is her favorite activity, her favorite hobby. Um... And the seed opens because they're having food, and, and it just opens with her saying, Come on, we both hate family stuff. 
it, 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 yeah, it's just like, uh. <laughs> this <laughs> right. is such riveting dialogue. And uh, Ben says, fair. I've kind of met someone. And, and Madam is like, ooh, what's her name? And because I guess they've got some issue with not naming Peter Parker or May, you never hear these names in the movie. Like, I assume yeah, that was really, say... really clunky and awkward. It was so, Yeah, like, was it's like, weird. I, I When I watched this, I thought at first that he was referencing her. Oh. Why, what? I thought when that... I didn't when... that at all. Oh, that's the that's the read I got at it at first because of how awkward it was and how he wouldn't say the name and the way that he looked at her. It was almost like, oh, do you mean do you mean her? Is he like hitting on her? No, no, no. I know that's wrong. <laughs> it's, that's the read I got on it because made, it was so weird and awkward. Reason, the film is. I mean, I, I could I could have seen them Peter. going. Yeah, I I could have seen them going a route of like there being an implication that they used to hook up and then, oh, I don't want that anymore. I met somebody who's who, who is more into, like, the relate because, like, she's all about, like, disattachment and all this stuff. Um, I could have saw maybe that take, but not him meeting her in that moment. Like, I like that what you're I, saying, so. I just, I, I would have found it funny if it's like, I met someone, her name is Aunt May. <laughs> like, that would have been... <laughs> wow, you stole my joke. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, did nice. you say that? Or... He said when it to you. you. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Oh, whoa. That, that was a really good joke, Mahler. That's the, that's the great, that's the flattery. That is flattery. That, that joke was so good, it was worthy of stealing and then broadcasting in front of all these thousands hey, look, of all right. people. That's, hey, look, all right. It's, it's uh, well, no, that's fine. because Imitation you, you is the clarified. sincerest form of flattery. He just imitated your joke exactly as it was. Well, and as people um, mentioned, um, I did do the joke on FNT, so it's nice to let other people have a chance, you know. <laughs> Fringy mm. nailed it. He did. That was really good. Hey, look, all right. Remember, look, all right. All right. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, he he like struggles to say what would be funny to be Aunt May, and uh, she says, "Oh, serious. She's a lucky lady." Like not naming the person you're interested in or starting a re serious relationship is a sign that it's serious. I was like, what? Like, I, 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 I didn't really, get that this at all. This is a really serious relationship. I thought That's maybe why I can't tell you who it is. I, I thought the whole thing maybe was just. Um, Trying to, uh, like, like find away. a way around not saying her name, which is so fucking odd. And they came up with that. Like, oh, you're not saying her name, so it must be serious. Normally it's the other way around, where once you start dating someone, you don't really tell people about it until you sort of have kind of established that it's more than just, like, a sure, one- yeah. or two-time thing, you know? So the idea that he's at this point with a relationship and is now not willing to commit to giving the person's name does come across as odd. Been, I just had like a random thought that it would have been even funnier if like he just didn't actually know her name. <laughs> well, what is like... Aunt May's first name? <laughs> I, mean, I don't actually I'm... know. I think it's May. It's May Parker. Yeah, that was the, that's the, yeah. The... Yeah. <laughs> but I, yeah, I mean, it's a, yeah. Not allowed to say it, I assume, because they, they, they actually make kind of almost an in-universe meme of not being able to say Peter, uh, which is odd too. I wonder what her... Like I said, I was on FNT and there was some mention of possible, like, uh, issues with some kind of rights to say it. I just didn't... I wouldn't have thought so. It's I don't know. weird because they can... Yeah, because they could say Ben Parker and they can have Madam Webb and they can do no, all okay. this stuff. It's short... I, I just looked sense. it up because it's short for Maybell. I was... I, I think I knew that, but... Maybell. <laughs> it's a good name. Strong name. Yeah, yeah it's great. Yeah. Maybell Parker. Reminds me of, um... What's the, what's the worst name? Like, Gertrude is probably the worst name, isn't it? Yeah, so so her name is uh, May. Isn't her for, uh, for like it, like as May isn't her for, full first name. Sorry, sorry, I was wrong. Oh, it's all good. Well, uh, the worst of real there. names. Agnes. Agnes is pretty bad. What's Agnes. there's another one I'm thinking about. Mildred. That's Mild really Melvin? bad. Melvin. Oh, Mildred's bad. Yeah. Hildegard. No, Hildegard's all right. I like. Mm -hmm. I love the name. Hildegard. I like. I, like, yeah. I think I like Hildegard. Yeah. Hildegard. Um, yeah. It's like it's someone said strong. It's a strong Nord woman's name. Agatha? Agatha? I don't mind Agatha as much as the other Agatha, ones you mentioned. Agatha... Yeah. Uh, Agatha's... I, I, mm. Low tier name. Could be worse. I, I, th but... I think people just have a, a negative connotation for Agatha because of uh, uh, WandaVision. Wait, so was it Charlie well, it, it's is kind awful? Of... What's wrong with Charlie? Ch Charlie? Charlie's fine. <laughs> Charlie's fine. Olga. Broom, yeah, Olga. I don't like Olga. Olga. Olga's not not a... A... Olga is... Yeah, not really Matilda, good. Gretchen. Matilda was yes, a fine Gretchen. name. Gretchen. Yes, true. So, Gretchen is so, ugh. so pretty much don't be a person who has an old German name is what you're saying. 
But there's some I ones know, that are really yeah. cool yeah. old German names. What? Some... Someone said Bartholomew in the chat. That name is based. Bartholomew is great. A few of these I can't even pronounce. Henrietta? Yeah, I don't like Henrietta. You've just added Etta to Henry. It's, you, yeah, don't do that. We, nah. Well, the boys added Re to Hen, so they, they're cheating too. Oh, dang. Balthazar That's is true. an awesome name. Balthazar <laughs> so is a taser face. Taser face. Taser face is a pretty bad name, yeah. <laughs> so. Gertel Baumgartner. <laughs> uh, they Gertel. open up some fortune cookies. And this is where you oh, get really is, interesting oh, sort of writing choices. Classic, right? so good. Classic so, uh, fortune cookies. His team. says, you have a winning personality. And he says, huh, must have gotten yours by mistake. And then she's like, ha ha ha, asshole. It's like, hmm. <laughs> this is banter. Uh, his says, really good. you will, and then you can't make out the rest of it. She's like, whoa, what? I don't have a future. <laughs> Which is like a really weird thing. Okay. Um, you uh, will smudge. I feel like that's something that you could do something with in a much better movie that was playing it more subtle. How someone who like can change the future and can see the future gets a fortune cookie that's just like weird or wrong, you know? Mm. There's an idea you are in to there. be announced. There's an idea in there that was uh, that 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 was just uh, nothing was done with in oh, this yeah. movie. So, yeah. So the way that the the dialogue is, it's I almost wish that they had the excuse of we couldn't film this with people together because of COVID or whatever, like they used to say, because that's what it comes off as. It almost sounds like they weren't in the same room when they were recording these lines. That is true. A lot of it would be explained by that, but unfortunately, I think this is just a matter of bad scripts delivered by actresses who. Went very into it, maybe. Uh, and actors, of course. Um, yeah, this definitely has that, um, you know, shoot it in the late afternoon. Everyone kind of wants to go home. Just first take, and that's fine, you know. Yeah. So she heads home, and she walks past the third Spider Lady cameo, who is living in the same apartment building, and she's like, I'll have my rent for you tomorrow, okay? Just like a, all right. She says, "I'll, f I'll fix, <laughs> I'll get your rent when you fix this damn door." <laughs> that would be great. That's what she Bold says. Reference. That's what she says. And uh, no, she doesn't. She feeds a cat and says, "Us strays, we gotta stick together." But again, and every time I see stuff like this, I'm just like, such an uh, asshole. "Well, just, just bad ways of trying to." It, it, every time I hear stuff like that, it's just the right to be like, "You understand the character I'm writing here?" And I'm like, "I understand what you're trying to do." Just wish I don't you know how she went. A little more subtle, that's all. She went from a baby in a cave in the Amazon in Peru mm -hmm. to being a paramedic with his apartment and everything. And I'm just like, how did that happen? What? Yeah, yeah. Why? Like, dude, we it's missed, so we missed, we missed the good story. The good story of how this child ended up back in New York is the. Is, is what... How did we get this? How did we get well, this does baby? It, yeah, from... does it never come up that, that they explain that they must have dropped her off somewhere? You know, that never gets said, right? Or does it? Yeah, but like, how does like, how do like, like, like anybody just stumbled across a baby sitting in the Amazon? You just wonder, yeah, like, you so wouldn't mind, because yeah. they go to see the guy. It's like, you'd think you would explain why he did it, just not necessarily, he's like, you don't need to know exactly why, but it would be nice if he was like, he had to make a decision, such as, you know, uh, Oh, I mean, there is a decision to be made there because, you know, like, growing up in the foster care system is uh, not easy. Well, I guess they wouldn't. I don't know if they know much about that, being the Amazon or whatever. But I, I, I mean, just, he speaks. He, he, I, I mean, I presume he speaks fluent English. Well, so, so my, I, the, like, I was actually going to say well, further to that right? point: Did he do it because that's what is going to happen? That's you know what part I mean? Of the, the web. It's yeah, part yeah. Of if he said web. like, "I of course gave you the foster system because that is where you always went," or something like that, you'd be like, "What?" <laughs> you could have said that. I don't think that makes any sense, but okay. Uh. So yeah, she she looks at the kid's drawing, and it has uh, me, my mum, and my dad, and it's like three stick drawing things, and it just makes me even more mad that she was like, ugh, I was like, what is this? Gross. Um, but then she folds it up, and she decides she's gonna keep it. And I was like, oh, did the, did the writers want us to think that she might be cold, but then it's like, see, she's not actually cold. And I was like, she already said the thing, and you already had Ben yeah. say what he said. When you could have had Ben say, like, man, you should hang on to that. You know, it's it's proof that there's people out there who need you, or something, you know, generic. 
Yeah, something like, you have a family, it's the world. Yeah, you know? I have... Uh, uh, no, never mind, never mind. <laughs> just carry on. Um, I don't. She's just a jerk. Like I don't know. Man. Well, she stores like, that in her box of things, and then she starts looking through the Amazon stuff with her mom. In her, and bo <laughs> in her box of things. <laughs> and, That's all of her boxes. But the fact well, that you're like, this is, goes in her box of things. What's funny to me is just there's only one thing I could ever gather from watching her, you know, with lament, searching through stuff that relates to her mom in the Amazon. She's like, oh, she, so she's like sad that she doesn't get to have a mom and that looking at the drawing of the kid who's got a family, she could have had a family, and like she probably harbors some level of resentment for why this ever happened. She doesn't know anything about it, blah, blah, blah. As the scene is about to close out, I'm pretty sure they have ADR because you don't see her say this. Just, there's a line that's just, I hope the spiders were worth it, Bob. I was like, fuck <laughs> <in> hell. <laughs> First off, they were, you little jerk. It's uh, it's so funny. Were quiet. Like, they were, had better dialogue. They were so worried that people wouldn't get the point of that scene, so they were like, "You better slap a line on there, okay? <laughs> hope, <laughs> hope you're happy with your decision, Bob." Yeah, they might as well have put like a something in the box that was like that literally just had a spider and like a big thumbs up next to it or something. <laughs> yeah, at um, like, that point across, or like <laughs> a, a, a tape that she plays. The mom is like, "I'm yeah. really happy to go to the Amazon despite the risks because, gosh, I just love going to places sometimes. Oof. I just love spiders. Spiders yeah. is like my the thing I care about most in the world, and I don't even know why she hates her mom even then." Do I you, still don't get she it. She thinks that her mom chose to be in the Amazon despite the risks and then got herself killed and thus unable to look after her as a child shot? which was reckless. She yeah, got she a was... gunshot wound. Was that this this is actually a good point of like, well, what information does uh does Madam have? What does she know that did actually happen to her mom? Does she only know that she was she died in the Amazon question mark? Like, yeah, who, what about knows? the rest of the family and the kin here in the the United States or wherever? Yeah, did the, the the spider tribe did they restore the body? What about all the other explorers at the base camp? Did they say, yeah, these crazy weirdos came or, down from the trees and stole her body yeah. and, and ran her to a cave somewhere? I don't they took her into the forest. What well, the fuck happened? Yet, she knows it yeah, yet, Why hasn't she have but yeah. who who told her that? And what else did they say? Is it like who is the yeah, person? Like, literally, she she should have so many questions about how she's even where she is. At how none of them were ever asked is beyond me. Because it looks like she's holding like a birth certificate from Peru in one of the scenes, right? Is I forget what is it from Peru or the U.S. There was I think I think something in the chest was. I think it had like a baby handprint on it or like a baby foot. Yeah, it, it did. It had a baby footprint. I didn't take down the notes, but I would assume that it was a Peruvian. Uh, okay, so certificate. she so she got I'm trying to just go off memory here. She has a birth certificate from Peru in her box of things. Mm. So I guess that means that she got put through the system and is at least a citizen of Peru. So she must have known that the mom got so the spider tribe must have taken her to a hospital through some through some means right so that means that the mom's body surely was given back right i don't know and then I... she would know that she would have died of a gunshot from the crazy cuz everybody else in the camp yeah. would have cuz there's yeah. other people there was other people you're right the they table. were other people and they would have told everybody what happened? Yeah, so all they of this. A fucking crazy also, guy, they would have known who he is too. International, yeah, they know who he is because they have like the photos and everything. Oh my god, I didn't think about this. They saw him do it. Oh, they saw him do it. They know who he is. They know everything about the situation. The webs of fate are unraveling. They are. Oh, no, but because don't was, forget, there's also. We we, we just because we, say, we oh. didn't mention it earlier, just so chat no. But when he shot the two guys, there were like noticeably other people the running around in the background. Yeah, we saw people. With. We saw people in the camp who were obviously not the ones he shot before he ran off. Yeah, they so... knew, and they didn't do anything about it. They Nor did they tell the escape. world, because obviously, also, Madam would, yeah. herself would have found out. Mm -hmm. One thing I'd also like to point—it's a smaller detail—but there's lots of medical records about her having a disease that she wouldn't have been able to survive, but she's fine. 
So there was already medical That's... records from the United States. You're right. She should have known about. I was going to bring that up later when she finds out about. Oh, the, I'm, the, the so, I'm no, sorry. No, it, it's fair. It's no, fine to bring it up now because it's, it's it's fair to bring up as a that's more information that she should be aware of, but for some reason doesn't know. And by the way, with how interested she is in why her mother abandoned her, you'd think she may have spoken to her mother's doctor, like the especially related to the the, the terminal illness she had. Or the fellow scientists and who were studying spiders yep. in the Amazon before yep. they died. Yep. But no, there's not no. there's, like there's this <laughs> massive gap between like we were kind of memeing about it at first, so like, oh, how did she get to America? But like, there's seriously really important stuff that happens between 1973 and 2003 that is like it needs to be accounted for because that's important character stuff. It's a really good movie. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it's great. I, I guess like we it. yeah we move on to we got a new new accident happening. There's a bridge and oh a car. wait also oh yeah who is the father? Does he ever come up? Does the no, father? No, I don't think they, they just briefly mentioned that he wasn't around. Uh. Oh yeah, it's okay, a very well. it's like a, it's like a one off well, line. Nor nor did she attempt to search for him. I'm assuming, or maybe she did and she couldn't find anything. Who, who knows? She can't even access information that's readily available from other people. So I guess information about him is probably even more impossible to find. But Yes, there's a, there's a bridge situation. There's a car that's like teetering on the edge, and there's a man in there who's like, "Oh no, help me!" This is something that got spread around a bit as an edit on on Twitter. The 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 way that it was shot, it's a bit different in the movie, but it's still on them for fucking promoted it with such a horribly like edited little clip. Um, it's safe to say that uh, she she tries to get in and and sort of help him, and he's rescued, but she's still in the car. The car falls, and correct me if I'm wrong, but she hits her head on the. Yeah, windscreen on the glass it shadows uh, and one could say the web is now online it, uh, it activates mm -hmm. that's how you turn on the web well, that's pretty activated. clever visual storytelling because mm -hmm. the shattered glass kind of looks like a web that pretty was really clever. cool yeah yeah mm -hmm. i'm sure they'll we, we won't get a repeat of them using that visual like, i genuinely have no idea why it's meaningful that she needed to hit her head on um something to make the web come online um, one could argue a near-death experience might activate her, but that's not what's happening yet. She has to drown first, right? Before that would happen. So, like, hitting her head on the well, thing... Knocked her out, yeah. maybe? And... So if she had just been knocked out at any other point, the, the web would have come online, I guess? This is, you know, it's not un unreasonable to say it's the first time she's been knocked out. Let's but, just uh... call... Let's just say that... F let's just say fate. Yeah, fate. Yeah. It's, it's also, almost I don't... like when she meets the guy later in the film, he could have they could have at least thrown in a line or two as to why this started happening to her now. As opposed um, to ten years prior or something. I think the film wants us to believe it's because she dies. Quote unquote. You know what I mean? She dies for like three minutes or whatever. I don't like how they're going to the car. I remember that it seemed yes. really like it obviously was teetering over the edge. I was and actually they, gonna No bring one that seems up. to mention anything about how like it might fall forward. They just go in and like cut the guy and grab him down and then it falls because I guess she's more she's bigger or whatever than the guy with or whatever. But there's no there there's no attention paid to the fact that the car is about to like fall in. Or or like that someone needs to be in the back, like holding it down. Yeah. Or they have to tie it to another car or anything like that. They're just like it, it might as well have been in the middle of the road with how they treat it when it's clearly like halfway hanging off. Yeah, protocol would bridge. be to to tether it to something. There's yeah. gotta be yeah. But, there's several things to be done, but you're right. Even a selection of well-meaning, aware people could have easily saved it just by jumping and pushing. You know, on the other side of it, trying to keep it down. Yeah, even away. if you got some bystanders to just hold the back mm -hmm. of the car, that would make you know the difference. But. <sighs> Yes, uh, she sees some some visuals, gets some lines spreading around up in there in the webverse, and uh, it's all so crazy because it's like the future and the past and the present all merging. It's incredible. She sees blood on her hands and balloons popping, which is all going to be so fucking relevant soon, so it's kind of cool. It's really decent foreshadowing, actually, because you will see balloons pop later. I just want to make sure we appreciate the film for that. And... Um, yeah, she, she drowned and for three minutes, and, and uh, good old Ben Parker jumps in, saves her, and brings her back. And uh, that has yeah, activated when she, she the webverse. She wakes up, and she's been... Yeah, she's, when she wakes up, she's been pulled to the side of the water and resuscitated by Ben. Ben has jumped in. I guess he jumped off the bridge down mm -hmm. to get her. Yep. Ben is a fucking hero. And there is barely any uh, recognition of what he has done 
to do that for oh, yeah. her at all. Virtually none. I don't even think she says thank you. Uh, you might be right. If anything, she seems annoyed. I think yeah. she comes across <laughs> as like annoyed. She doesn't say yeah. thank you. When I'd be like in tears saying, holy fuck, you saved my life. I'd be dead if you uh, weren't. Yeah. Like, yeah, I would he say. might as well have said you should have just left me there. I, I would go as far as to agree with that. I feel like drowning would probably give you quite the perspective. Uh, but I guess she was distracted by the webverse activating. So uh, to her, it felt like nothing. Because that's, that's the, this is strictly uh, based on how Dakota Johnson performs it. I would have guessed she didn't even know she had drowned. She, she, had no, she didn't even know she had trauma of any kind. She literally is just like, oh, hey, Ben, like, what's going on? And he's like, oh, you yeah, know, she you, just uh, wakes up yeah. after being outside of the car safely on the side of the river with Ben, like, performing, like, chest compressions on her. Mm -hmm. I was, yeah, I was about to say that chest, <laughs> chest, there's some continuity there. He had clearly had to do some chest he, compressions. So he's they, like they were accounting for that in the in the uh they in the do earlier part of the script. A lot of chest compressions foreshadowing for the big chest compressions payoff that does come. So. And then when she's up top on the bridge, she doesn't even say like thank you either. Again, she's No, she's annoyed. She you're just right. comes across as annoyed at him. Well, so he This man saved your life. He points he, out the great um, danger to himself. He says that you need to see a real doctor and have a real workup done because your stats are like terrible. And then she's like, nah, I trust you. Which is the opposite of what you would have to say to not go to the hospital. Like, I trust you that he just said you need to go to the hospital. You understand? Like, if he had said you need to go to the hospital, and she, she, then she said, like, oh, you think everyone needs to go to the hospital whenever they do anything. Like, that would have been one thing. But she says, I trust you. I think the point of the line was supposed to be that she trusts he's taken care of her. But his care includes go to the hospital. You know what I mean? Which is just the most obvious normal thing in the world. You fell off a bridge and smashed your head into the glass of a car and then nearly drowned. You might be seriously messed up. Yeah. If anything, it would be incredibly lucky if you weren't messed up. It is like an amalgamation of serious injuries. You need to go to the hospital. So, I don't know. So, also, <laughs> so like, the, there's a possibility you, the rest. So that's oh, where she works. She works at the hospital. She has to go back there. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say that with, with the tr the actual concussion and the uh, the oxygen being cut off from the brain, there's a possibility the rest of this movie just happens to take place in her uh, while she's in a coma. Yeah, but at least we know what happened to uh, explains the writing. Hmm. Um. Yeah, and then, uh, from her point of view, she knows all of that happened in what I, for lack of a better term, the real world, and then whatever she was experiencing in whatever crazy world that was, which by the way would be better explained by the fact that her brain was dying. <laughs> like, would it not? Like, everything she saw, yeah. you'd think, oh, because I was dead for, like, for three minutes, I guess that makes sense. But no, she she instead interprets all that as, I just want to go home and chill out. I just want to, you know, just go watch uh, Christmas Carol. That's what I want to do. So, you know, that's that. Even says, like, her OT is uh, at the levels of a dead fish. So... You know, but she says, don't worry, it's, it's already 89, I think, and then he looks at it, and it's not, but then it becomes that, because she saw it Yeah, she already. has a premonition. Which is, um, their way of being like, oh, isn't that neat and interesting? And you're sort of just sitting there like, um, okay. This, uh, and, and this is what I mean, by the way, there's so much garbage, and the movie's, like, <laughs> rushing on. Like, we're already, I want to guess something like 25 minutes or something in. It's just like, shit, man. Damn. Um, so anyway, we've got to introduce the bad guy. Even though he's technically been introduced, we're going to reintroduce him. Um, and it's fucking weird. It begins by having him get killed by three spider ladies. And this is the, the half of the footage you get to see of them in their suits. Maybe even more than that. Uh, it's the, more than half. Yeah. <laughs> the snippets like you see in the trailer are all from this moment where... The three of them team up to throw him out of a window, and it's very funny because the shot As of him falling, falling it looks like something from Channel Awesome, where they lie on the floor, put their hands up toward the camera and go, no, and then they green screen the he background out. No, if he falls down. It looks so it awful. It looks so bad. Uh, which is interesting, too, because the implication in that flash forward is how we, I guess, we, a vision is how they refer to it. Um... That shouldn't have killed him, I don't think, because he falls from great heights several times in this movie, as well as gets hit by uh, yeah, I, very fast-moving like, cars. Mean, it's like equivalent to Spider-Man powers. You kick yeah. Spider-Man out of... I mean, we see it... I mean, obviously, not same continuity, but, like, 
how far did Peter fall in Spider-Man 2? And then he landed on that dumpster. And that was when he like, his powers was... were off, right? Yeah, that's yeah, right. It, it... And he survived. Can't even fall. John, like, John Wick has better back than this guy. <laughs> like, John got, I, I'm telling you, man, he's got, he's got squirrel powers. He can't die from falling. It's not possible. So... Well, is it more like uh, it, a squirrel's absolutely impervious to, uh, to falling? From like to death. As far as I know, a squirrel's terminal velocity is not enough force to kill them. I was wondering if they were small enough, because that's the way it works with like a lot of ins basically yeah. all insects, right? Yeah, like is an insect like, can't uh, generate enough force by falling to kill it because they're just too tiny. Yeah, I've seen squirrel. Okay. I've personally seen squir uh, seen squirrels fall from very great distances, hit the ground, instantly rocket right back to that tree and climb right back up. Yeah, look pretty at cool. Him go. I know squirrels are great. Squirrels are high tier. Um. So yeah, that's his. Uh, he's like, whoa, oh my god, I got killed by three spider ladies. Whoa, oof. and uh, oh, I guess I've skipped over the fact that he saw the lady in the fucking whatever the it was. Or yeah, yeah. Number house. He's yeah. a yeah. Then he, then that'll he... that'll be relevant in a moment. He's he's he met a lady and they they had the sex and then he had his vision and he's woken up like, oh, geez. That's the, that's to make sure you understand this, I, I need everyone to know how these events take place. Otherwise, good God, they might misunderstand. The Madam villain Webb. had sex outside of marriage. Yes, despicable. Anyway, yeah, he dies uh, in the vision. He's like real sad, and then she says, uh, "Bad dream." And he says, "Not a dream. I'm gonna be murdered one day." <laughs> yeah, he, says in, he says it in the weirdest, most bizarre, <laughs> most unhinged kind of way. Yeah. Possible, maybe, maybe the most weird way you could possibly say it. He say he starts talking about how it's like a curse, how he's been yeah. cursed with seeing his death over and over every night for years, um, which is probably pretty rough. But mm -hmm. he did kill that chick in the Amazon when she was researching researching spiders before she died. Yeah, uh, and then he killed her, and then he got cursed. And but they let him go, the spider people. So who knows. But it's really, it's a weird scene. It's so funny. All of his dialogue is really badly delivered, possibly ADR, written by, like, a brain-dead zombie. It doesn't it doesn't even reflect close to what I think their goals are when they say these lines. Because him saying, I'm going to be murdered one day, she says, wow, buzzkill. <laughs> that is like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what kind of either of you? Well, the last response would be, wow, you're an unhinged lunatic. Yeah. I mean, yeah, He's that's like, I'm out of here. Yeah, like, are you Tell okay? I would need a drink of water. Like, okay, I, I, <laughs> Have a sit like, down. Like, <laughs> that was no, if you no Fringy, Fringy. Trust if you leave immediately, they'll know that you're on to them. You have to play uh, along yeah, a little yeah, bit, yeah, so they don't yeah. think that. So they don't think that you're like you know. Well, mm. she kind of did that, and it didn't work out very well for her, did it? Like mm. because that was the the plan was that he was gonna like kill her all along though. So I don't think she really had. She didn't. You know, she she would have had to do way more than. Oh yeah. Acted differently. She never would have been able to escape with what we know, but it doesn't preclude her from acting human, I guess. <laughs> Somewhat human. <laughs> or anyone yeah, in this movie yet. from acting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so my favorite thing about oh god. Well, I was just gonna say because on on the note of the buzzkill thing, when he says the three faces they come to me like every night, same vision as uh, Rags mentioned, a curse. She says, "Will we all die someday?" Like what? Which is like, no. Were you not what? listening? Were you not listening? listening? We're not what all. Is this, what is this we Bethesda are not all dialogue? <laughs> what is going on here? It's Pay so attention funny. to what I'm saying. Engage like a human. Man, yeah. Like, true. Don't you think? That, <laughs> don't you think you'd act like? Don't you think you'd say something along the lines of like you have visions of your death as a dream, or you have recurring dreams, or like yeah, what do you would, think it means? It or... would reset the tone of the conversation. It's like, oh, you were like serious right now, or are you fucking around? Like you obviously yeah, had a dream. Guys, but... Yeah, if the guy's having like a really, if he wakes up in the middle of the night and he and he's like worried and everything and he's telling you this stuff it's almost like is this like a cry for help do you want me to listen like it's do you really want me to listen to this and help you out or it's just not no, none of us would do that N this isn't how a human being communicates with nope. another human being um yeah and then he says if you saw your murderers you'd try to stop them and then her response is okay Again, like, what's going on? Are these two people even in the same room? Uh, did anyone tell each other what was happening? I don't know. Is, is this a sex thing and this was yeah. arranged? Yeah. At, 
at that point, though, like the way she delivers it is if there would have been her trying to like help him up to that point and he just wouldn't accept the help, like her being like, uh, okay, would have kind of worked. But the way she did, like, it, she hasn't, nothing that she said led up to that point. No, it, it's, it, it comes out of nowhere. Well, and, and it all, every single fucking back and forth comes out of nowhere because then he says, you've no idea the torment of dying over and over again. I'm not going to sit back and let it happen. I will find them and kill them first. I feel like what this, the hell? You're like tapping him on the shoulder and you're like, okay, calm down. Calm down. Well, and then you remember... It's just a dream. Uh, to jump ahead a little bit, because we've already mentioned it in relation to this dialogue, um, he needs information from her. He knows that she has information he needs. Why is he telling her all of this bullshit? Yeah, it's really pointless. It essentially, all... If anything, the only thing I could come up with is that he's trying to lull her into a false sense of security, but I, it doesn't make this sense. This is how you lull people into a false sense of <laughs> yeah, security. This is, yes. how, this is how you do it, yeah. Well, what's funny, of course, is that he's going to be torturing her for information soon. So this is all just a waste of time. And the context well, isn't going to help you because he wants secret information. Well, well what it's, he it's does... It's, that's what it's for. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. The reason is that this is for us. He's yeah. practically looking into the camera as he's saying all of these things. They really um, want to... They do his motivation, like, four times in this movie. They really want to make sure you understand. It's so funny when, like, it's barely a motivation. He no. wants power and you don't want to die. Like, mm -hmm. that's the most basic kind of villain motivation that you could possibly Yeah, like, I relate with. to that, because I don't I want to die. To you, that, know? you know? Yeah. Like, but wanting, die, like, but... power at the expense of, like, everything. I was like, I, exactly. I don't know. I don't know about that one. Like, you had me in the first half. Well, part but, of it uh... is that we don't... I guess, spoiler, we don't really learn anything about the nature of his life at all. Nope. Like, the life that he's constructed. His life is extravagant years. and rich and wealthy it's and privileged. And rich, but we don't know why. I guess, like, he started a really successful business. Maybe, he's, maybe, <laughs> maybe. he made, like, a dot-com uh, company and then sold it at the height of the dot-com bubble. And that was just... I was really, by. like... With his I, premonition I, powers, yeah, that's right. I, he that was the thing. Yeah, is they could, there was two, two routes they could have went. Either he was using his premonition powers to, like play the stock market or something i mean he is in new york he doesn't or, have premonition powers though it doesn't seem like yeah he no has well that was, just, uh, that was just a fun joke uh, he doesn't actually have the premonition vision. powers he yeah. has well, the vision what, but I mean, that's it i think yeah yeah well then the other the other route they could have went is that he was using the spider to actually like cure diseases or like like some sort of medical company and they didn't go with that either no well he does yeah i don't know anything about him if they had done that because then it starts to get like oh so he selfishly used it for himself but then he also decided yeah i'm gonna actually use it to create a company but then it's like was he he did something that was, you know, in terms of using it medically, it's like, oh, well, that's good. But how he got it was bad and his motivations were bad. And then there's well, like an angle you can explore. And imagine he wasn't even uh, motivated by, I must save myself just in general. But instead he said, I got to save myself so that I could save others. Like, mm. that would if make you, him a bit more interesting, wouldn't it? But the problem is that they didn't want to make him interesting. They wanted him to just be a cartoon bad guy because that's easier. Also, hi, Lauren. Oh, hello. Welcome my back. Came... Yeah, my internet came back like a couple minutes ago. <laughs> we are uh, hey. really early anyway in the film, as you should probably a quarter be of the way to the film. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, you haven't missed much, except lots of exposition. So. Um, oh my god. Just the most important yeah. stuff. I need. I need Whoa. to show you this. This was is it, incredible. Was I was. I was, well, uh, yes, but not intentionally. So I, I went looking for Ezekiel Sims. Who is this man? Why does he have all this money? I just was looking for anything that I might have missed. And I went to the Sony Spider Man Universe.fandom.com uh, wiki, right? And this is all it has for his biography. Okay. Um, be here. Nice. I've, I've never seen this before. <laughs> Biography, early childhood, well, early life, sorry, childhood. No one helped me when my family was starving. My room wasn't, my room wasn't as clear as yours. It's my <laughs> path, I think he says. We didn't have the same options. <laughs> my room wasn't as clear as yours. I, I, I like the implication that it's like, oh, yes, you had a clean floor. I had, to, I had a dirty I room. Had a, <laughs> okay. I had no drawers or anything. <laughs> Well, this is what Jordan Peterson talks about. If you don't have a clean room, it's, it's not a clean life, and that's what's happened to him. Uh, to, she started uh, out with a yeah. clean bedroom. He didn't. 
and so he had to work harder. So to be added, uh, I guess more stuff on him. Uh, investigating spiders. He was in the Amazon with my mom when she was researching spiders right before she died. This is in his bio. <laughs> <laughs> this is a meme. It's oh, 1973 just... during a research trip involving the investigation of spiders. Ezekiel Sims gave protection to Constance Webb in the Amazon rainforest in Peru. Constance died whilst on this research trip. True. She did the last die, one is the somehow. best one. <laughs> so this section, we're because obviously we've gone through two significant sections of the biography. Now we're on to the third, chasing the spider girls, and the subsection having nightmares, described as quote every night the same vision. That's a quote from Ezekiel. Link to Sims. the vision. <laughs> they actually link to the vision. They don't even tell you what the vision is. They have all this room on the side. They could easily say the same vision, and then it could just in like parentheses next to it of his death at the hands or something. This is so like, bad. <laughs> I know, sorry, I, I think I'm still stuck on the idea that if you made a, a a film where Jordan Peterson was like a superhero, that the villain would just be a guy who runs into his bedroom and just messes it up while he's standing there. <laughs> Stop it! As he Stop just grabs that. like stone However, and empties him on the floor. No. Since Stop we it. are, uh, since we're here on the wiki, I, uh, this is also something that I thought was very funny that I think that you should read. Specifically the highlight bit? Yeah. Alrighty. This is his abilities. In the abilities section, we have expert marksmanship. Ezekiel was a proficient marksman. Whilst in Peru with Constance Webb, Ezekiel was able to fatally kill two members oh, of the expedition in quick succession. Despite his proficiency, he accidentally... Deadly shot and killed <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like it's like you were able to kill two people point blank with a handgun. <laughs> you are an expert marksman. Well, <laughs> except, except the time when you else. shot the pregnant I mean, lady. He did, he did know. He was he was aware that the closer he gets, the easier the shot becomes. That mm, would be expertise. Right wise, there. A wise uh, man. That's right. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> What a great oh, wiki. I'm, this oh, is pretty I'm funny. Glad. Look at that one. Ezekiel uses his powers to gain wealth and influence. Where was that in the film? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Who, who wrote the up. fucking thing? Because <laughs> was it someone who saw wait, an earlier wait, cut? Wait, 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 wait. Wait. This, the next line's the good one, though. Affording him access to information about facial recognition softwares by the NSA, which he... They don't explain that. He just steals the fucking information from her. They don't Wait, explain like that. So the he bio, steals a password. the bio is arguing that he did use his like spider flame powers to discover the information he needed to do the things he does. Even though this is like the wiki. Somebody who just they just casually lying. likes the movie could just <laughs> yeah, fill just this out. out. The yeah, this is all the just movie. that's the thing that that I thought was funny. And w if someone was to go into this and and just randomly type the words like pee pee poo poo at the bottom of the wiki, <laughs> you could just do that and it would probably be there for years because no one gives a shit. No one, no one cares. So I I'd like to so since I just mentioned it, so he they, and and we hit on it the the fact that so he's about to kill this woman. Just to circle back to the movie real quick, like she's an NSA agent. Who just happens to carry all of her top secret information on top uh, with her? Oh, yeah, all she time. took it to the opera. Yes, oh, that's you? where when you go to the um, when I go to the opera, I always carry my like Sorry. super top secret credential. Yeah, I make card. sure I make sure that I have every piece of identification. Yeah, and then I leave it on the point. nightstand uh, next to me yeah. after I fuck the guy who met me there at the opera. I leave it right there on the nightstand out in the open. Yeah. Someone in chat made a uh, good observation. He was able to fatally kill. <laughs> well, you know, when we're talking about someone like Emperor Palpatine, you can kill him, but not fatally. That, that's true. That is somehow true. the researchers have returned. Yes. So, uh, well, what's funny is this conversation is not over. It keeps being ridiculous because after he says he intends to kill them, her response is, "Do you know who's gonna do it?" In reference to like who's killing him in these visions. And again, it's just like, that's that's what you've got to say right now? That's what you like would this. ask, rather than a guy who's just walking yeah. up from a dream saying, these people are killing me, I'm gonna find them and kill them myself. This <laughs> is, see, like, oh, interesting, do go on. Do you know where to find them? 
No, this is the this was unironically what I would probably do if there was like a crazy person next oh, to me. Yeah. You just sort of like you go along with it because you don't want to like antagonize him. You you just act as you're going along with you like, oh okay, all right. As you slowly look around the room yeah, for your you know, exit. I don't think it, it's, it's not played that way. It's played. Yeah, it's yeah. You're right. You're right. Asking these questions. It's, it's not yet bizarre. that he suspects that he's an evil man. But soon. It's um I would also go as far as saying like it would have been a much better scene had that been what she was doing. She slowly starts mm -hmm. preparing her stuff, maybe gets out of bed, just like, yeah, that's so wow, I can't believe <laughs> that's happening, man. That's so crazy. Yeah, uh, you know, and and then he slowly realizes or something because he's actually crazily unhinged, but you know, no, that's not the scene. She seems to be interested. And in fact, to that, he says Always those three faces. Can you imagine how frustrating it is to only identify people from a vision? But as the years pass, there have been technological advancements to finding people if you know their faces. <laughs> like, this is dialogue. He then says, the kind of tech the NSA have been pursuing. It looks at her and she's like, oh, and it's like, what the fuck? Uh -oh. <laughs> What's going on? on? Like, Did you plan to wake us up in the middle of the night to tell me this sp this spooky plan? I Is guess it, so. He was hoping he was counting on being woken up by the vision they, of the when, night. When they wrote that, night. they felt like that was natural. Like he's complaining about yeah. it, and his problem right now is being able to find them. How can you find them? Facial recognition software. The NSA have it, and that's why he's got her. Wow. Oh wow. That is that is good. And it's just like, wow, no. that's quite like, a reveal. Oh, See, it was part of his plan all along. How clever is he? How clever are us this writers? Whole time, this whole time she's thinking, oh, thank God he didn't talk about this while we were fucking last night. It's, uh, it's non-stop, because he grabs her to do what we understand by the end of the movie is he can poison people when he touches them um, at will. She sees him grab her, right? Sees some weird shit happening with her arm, and she says, what are you doing? How are you poisoning me? Just like, <laughs> <laughs> wow, you caught on real quick with what was happening there, I guess. Um, yeah, that he, you know, he wants the password, and she just, she can't tell him. She, you know, it's the, that would be the worst thing ever. And then he says, I'll stop the poison if you do. And I just, these are always to opportunities you would think. to characterize people in interesting ways. And, you know, if, if, if you're smart, even remotely smart as an agent, you probably know that a person who's threatening to kill you for information will probably kill you if you give them the information. Mm hmm That's the only thing that you... What is he gonna do? Let you go, and then go to work, and let him know that that happened? Yeah, well, on, it doesn't matter if, it doesn't matter if she's dead that. and or missing. Her credentials can still be used for... That's right, the even for the rest she of the doesn't movie, so. work, yeah, and just disappears mm -hmm. from the face of the earth. Well, and so yeah, that threat of, I'll, I'll undo the poison if you tell me, she just gives her passcode immediately. Doesn't even lie. Yeah, and then, he, and then, and then, of course, he kills her. And yes, it's not a lie. What if she? What if she decided, "Fuck it, I'll just lie," and then he killed her? And it's like, oh shit, I, I can't log in. What if he just forgot the numbers? You know, <laughs> he must have good memory because they always do I don't that. Know, movies. Is... Out to you, I would, I would just be like, wait, 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 hold on, let me write this down. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But one also... wrong, one wrong number, and it would have fucked the whole movie. Exactly. Um, I, while she was giving him the password, I was like, oh shit, he's gonna memorize, can I memorize this too, just to see? And I couldn't. So I was like, oh, yeah, well. you better write this down. <laughs> I, I also, I'd better be able to verify it. If you're a person who has to do that kind of stuff a lot, you would be able to, but if you're, if part, like, like when I used to work in the production industry, everything has, you know, like numbers attached to everything. So I'd always just remember it'd be like, you know, 948-46283. And it would just be like, someone would say that to me like that. And I'd be like, Okay, and I would walk over and I'd be able to do it like an hour later. Uh, but if you're not, if it's not something you do with regularity, you're gonna forget that immediately. Uh, when she dies, by the way, because obviously uh, he says to her, "Believe me, it's a good thing you had no idea today was the day that you were going to die." That's probably the best he line says in the whole movie. To the corpse. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? No, the best line in the movie is, "Wait, did you say web?" Oh, when we, they, yeah. we, I was about to say line best movie. movie. We've got so many lines. We're not even close to the torrent of lines. I'd be curious if anyone has a uh, number one after we go through it. Like, make sure everyone gets all of them. But that one, I just, I was just so struck by what does he mean? Like, because he knows how he's gonna die and he's been tormented by that. But at the same time, yeah. that gives you a chance to prevent it. 
You think she would have, like, been sad to know that this is where she would die, as opposed to being able to stop it and then not die? And who you... You saying it just for you? She's... She's dead. She's dead. <laughs> so fucking weird. Oh, it's just like Indigo said, uh, Indigo chat said, Madam Web 2, the World Wide Web. <laughs> I wouldn't put it out of the realm of possibility, okay? But Dakota Johnson That's won't good. be That's good, I like it. that. That's good. You gotta the get world. these well, skills. They get could, the skills going. They could always just... They could just jump into like to be the older Madam Web if they really wanted to. Just find an older actress. There you go. Taken care of. Oh, oh yeah, they can recast her. This uh, won't be too tough. I'm sure there's gonna be no so many cares. actresses no who are interested cares. in this role. Hundred uh, percent. You know Madam the Web three, the dark web, the Websters versus uh, Venom. You know we can do that. <laughs> it's gonna be super interesting. So uh, she goes just to find Websters. <clears throat> nice. She goes to a party. And uh, they throw her a Pepsi, because Pepsi shows up a lot in this film. But that, that, that that's there's, because there's... it's a delicious beverage everyone loves, Mahler. That's true. The I will not that's reveal not the I, best I, I instance of Pepsi's arrival in this film. All right, and everyone else <laughs> work to avoid saying it until we get to close to the end. All right, but no, I, I will say by the way, do not like Pepsi. Don't like I. I don't like there's... Pepsi. I don't like it. I, I, I actually have. I Pepsi. have not consumed. I have not consumed a Pepsi product in, uh, let's see, tw since 2015. So I just don't don't like it. I think it's way too sweet. Don't like the taste. I'm more of a Coke guy myself. Prefer Bepis. Bepis is good. Bepis is good stuff. Or or uh, or or, oh, what's the one from Daisy? Pipsy, something like that. Yeah, mm. that stuff's good. What, what's weird about this product placement is that she takes so long to to open up the fucking can. Like she like deliberately looks at stares at the can, like make sure the <laughs> make sure the logo is still the logo in the face, shot. Yeah, yeah. She's looking at it like a retard. Like hey, what a can. Well, and <laughs> it's so forced keep... because uh, yeah. Why did they hand her a Pepsi? It's like well, they can't hand her a beer. Why can't you have me a beer? Because it's oh. protocol. You don't drink beer after dying. And then she the line she has to respond to that is. <laughs> Is that protocol? That's boring. They could have, and they they could have easily said, "Well, technically, you're still on uh, on call because they all are." In a <clears> minute, <throat> you're about to find that out. So they could have easily not even done the whole dying part. They could have just been like, "Oh, well, we're still we're still working technically." I just don't, I don't even. It, it's 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 a lot. Like it's a little thing just to get Pepsi in there because they do it a couple times. It's just like that's uh, you work just, just a little harder. Work just a little harder. Oh, there's a special guest in this scene that I don't I don't know if you've spotted him, Mauler. Resident Evil Three Man and Two Man. Yeah, Resident Evil Two Man. Yeah, he's the in film. Three as well. He dies in that one, sadly. Oh yeah, oh, you're right. Right. That's, right. Uh, yeah, you're right. That's him. Yeah, I mean, I, fuck Resident Evil Three. Not only did they kill him off, yeah, but we didn't like him into like a stupid. All my homies uh, hate Resident Evil Three. Resident Evil Two was uh, much better. I it hate was much better. all of the Resident Evil movies. Wow. Fuck you. <laughs> well, which I, one that's is my favorite video game. What? Six was the fucking hilarious one. Like and that's the uh, final. That's my all time. That's my all time game series. And I, the way that they they did them dirty, I just could. To this day, I can't stand it. I don't even compare them to the games. <laughs> no. They're so bizarrely different. I don't even see like the the crossover between the two. They're oh just, no, there's it, none. To me, it there's seems like it's it's its own thing entirely. But yeah. Yeah, and to answer the chat, yes, Mike Epps plays a character for approximately forty five seconds. <laughs> he does great. He's really good. Really, money no, well they, spent well, on that. Well, well, dirty again in this movie, they do him dirty again. Mm -hmm. Oh right, they, they kill. Do. Him. We'll get there. We'll <laughs> get there. No, no, even before that, because in this party, and it fucking <clears throat> irritates me because they don't have to do this, but they do. Anyone who has ever grilled burgers on a grill knows that you never like press and squeeze yeah. them with your spatula. You never ever do that. Yeah, I don't know push, why you pushes would. The, pushes all the fat you're, and juice out. They even well, yeah, say that. You're not, you're not, but they have him like doing that. And there's a big flare up on the grill because like men sucking are incompetent or whatever. And she's like, what are you doing? You're, you're squeezing all the flavor out of the burgers and everything. Now, like, why? Why? Like a man can't even grill right in this fucking world anymore. <laughs> You, I love I love how you're making all these comments like the women are competent or something. Like, what are you doing? No, but it's like what the film wants me to think. They're all yeah, like, super no, retarded in this film. Gonna, like, you're not gonna tell like this is some big like it's thing. a conspiracy. Okay, but like I guess black men do know how to grill though. Well, well, like, rags. They know how to grill. Like, this, is, this is racism. 
This is racism. racism. This is right. no self-respecting black man would ever squeeze the juices out of his grilled burger. Well, to be fair, the dialogue, she says the burgers are ruined about him, and then the grill is passed over to Ben, and she says, oh, now they're really ruined. So, still Some more respect given up. to the black man, okay? Some people are bringing up Smash Burgers in the chat, and uh, the thing about Smash Burgers is that they're usually made from looser, like, like looser ground beef, and they pack them with... Uh, like eggs and stuff, so that's why you can get away with smashing it. Ha! You bet you didn't expect. Oh. That. I'm sorry. I'm just thinking about Homer spraying <laughs> all of the uh the oil on the on the, uh, on the barbecue, and then getting a second a second yeah. bottle of spraying even more, and then just lighting it. And it's a tiny little flame. Yeah. And now I'm thinking about Lisa bringing out what was the gazpacho or whatever. Like there's enough gazpacho for everyone. It's served <laughs> ice cold. Ice cold soup. Uh, and then yeah. what, what was the other thing Body said? Go back to Russia. <laughs> 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 Yeah, because Pacho is uh, yeah, served cold. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and then the pig getting pushed down the hill and then shooting off into a. Uh... Oh no! It got shot out of the uh, the dam, right? Springfield Dam, and then shoot into the air. And then you had that really good, really, really good joke of, you know, Smithers. I think I'll donate all my money to the orphanage when pigs fly. <laughs> <laughs> and then the pig. Will you be Why, donating that awesome money now, sir? No, I still prefer no, not. No, I still think not. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Oh, such a good joke. And now back. Homer was chasing it down. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, it's a little it's just, it's still dirty. Good. It's still it's good. good. It's just a little Someone slimy. needs to make it's that meme, good. but with the MCU at each instance. Yeah. Like... <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to have still good. Be, it's like, still good. Each, each instance is a movie. So, yeah. like Ant Man, like, I don't know, Doctor Strange, then Ant Man, and then the Marvels is just flying off into space. It's God. I know. It's Kevin <laughs> Feige with a little frown. <laughs> Anyway, we get an incredible scene to help us understand an, an additional character. Oh, this, oh, so, uh, Mary Parker is is hanging out mm -hmm. in uh, in this baby shower, and so you have her say hi, and then Cassie says hi. I'm Cassie Webb. Thanks for having me. <laughs> and then she I says, "You're I'm Ben's partner. I'm his sister-in-law, Mary." And then she says, "Ben is so <laughs> excited about being an uncle." Like, yep. <laughs> and then she says, I don't know what we would do without him, especially with Richard being away. Where is he this time? It's, it's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> what? These are no, script really good. These are the really script good. notes. This is not dialogue. This is script <gasps> notes. It's like, these are the things we need to get the audience to understand. You gotta find a way to make them sound normal while saying these things that give it away. Well, also letting them know exactly who they are and <clears throat> teasing, oh, look, Peter Parker, Spider-Man, you know him, right? Yeah, he's, that's he's all this is for. Web thing, character. The only thing missing from this scene was them having a line like, oh, well, since he's going to be an, an uncle, maybe you should just all call him Uncle Ben from now on. Yeah, just get, <laughs> get ahead of it. We get, we get, get a line in that vein yeah. at certain points. Some of it's just so bad. But yeah, the equivalent of this would be like if you did... Young Avengers, like not Young Avengers as Young Avengers as you know. I mean, like a a thing of Avengers as teenagers or whatever, and it's like the fifties, and they're all in a diner, and then they you just go around the room, and each one of them is just like, "Hi, I'm Steve Rogers. Hello, I am Tony Stark." You're like, "No, oh. <laughs> you're not going to try and characterize them in any way that would help us understand this stuff. You're just doing it so that we understand the dynamic and how this fits in with what you do know, which is Spider Man." Or Spider-Man getting uh, sapped all over the place for this. Yes, um, Richard is away, doing his usual away things that are probably in Madam Web 2. We'll find out that he died, when, and, and, then, and then Mary dies. And then Uncle Ben will have to take little Peter and tell him about responsibility. Boom. It's gonna be great. Dude, they've set it all up now, and I think that Spider-Man does yeah, benefit from this. Yeah, this is setting up the Madam Web verse. Her web uh, binds them all, or something. Anyway, <laughs> the name of the kid has not been decided yet. They're saving it for the games. It's like, what? What games? And to be fair, I've not been to baby showers, really. I'm not a f as familiar with the, the antics they get I've up to. I've never been to one. Yeah. But apparently yeah, there they, is... They, they're, they're usually, there usually is, like, games like this, but they're always, like... It depends on who they are. But Ugh, they, women. Mr. Expert yeah. over here. Mr. Expert. <laughs> so, Sorry. the game is... Look at me, I've been to so many baby showers. I'm so popular. 
You have to write something on a piece of paper about your mother, and then the person the baby shower is about has to guess whose mother it's written about. Like, like he the reads the factoid. The baby shower is about <laughs> fucking whatever the mother. No, it's for, <laughs> to no be. I mean you're right. It's just it's... <laughs> so she pulls it it's up, like, and it's it's like saying the first name, the birthday party's about, <laughs> the birthday boy. It's like I don't know. The uh, there's an empty one, and she's like, "Oh, who wrote this?" And then good old Cassie, Madam Webb, she's like, "That's me, I wrote that." And some other ladies like, "Oh, you must have one fond memory of your mother." And then she says, "Well, my mother died in childbirth. wasn't that bad, but obviously it was bad. She died, <laughs> but I grew up totally healthy. Death in childbirth birth is really rare." Uh, she chose to be in the Amazon she's when. As looking at yes. Mary, by the way, she's so, directing this at the pregnant woman. Well, everyone's just awkwardly looking at her, and she keeps talking. And she says she chose to be in the Amazon when she was close to giving birth, away from medical facilities. So it, it just it comes off as like when you you're trying to correct a problem, and you just keep making it worse. That's exactly yeah. what it comes off as. It comes across as just like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Why haven't insane. you planned for this? Why haven't you planned an answer? You know that your mom died in Correct. childbirth and you're at a baby well, shower. Why haven't you prepped an answer to be like, no, well, I, remember they, they I, get time. Never met, I never met my mother. Um, Here, you know, here's, I, here's an even easier one. Don't put a blank piece of paper into the, the hat <laughs> or whatever they're picking out. That would have been easier. Well, so you here's the thing. If you just put a write, blank my one in, died in childbirth, lol, and you, if you put a blank one in, people are going to ask, there. and what are you going to say when they ask? And apparently her prepared answer was, she died in childbirth, it ain't so bad. Well, I guess it is because she died. But I grew up healthy, because she realized, like, oh yeah, I probably should clarify. It's okay even sometimes if you die in childbirth, that your child will make it, because she's talking to a soon-to-be mother. You're just like, what the fuck is all of this? What? How does your brain <laughs> work? Like, you know, <laughs> From a writing perspective, you can think of an opportunity. What if she lied? What if she just made something up because she didn't want to? Which is like, something her yeah. character would do. That would tell us. Yeah, that would tell us something about how would she deal with this circumstance? Would she lie? Mm -hmm. Would she bend the truth? Would yeah, she and just, then of course, I guess she's just Chad later, guessing like, it like, if, uh, in front of everyone. Like, I don't know if uh, well, the, Mary or whatever looked to Ben later and was like, "Oh yeah, she said that." It was interesting meeting her, and then he's like, "What do you?" She, her mom died like when she was born. That was a lie. Yeah, if she had said, you know, I love how my mom was always there for me, no matter what, and then she finds out she never met her mom, she died in childbirth. Like, you, you mm -hmm. get the direct yeah. implication. But what Rags just said, like, Chad, yes, it is. Like, I almost wish that were the case. Instead, she makes everyone know that, and then Chad's yes is it. Like, you know, he's like, hey, everyone, this is the case for me, and they're all like, oh, wow, that's something to bring up at a baby shower. And then she's like, yeah, but well, it's she fine. she might say... Yeah, she would say something like, my mother died in childbirth, and it made me realize how, you know, important it is to have a mother, so you're, you know, it's gonna be so, you're so, I guess, lucky or privileged to, you know, live in a place where people just don't die in childbirth, and your, your kid's gonna have a mom to be there for him, and you should be really happy about that, because it's something that not everyone has, and it's something they, you should cherish. They could have also went the route of, like, if she was gonna lie and make it up anyway, like, that that's the reason she got into into being an EMT, to, to stop these kind of things from happening, you know, because... Like, yeah, to, could do that, yeah, that's something that we route, have to learn how to she, do in East she could have yeah. She could have said something along the lines of, you know, my, like, if we're gonna go with the lie route again, you know, my, my mother was a very driven person and always was, was always looking, always wanted to find what she was looking for. It could have been something vague like that. It doesn't, or just I was in the foster care system, I, I never met my mom, I yeah. never knew her, so I, I have yeah. no idea, no, no clue. It's my mother's a mystery, so but, but instead, you know, just, just throw a blind piece of paper and have to make shit up as you go along. No, my mom died, lol. <laughs> this is where it is. it's such a bizarre fucking scene, and then they just start guessing what Peter Parker's name is going to be. And they're all guessing wrong, and then she says, his name is... And then a balloon pops. And <laughs> and then we don't find out. And again, it's just like, what are we... What, what's, what are we doing? I don't even know what, what they're doing. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. Like, why even... I don't get it. I don't understand why they want to be like, haha, it's a I mystery. Been, you already I would have preferred if if you if they like showed her saying it, like lipping like the lips moving and the pop just went over it so you couldn't I hear her. I would have preferred they just did nothing with it. I don't even know why like they have this element of the story, because it's not relevant. Well it's so let's pretend in the alternate universe that she finally reveals Peter Parker and everyone goes, Oh, that's a great name, what's strong. I would still be like, This is so fucking weird, dude. Like that we're treating this like, like why are they showing us? this like because we know peter parker we know spider-man but it's even weirder 
because of the fact that they don't say it. They make bait of yeah, saying there's... it, but don't say it. There's a part of me that was thinking, oh god, is Cassie gonna say Peter? Mm. I thought she might say that, actually. Because I was but... like, oh wow, she might actually say it. She, she says like, Spider-Man, way... and everyone's like, why'd you say that? And she's like, I don't know. <laughs> and she thinks, like, a new web verse, like, wow, why did I say that? Damn. The human um, spider. That's a terrible also, name. <laughs> since it's a uh, thing about, wouldn't it be interesting if they used um, her awkward, weird answer? If her, if she, instead of using a favorite memory, she told everyone what she had gathered from her mother based off of all the things her mother had done and the things she wrote down, what she thought, like what her impression of what her mother was. Because this film has a massive. Uh, like there's a huge gap in terms of what we're supposed to believe she thinks her mother, you know, what she thinks of her mother and why. So this film desperately needs to put in some information connecting what Cassie thinks of her mom and why she's actually upset at her mom. I think this is the result of possibly not being allowed to say it, but desperately trying to let people know this is this is with the stuff you like. You like Peter Parker and Spider-Man, and he is in this, okay? Sort of. <laughs> I mean, the fact that they even tease their own content, as in the superhero Spider-Women, we don't even get that in this. They only tease it, as admitted by the fucking director herself. It's like, damn. What's, what's, what What do you think his name's gonna be? I don't know, Miles? Oh! Some... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyway, they they, they took turns, right? And so when the balloon pops, it resets. She's having one of her web moments, which only happen later on in times of like great suffering, right? Or trauma or someone dying. They, this is like one of the only times that it happens with something mundane, which is very convenient for her. Because... I thought it would be like loud noises or, you know, you're trying to piece together as these things happen. What's the connecting thing? What What's the repetitive element? What's the consistency for when these powers activate? Probably shouldn't think like that with this movie. Yeah, well, <laughs> this sure serves me right. But again with the weird lines, right? So if you're in a room, someone says, hey, what do you, uh, what do you think the name of blah, blah, blah is? And you give an answer, and maybe they laugh, say, I don't know. And then a balloon pops, and then I say the exact same thing. I feel like there's a lot of lines you can come out with. She comes out with, wait, we just did this. Which I find to be such an odd line that only works if you know the movie, like the scenario has happened, that most human beings would go, oh, you didn't like hear what I said? Or didn't I, I thought I said the blah, 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 and you say the same answer. Not, we all just, we just did this. Yeah. You're all or, playing or a joke even then, on if me, they basically. wanted to pull more attention to it, they might even just say, man, that's so funny. I... I, like this is hyper deja vu. I'm just, I'm caught, like I could swear to God. You With know, like, the way into kind of like a fun observation rather than yeah, because like, I could that comes across it. as it comes across as decently like normalish. Where if someone has one of those things and they're like, guys, I just sorry, but I just got one of those crazy deja vu feelings here just a exactly. moment ago. Sorry if I was well, distracted. But even uh, there be something someone says. The thing about it is, was the like it it wasn't enough information, I don't think, to even think that you're reliving a moment you just relived, as opposed to the more reasonable way, which happens on EFAB fucking all the time, as well as online conversations, when someone says, like, oh, what's everyone's favorite color? And maybe three people answer at the same time, and another person answers, and then you didn't hear it all one of them, then you go, what was your favorite? And they go, I said, I said it, didn't I? Like, okay, yeah, uh, well, it's this. Like, hearing it me happens. question it, it yeah, that's distracted. what I mean, like, why would you go Space immediately out, to, you know? wait a minute, this has all happened before, it's like, well, you just assumed that she didn't hear you, right, or the something was Isn't misunderstood. Yeah, but you just spaced out for a moment, you got distracted, you were thinking of something else, you, I mean, we already know that you'd rather not be here at this party, yeah. you don't give a but shit, you know. Well, and I think it would be better, YouTube too, because we can right. tell that it was a repeat, but that she's living it, and she hasn't quite picked that up yet, because she's not paying attention to all of the details, and instead just goes, oh, you must have misheard me, huh, okay. As a setup to build it up. This is only the uh, second instance, right, of uh, of of this happening. Or yeah, we had the... the um the check after she drowned. Yeah, and I think that is it. Yeah, yeah, because we're not up to. Yeah, that's right. I, so she really has no reason. I, I like. Yeah. I, I I find it funny because in their minds they're probably like, ah, see, we're building it up. She's noticing now. Yeah, I don't think. We're yeah, well, uh, there. <laughs> we just did this. The web is forming. The madam is able to make use of it soon enough. 
Web. And the web connects them all. Yes. <laughs> Madam Web in theaters February 14th. <laughs> anyway. Um, so we have uh, a suddenly an accident is she's being made aware of and everyone's getting called in. There's a big old, uh, there's, it's like a warehouse filled with explosives, quote unquote. And there are people who need to be getting gotten out of there and got to prevent certain things from happening. This this warehouse will be happen. relevant late. Well, so it's de they're described in the film as explosives. Um, we clearly see their fireworks at certain points, but yeah, they're I we'll get into we'll get into the mechanics. Yeah, of but let's be honest, here. nobody describes them. There's a reason we don't call fireworks explosives because fireworks is much more specific, and everyone understands what fireworks are. Yeah. To call them explosives we would is just very call strange. Them fireworks. Yeah. We just call them fireworks. Hmm. They, we have a word for them. We do. And everyone uses it, but okay. Uh, just like, because we were um, we were talking about the baby shower and yeah. babies, I guess, sort of by proxy. Um, I, I saw this meme. And it was funny. And I just want to share it with you guys. So I just, I just thought it'd be a little reprieve from the movie. <laughs> that is kind of funny. I, think, I, think I like that it's cut off someone. a bit as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's little touches. Uh, <sighs> all right, we can go. We can go back to the movie now. I so yeah, the I thought it was funny. the horrors are happening, and you got to got to get in there and save people and stuff. And she has a a flash of blood all over her hands and a big wound on a person when the person she's currently working on doesn't have that wound. It's like, wait, what's going on? She's doing uh, CPR compressions again on on a person. They keep showing us that a lot of that happens, and it's just uh, you know, there's no reason why it can't. I'm just saying, maybe they're uh, they're just letting us know they're setting it up, and uh, it's a good job that they're doing that. It's gonna, it's gonna make a lot of sense later. And so she's yeah. um, she's seen some stuff, and she gets a vibe that um, uh, what was the what was the actor's name? You guys said you knew it, right? Mike Epps. Mike Epps is gonna be heading uh, somewhere in in the ambulance, and she's like, you know what? Let me drive. And then he says, you've had a bad experience. Don't let that mess with your head. Which is just like, okay. And she's, she's like, okay, yeah, I guess you can drive. She doesn't get in or anything. She's just, her sense is that he should not drive away. I was like, hmm. But then the camera stays on her as he's driving away and curves around. And we see that he gets, uh, he gets in a T-bone crash. A big old truck slams into him. Very tragic. Tragic music plays, and uh, he's taken out of the ambulance, and uh, she works on him, but ultimately it's just too late, and he dies. Having a moment here. Uh. <laughs> yeah, she, uh, yeah, it's, it's, real, did it's anybody, real dramatic and sad. Did anybody else besides me notice that the truck was driving to basically there's, off the... I don't even know where to begin. There's, there's so many lot, elements to there's this. There's a lot okay? that's wrong with uh, this. The way the if anyone was to check this, there's no reason that he wouldn't have checked himself to the left. He would have seen it coming a mile off. He would, may have been able to brake before mm -hmm. even getting there easily. Same goes for the truck that hit him. And then mm -hmm. where were both of them going? He seems to be heading yeah. to the edge and the other truck seems to be heading to the edge. Neither of them are like yeah, they're... going anywhere. <laughs> They they was they and they, they even zoom out and you see that it's basically the edge of a pier that they're on. It's like, yeah, and then they the, didn't have to add that. The actual hit is pretty chill. As movie car crashes go, uh, his windscreen isn't even cracked. It's the door on the left side has taken damage, and when he's brought out, there's no visible anything on him except a load of red in his chest. You're like, how did that happen? <laughs> Now, I've seen Echo, so I know that random pieces of glass will appear and shard right into you randomly in a car crash. Like the, the, the most deadly material in the universe. They can true. just chop limbs off suddenly, even when they don't have an origin point. So, yes, he, he got killed by something. And they you can tell the way they shoot it, they avoid letting you know how. They don't want you to know how. Because I don't think there was a reasonable way he would have died there. If you see the accident... The person in the truck will probably be okay. They'll be shocked and maybe concussed, but that's about it. So, he's dead now. And um, it's just funny that we've had that and Echo so close together with these tragic car accidents that don't look like they would actually do that much compared to what, you know, what they show us versus what actually happens. 
Um, and you know, that's, that's something she saw. She's got the balloon popping and the blood on her hands and the person who's injured. She's seeing the future. The web is, is telling her things, useless things right now, but she's developing the power, okay? So that's, that's she's learning. Um, that's sad though, you know? I think it's I think it's back to villain now. We got to, we got to get some more villain information because we've been lacking him for a while. We got to build up both of them. The villain man, back in his apartment, says, "Was it worth the trouble?" And uh, what what has happened here is that with using the account of the NSA agent that he has now killed, they have access to NSA technology. Before I go any further than that, does that sound reasonable? Like, that no, they I... have her account and password, and so now they can use any of the NSA's tech at their will. Yeah, no, no they'd be monitoring that. Yeah, no way. <laughs> immediately <laughs> just, be shut down. It's just no fucking no. way. There's so much that's wrong with it. It's just like, oh, logged in from an entirely different location, presumably. Also, she didn't show up to work today, and nobody can get in contact with her. Like, it's just... it's, it's <laughs> Where'd she go? <laughs> And I think someone might be like, well, I mean, she's only been missing for like half a day. It's like this goes on for more than a week. Yeah. So. And nothing nothing ever happened. So, nope. No. So, with that and out also, of the way. And also, I guess they just <laughs> have access to... Because it's basically... It's like Brother Eye. It's like the... It's like um at the end of um The Dark Knight. It's like this crazy, like, setup. It might even be better than that. Because uh, the, mm. the... Even the way this is described, right? She says the... um. The scale of the NSA's surveillance is unprecedented. There's no way to hide. The potential is infinite, but in the wrong hands, it'll change everything. Like, well, like yeah. your hands? <laughs> like, yeah, like, <laughs> in the wrong hands. I mean, like, when people try to hunt down and kill teenagers with it, it's like, yeah, that's probably bad. Uh, and yeah, he says, as long as it has the ability to find those women now before they get their powers. Again, it's like, damn, was that the first try? Was that even... Because not only delivery, but also just the line itself. And um, you start to think to yourself, like, who is this woman? What is she doing? Like, She's you, just like his assistant who is going to help him do this evil plan. And all they give us is, he's paying her, he's paying her. He's paying yeah. her, okay, he's paying her. And, like, uh. oh. and this, this is ramping up to one of the dumbest things in this film, I would say. Yes, I think I know in this what you're scene. Going. Now, this is where we get to really finite lines that are incredibly funny if you really think about them and slow them down. She points to the screen, and you can see Sydney Sweeney and the other two. And she says, I quote, This is what they look like in your vision, as well as you can re recollect. I <laughs> and they're literally like headshot <laughs> from their like acting it, agency. Yeah, it is, it is like. 100% accurate from his dream. I don't even know where to start. There's so much wrong with it. Like, what do you mean? Why would you even say that like that to him? This is as well as it could, you can remember it. You know what I mean? It's like, what do you mean? Yeah, they could have, the line could have easily been written as like, so based on your uh, explanations of what they look like, these are the close, these are some, uh, some women that I found, and he could have pointed to like a few of the pictures. And be like, that's one of them. That's one. Like, like that's the much more logical way of how this would happen. What we have to work with is they've had access to this technology for maybe a night. What did he do? He got it and described how they looked to a machine, and it came up with one-to-one -one accurate copies of their faces. The the gr the greatest forensic artist of all time. I don't understand. And then so the he fact just that... put a prompt through Mid Journey, and, and then it worked he just perfectly. <laughs> squirted out some pictures. And well, it's so good that it can actually, with with reference to the images, it can be. The, it's like, oh, we can remove the costume, and this is what they actually look like. I just don't understand. Like, as well as saying it, like, this is what they look like in your vision, as well as you can recollect. As in, so that's what he already knows that. Then, if this is all what the computer came up with, as well as he could recollect, then like, wouldn't he be involved in that process? Uh, what I'm trying to say is like. If I said to Fring, I'll try and draw something if you can just describe it to me while we're at the computer. And he says, okay, it's like a happy bunny. And I draw that, finish it, and then go, so Fringy, this is my drawing of a bunny based on you. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. what? <laughs> it's like, yeah, we had this conversation. We just did this together. What do you mean? Like, why are you saying? And it's like, oh, right. Because the audience doesn't know what just happened. And it's like, oh, if only there was a better way to do this, like being a writer. I don't know. This sucks. 
Yeah, and he just says their faces have taunted me for years. <laughs> <laughs> also, the cameras that these are going to be run through are not going to be nearly as good as they show later, might I add. Oh, they well, I mean, like, all of it is. Perfect like, 4K, the technology like, yeah, levels. Yeah, it's, yeah, the technology. Absurd. It's all insane sci-fi tech. Yeah. But it's uh, like I'm all saying, like, HD, They would have been, been like, four, they would have been like uh, four, uh, 480p. Oh, cameras. I think that might have been lower than that. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe 144p, like I don't know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is where... But then uh, she uses... Yeah. Well, because I have to... Ex this, this, the lines are so awful, but I also feel like I need to explain what they do first. Which is... So, like, basic is we have technology and we have man with vision. Man with vision apparently describes the three faces he sees... The computer comes up with an approximation of those three faces, but with masks on, remember. He's never seen their actual faces, just the faces with the masks on. The computer then has to take those approximations and assume what they look like without the masks, and then in order to actually help him find them, have to guess where the vision takes place and reduce their age accordingly, right? So what they would look like right now versus in the future. We don't know when it takes place in the future, he has no idea. He's never, I guess, decided in the visions, because he has autonomy in them, to try and look at his phone, I guess, or anything. Knowing that knowing when it happens is going to be super important. Never never done that. It so you have to, the computer has to de-age them, and all we have to go on is guessing how far into the future it happens. And he, uh, she says, a radius of 10 years. What does that mean? That, like, you've de-aged them by anywhere every... Anywhere from 1 to 10 years. Uh, like yeah, so radius that, that means refers that... specifically. That's a weird word to use because radius. Actually, no. That is... would mean that it would be anywhere from one to twenty years. That would be a radius of ten years. So the... that's true. That's actually yeah. true. Yeah. So that, that's what I was thinking when you described maybe. it. But then I was also thinking that means that the computer has to search for, let's just take Sidney Sweeney for example, aged as to the description of his vision, then, but also every instance of her as much as ten years ago. You know what I mean? Like, it wouldn't be exactly 10 years ago, right? Because that's a guess. Like, so it could be 9, it could be 11, it could, you know, so you got to account for that? Whoa, whoa. I just don't so understand what, what they're even almost saying. offhandedly, like, 10 years. Yeah. This but, is all bonkers. All of is. this is bullshit technology so that a plot can happen, because they didn't give a damn about trying to write it in such a way that maybe... Well, I don't even know why they made this the plot to begin with. This is one of those scenes that makes you question why... Why did you decide to make the plot about a guy who's using essentially magic technology from 2003 to find three people that he has visions of them killing him at some point in some indeterminate point in the future? Yeah, that's a like, really a, weird choice. What a bizarre plot, you know? We're not uh, you couldn't have arranged that they. I don't know <laughs> that that they somehow stumble onto him doing something bad and he's chasing them down. Or anything? Well, and it could be I that he does see them killing him or whatever, and he wants to protect the industry that he's started now that does help people. So, I mean, make it, we were talking about this earlier, it would make it a bit more complicated as to him wanting to be a part of it or whatever, but it is still just odd that this is all based on a vision. And, and you know, they could be kids right now. He has no reason to think otherwise. Because remember, he's got, like, white hair in his vision. So, how, do you, how could you possibly know? You just, you just don't. And they look pretty young, even the ones one trying to hurt thing, him. No, I will say one thing, though, Mahler. None of their... You, you did mention that the, he's seen, only seen them in masks, but those masks don't do anything to actually obscure their faces. They do. Apparently the, the not. The Sydney Sweeney one. Computer... Um, there could be lots of different things happening underneath that, okay? You never know. It's human faces. You get all kinds of faces. You're probably saying it because you know what the actresses look like. But the computer is able to get it down perfectly. Yeah, which is weird. Especially after the de-aging, which is done at an estimation. But it's spot on. And the only reason that we know it's correct is because we know what the actual actresses yeah. are. But he has no idea. They have no clue. No clue. They clue. just randomly stumble onto it, and it happens to be perfectly correct. Yeah, and then... Uh, From their uh, perspective, they're just insanely lucky. When they find, like, she does the de-aging, she goes, Oh, I didn't know we'd be targeting teenagers. It's like why would why would that change? Like this, this is horrible. You, you like, you're doing what you're doing is killing people who haven't done a thing that they're gonna do. And you're like, wait, I draw the line if they're a teenager. Hmm. But luckily, she's reminded that uh, he's paying her. 
I think the line is, uh, they're teenagers now, but in the future, they will have powers, and they will try to destroy me. Future, they won't be they won't be teenagers in the future. Though. That's true. <laughs> it's all so bizarre. It's bad that you're killing people because you had a bad dream. Yeah. It's fucking stupid and evil. Has he not seen TLJ? Like... This is not good, man. <laughs> You'll create Kylo Ren. Nobody wants to do that. But um, I, I don't undermine like, like just how awful this, this line from him is in response to her saying that. Says they're teenagers now, but in the future they'll have powers and they'll try to destroy me. I came from nothing, less than nothing. I will not give up. Everything I've built and have my life cut short, find them. I'll pay you a fortune. I know he says I do pay you a fortune. Like it's I, like, I feel so I disconnected like the line, all the lines. I do like the line I come from less from nothing, which implies he had a lot of debt. I guess so, yeah. I guess, yeah. I guess he's. he's like he I had a, making. An, I I, yeah, I took yeah. out some bad loans. I mean, I came from way less than nothing. Well, and how he just didn't address the one thing she was interested in him addressing. Like it feels bad killing kids, uh, for stuff they didn't haven't done yet because you had a dream. And then he's like, "Yeah, but they're gonna kill me." And it's like, no, I, I yeah, but <laughs> like not really though. In a dream, well, like, like a... <laughs> but why are they gonna kill you? Why don't you just not do the thing that they'll that will cause them to kill you? Could be that, yeah. Um, and and again, Maybe he references all this stuff. Honestly, you know, he keeps falling to his death. Maybe he should figure out web shooters or something so that he doesn't fall down. Ooh. Oh yeah, make sure to wear a window. parachute Maybe. all the time. Maybe move move to a place on the <laughs> be in the live someplace on the first story of the building. Yeah, that's right. Move to, I don't know. Yeah. Move to like uh, Long Island or something. Just live out there, the Hamptons, in a one story house. I just want to point out the uh, <sighs> the absurdity of the fact that she just happened to be sent, like Cassie happened to be sent back to New York, and she's living, and he's there. Like the the odds of yeah. him selecting. Yeah, I mean, couldn't she, couldn't she have just ended up? I mean, couldn't she have just been in Peru forever potentially? I, I think, yeah, or they, anywhere when she came back. If they were actually asked to, any of the coincidence questions, are all answered by the web. Yeah, basically, yeah. it's all part well, like, of the In all honesty, the that's probably not a place that they would send her. Like, if she was sent back to the United States as this orphan from, you know, her mother died in Peru, they probably wouldn't have sent her to New York. That's no, just, it's like a rival they, where it, it happened that way, so it happened that way, so it happened that way, so it happened that way. As in, yeah. like, any reason you'd think not to do something insane, do it, because that's how it happens. Yeah. Like, okie dokie then. And, you know, in, in a sense, like, this is what she's been dropped off to do. All right, this is her fate. This is her future. Remember, he knew that she would, on this journey, eventually return back to him for information. That's not very useful, by the way, but we'll get to that. Um, so she's back home now and sad after everything that happened. And uh, 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 Ben pulls her, Uncle Ben, just in case you guys don't know. And he's uh, he's he's like, oh, you huh? should come to the funeral because I think it would make everyone happy to see you there and it might make you feel better as well. And then she looks at the TV, because Christmas Carol's playing, and she says, Hate to break it to you, Scrooge, but you can't change anything. <laughs> um, Which is the opposite to of what happens in that movie. But, like, it's a funeral. Like, it, you're, we're, he's not going to come back to life because you attended the funeral. That's not what it's about. That's true. Like, uh, and that the implication of the scene, I guess, is that she's sad she couldn't change it. But, obviously, she didn't really try. She just said, yeah. can I drive? And he said, nah. That was it. What if you would have like punched him in the face or took the keys from him? Like, surely that would have just well, the, 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 the really hey, funny part is if she delayed him for an extra five seconds, he'd be alive. Did you? Um, I, I was uh, away while you were talking about it. Did you guys talk about how like non lethal and mild the crash looked in the movie? Yeah, 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 yeah of okay. course, yeah. Like it, like it wouldn't very... have killed anybody. <laughs> it it looked like it was it would it it looked like it would be annoying. Oh, I didn't realize oh. it's in the trailer. There we go. We could actually yeah. see the crash. That's great. Oh, yes. Well, oh, well yeah, let's yeah, put yeah. it this way: on the balance of probabilities, who's more like what's more likely to kill you? That crash or falling off a bridge, smashing your head into the windscreen, and then being underwater for several minutes? <laughs> it looks so mild. Look at it. It's like, but, but, like oh. well, that's it. Oh no, not that. That's slightly. <laughs> it looks like it. You can I mean, just keep going. The thing about cars is they are built in such a way that if someone crashes into you, you are somewhat protected. 
It's basically armor around your body. <laughs> yes. And um, yeah, they that are designed just... to be on the road with other vehicles, it's and that not... looks like it doesn't even hit. The Unless he front. wasn't wearing seatbelt, but I mean, he should be wearing a seatbelt. Oh, Frangie, we'll talk about seatbelts later. Well, in it this wouldn't. Movie. I don't think it wouldn't matter because, like, like, his windscreen isn't changed, and his I get like if he didn't have a seatbelt, I guess he would have been thrown to the right a bit. But surely he was wearing a seatbelt. You'd think so, yeah. Like, I guess it's possible to die from that but you'd have to try it's really possible. hard you'd have to try <laughs> like you why have to participate of, why was his chest full of blood he, I, I doubt he was facing to the it's, left right it, he wasn't like turning his chest left to face well, the, the windshield uh, the windshield was made out of that glass from echo hmm, i yeah, did mention that sliced yeah. him up so it's an unfortunate reality he had to just he had and to it's die. not like he's in a tiny little car either he's in an ambulance he's a, yeah he's in a big vehicle ambulance. himself yeah, I just the don't. Why did moving very who, quick? Who was who was at fault for that? I see. I see a zebra crossing there. I who, oh, who was um, meant to give way here? You know, like well, like but who, as we established, both of them are just heading in directions they don't need to go to. It, like neither of them yeah. looked either he way. He should be turning. Like the ambulance should be turning, presumably. Yeah. But he's just heading to the car park over there. <laughs> I guess he just feels like going. Yeah, who had to give way? The, the, and the truck, the, there's the literally the no road left on. in front of him. He would were have been turning right. On? Yeah, he would have turned right. He would have, he absolutely would have looked, and then he would have braked, and well, <laughs> this wouldn't have happened. It's super. It's the most forced death I think I've like ever seen. It's like he was trying to die. He's like, get me out of this movie. Anyway, uh, uh. a bird flies into the window and dies. That, that was pretty sad. And that then sad. she's like, hmm. It's not as part of the film. And, mm -hmm. uh, she, like, cause I want to, oh, sorry, I need to make sure we understand how bad this scene is. So she says, hate to break it to you, Scrooge, you can't change anything. Bird flies into window. She says, hmm, opens window and says, this isn't going to change anything. And then she watches it change things as the bird flies in. The bird just flies through and he's okay. Well, so, no, like, not only does the bird fly through... Because you are a retard if you watch this movie and you can't be trusted with knowing anything or learning anything by what you see with those stupid eyes of yours. She has to say out loud, like verbatim, oh, so you lived that time. <laughs> this is what I mean. This whole scene is a fucking disaster of, uh, it, it's all script notes. It's not actual dialogue. She, it starts with, boo, I can't change anything. Wait a minute, let me test it. Oh my god, I can. That was it. We learned a lot today. So, um, yeah, uh, she's gonna go to Emile's funeral now, and that's when she, I guess she needs to get on a train to do so, and so... Wait, she was going to the funeral? That's what I assume. Was she going somewhere else? That's oh, what yeah, she, she wears to a was. funeral? Um, I could, I don't remember any re other reason she was going anyway, but I, I guess you highlighted the fact that she was wearing what she was wearing. A I, very prominent red yeah, jacket for a funeral. And jeans. A yeah, and well, plus and he's got jeans. like blue jeans. It, Maybe it I don't was... remember. Was it a funeral or a wake? Because it was a wake. A lot. Not, you don't. Maybe it was like a casual eat. get together. I can't remember exactly. So I'm making people dress up for my fucking funeral. <laughs> um, well, how are you gonna make him do that, Rags? You'll be dead. Gonna, how are you gonna? gonna how are you gonna? Are you, are you gonna that? spook them as a ghost to go? Ooh, yes. dress nice. I'm gonna say each one of you who 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 wore wore very unflattering, too overly casual things to my uh, to my. Uh, my, 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 what, what's it called? A funeral! I will haunt you for a little bit. You do like uh, Bender and Futurama and be alive at your own funeral just to see what everyone does. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a, that's the old, uh, that's Mark Twain stuff right there. Tom Sawyer. Tom and Huck, they, uh, they attend their own funeral. Wow. Did you ever read, uh, you ever read those books? If I did, I've completely forgotten it by now. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, that was a thing in, uh, that was a thing in Mark Twain novels. What's amusing now is to set the scene, I will say, all four of the spider web lady madams are now in the train station. They're all here. Why, yeah, you they ask? They have a big, like, long shot that shows, oh, look, there they are. Wow, it's all coming together. <laughs> and we get answered this, because you might have thought, oh, that's, that's coincidental, isn't it? And it's like, no, no, it is not. 
because we get a line from uh, Evil Lady, who's helping out uh, Evil Spider-Man. She says, what are the odds of them all being in the same place at the same time? And then he says, it's not a coincidence. Just, just wanting you to own that, okay, to understand that. And then she okay. says, well, there must be something that connects them. And then he says, or something that will. There, mm. boom. That's taken There's care There's your of. answer. Fate. There you go. Yep, fate. They were there because... They were going to be there. They were going to be there. And I don't know what that means about free will in this universe. Oh, well, they don't even get into that shit. I, but, would, I mean, um, what would he? Yeah, yeah, how, it's, what do you? How do you deal with this? You're like, they were always gonna be here because of the future, so I'm gonna try and kill them all. You're like, haven't you just established that like there are greater forces than you that control everything? Also, you, I would just like to point out one thing. Uh, this is Grand Central Station, which is one of the most populated areas that you could ever find in New York at any given time. Uh, yes, it's a it's a coincidence in this instance, but it's not a ridiculous coincidence that three three girls. All oh, there, getting on the same train. I feel well, like they they're weren't still all getting, on, getting on the same train at the same time in the same carriage. Or well, the one wasn't in... actually. The one wasn't actually. Uh, I think the the one wasn't supposed to get on the train. That was just a. Uh, she was like just there. But... I thought she Having collected all three people... of them from the train, didn't she? Yeah, but the one. Uh, yeah. was, I forget her name. The um. Say uh... it. Say it. <laughs> Do it. Say it. We know you're thinking it. Say it. I'm trying to remember the actual name. Uh, it, was, uh, it was Maddie. Maddie was the name, but the black girl. She, uh, ah, there she, we go. I mean, whatever. I mean, that's what she is. But yeah, I was just trying to remember the name. She was like forced physically onto it. But yeah, th that is where you get co coincidental. She took the but, like, no, she it, wasn't forced I mean, onto it. it. It's, 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 to get no, she, it, she right? just gets she got on. on. She just gets on normally. It's insane. Yeah. Even in but even yeah, in like at, Grand Central, four people getting on the same carriage. But like they the had. Yeah, what I'm saying at, at that time. point, at, I'm saying at the point where he's saying that, it's not super unrealistic yet it later it becomes that but like what well, him being like oh, oh yes i'm not talking about his observation it's more so just i mean three of them even three of them that's pretty coincidental but it's all that's four insane of them. It's yeah, insane. i was gonna say i don't subscribe to this i think it's insane that yeah. two people would be on the same carriage at the same even time two is really but really four. really unlikely in a city with like what five million people five six million people that they get on the same train in the same carriage at the same time? Nah. It's then not as ridiculous as... Eight, when it gets eight, to eight, that, I'm saying... Yeah, eight million in 2003. Point, when, I'm saying well, when it gets to that point, yeah, yes, but I'm saying, like, at the point where he first, where they're first observing it, the fact that they're all at one of a, a very populated area, knowing that they all live in New York, it, it, it's I think not, it's still a coincidence that's that all a really three big, of them are even there in Grand Central at the same time. Yeah. In Grand Central at the same time, like, I know it's busy, but all three of them there at the same time. Remember, the fact that all three of, of them live in New people. York. The fact that all three of them even live in New York. I mean, it couldn't be that one of them grew up in, like, Seattle and then moved to New York later to come fight him. It's 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 it's, it's insane. It it's is insane actually, that's, the second that they that were all in add, New York. Yeah, that adds more to the coincidence, because people do, <laughs> you know, you give, you know, decades go by, people just move, so. Yeah, and even the film... Felt it was so insane that they had to try and acknowledge it with like in-universe mechanics. It's it's the web. It's doing it. The web's doing it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, fate has bound them together. Um, so then using the web, she notices noises and visuals, and she gets a shit ton of fear flashes that get incredibly annoying. It's like blah, 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 and like and people are dying, and then the editing's going, blah, 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 blah. and you're like, oh, and then it gets reset. And it's like, it oh. drags on a lot. You see yeah. how uh, Ezekiel kills all three of the girls, and each time it's like, blah, 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 blah. And you're like, yeah, yeah, I got it. And she's like, oh, uh -huh. what's happening? Oh my god. And it's incredibly fucking annoying. And then she's like, oh god, everybody, get off. Actually, sorry, I put too much emotion into that. The way that <laughs> you did. Dakota Johnson says, get off, get off the train. Off you're going to die if you don't get off. That's get how off she the says train. it. Please yeah. follow my instructions. That's what yeah. she so bad. <laughs> It's so it's so bad. I hate it. <laughs> I guess what's kind of funny as well is only those three get off, but I don't know, if some lady was running around saying you're gonna die, it'd be like, I don't care if she's pointing to me, I don't think I want to be on this train yeah, anymore. Yeah, you know what? I have nothing to lose by just taking the next <laughs> just train and off playing the train. it safe. Yep. But nobody else cares. They that was the thing in Final Destination, right? Like shouting that the plane is gonna go down. He's like 
Jesus. <laughs> they came right there. No, well, I'm yeah, because some, some, uh, some of them, some of them got off because some of them he do, said yeah. that in the film. Yeah. A lot of them go off, like, not because of him saying that, but because they, they were shoved out. They got forced out because yeah. they were grouped together as being the troublemakers on the plane, which makes sense that they would be like, mm. oh, sorry, you're all, yeah, you're all gone. This is going to get weird to explain, because this film gets wacky. She gets off the train with all of them. Uh, the two of them, two of them follow her. She has to take the skateboard off, the delinquent one, in order to get her off. And, uh... Then she's like still having sort of editing flashes that are really annoying, and she spots Mister um, Mister Evil Spider Man looking at her on the train. He's like, "Hmm, <laughs> like how did that just happen?" <laughs> and I'm already at the point of thinking if you think that they've all been drawn here thanks to fate or whatever, I just don't understand what your plan is. You're no less a pawn than they are, surely. In like the grand scheme, do you think you're destined to kill them, or that you're destined to be killed by them if you keep having this vision? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just don't know do what he thinks about, about all of this. Do we even talk about this idea of, like, if is me trying to stop them what makes them become... Yeah, he doesn't entertain that kind of ever. Thing. Not yeah. not even, even though that's, you know... It's, what I mean, happens? <laughs> the obvious. That's basically what happens, is he causes his own undoing. Which is boring, because that's usually boring. the it thing is about boring. this sort of stuff. That's Usually time travel stories like, ah, see, you never could have changed it. Oh, thanks. Or it was you oh, trying oh, to change gee, it that made I guess it I happen. Have just, I guess I should have just died then. All right, thanks, film. Now, this is really important. She's looking around. She's like, what's going on now? And one of the girls says, so what's the emergency? And then Sydney Sweeney says, this woman is trying to abduct us. I don't know why she says that when... That's bizarre, because... Clearly, she isn't. She asked people to get off the thing because they were going to die. And but also, well, this is one of the most important that, lines I mean, in the whole film, by the way. Away. Yeah, because it's going to change everything. Because if she actually believed that, why wouldn't she just leave and just run off? Th there's so many layers. Like she asked, she told them, "This is an emergency. The train is in trouble. You need to get off." I haven't like, collected you and put you anywhere. I haven't even put restraints on you or anything. And you're like, oh, she's kidnapping us. No, nobody would say that. Nobody would do that. And and, and it becomes clear because she has to say it for something else to happen. Anyway, by the way, nobody in, like, the immediate vicinity gives a shit. They're all just walking away or walking around. Nobody, like, looks at it and goes, oh, my God, is that woman abducting those poor, poor teenagers? No. Besides, fucking, have you been at a train station? People say crazy shit throughout it. Nobody's, like, assuming any of it is, is yeah. super... You Have you ever seen the viral videos of, like, Spider-Man beating people up at a train station? It's, like, people dressed as Spider-Man and stuff. Crazy shit happens in, uh, in all these places. But, whatever. And she says, um, no, I'm not trying to abduct you. That's your problem right there. And it shows him crawling toward them very, very slowly on the ceiling. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why isn't he running toward them? Why is he slowly crawling? It What's needs the... to be ominous. <laughs> for the theatrics. And then he's like, is anyone else seeing this? And she goes, that bad is trying to kill you. And I was just thinking, like, how would I react if she told me the train, like, you gotta get off, and I do, and then she says, that person on the ceiling is gonna kill you. I don't even know what I'd say. I'd just be like, um, all right, I guess. And uh, they they ask why, and she says, "I don't know." Come on, and they leave. It is <laughs> such a flaccid scene because it's supposed to be actiony, and it's just funny. Like I said, I I found all of this so entertaining because of how inept all of it is. Like trying to capture the specific emotions. There, there was exactly one joke in the entire movie that hit for me and it was in this scene it's when because the one guy is on the wrong train and then gets off goes onto a different train and then like she like evacuates them onto that train and he's like basically like shit am i on the wrong train again like that's the one joke mm -hmm. that landed for me and other than that it, it was pretty the rest of it was laughable the rest of the scene was laughable for all the reasons Mueller just said well and it doesn't stop because uh the police get called in they start to arrive and uh, Spider Bro, well, like they, they, they are on the second train as you just mentioned, and I'm I'm not clear on how this happened. We have to use our collective memory. Is the implication that evil Spider Man kills the driver of the train because like yeah. there's like a scream he or something? Screaming. Yeah. Yeah, and then the train stops. So that happened. 
It's and, like in the intercom, isn't which, it? Which, uh, by the way, that seems like a bad idea. If the train's going, then they can't get off the train. Yeah, it would have been better just to let it keep train. going. Um, and also, like, you are... You, you shouldn't be just killing everybody. That no. makes... Like, that, that draws attention to you. It's like killing the NSA woman. Like, that's gonna... Like, isn't that gonna be weird that you, she's she's killed from this creepy poison after she goes to spend a night with this guy she met at the opera? And her credentials are being used to log into the computer, but from somewhere like isn't isn't all this like you're a dumb villain? You're a really dumb villain. Mm-hmm. Um, they there's this part where they get onto like the connecting divider between two uh, carriages, and Madame Webb looks through the window and she sees a cop, and the cop like sees her, and then she's like oh, and starts like moving away from them. Why isn't she moving toward them? Yeah, like, they're probably gonna be the best people to talk to right now, actually. You're four women being chased by a man who's trying to kill you. A cop with a gun and is also, one of the best things ever you could find. Why would Ezekiel kill them, like, on a train using no disguise? What, um, well, yeah, that was his plan originally. Yeah, that was the original his plan. His plan right. originally was to just walk down... He was just gonna down... kill them out in the open, and then in front of a bunch of witnesses... Just several without witnesses. His, well, Rags, yeah, it's without not his like outfit, just... he'd built an enormous organization legally, you know, with his name and face probably plastered in many areas of corporate America or anything. You could probably just walk around and kill people. He'll be fine. I, I guess he thinks that. That's not very smart. No, not very smart. Well, every single thing we've pretty much highlighted so far, nobody's making any sense. It's all very crazy and nonsense. Oh, this but... is sludge. Oh yeah, this is sludge plot. Is this is sludge dumb plot? And so they they're running. Look at them run ah through the station and oh no, they see the oh, no. police and then they like one of the girls Cops says are everywhere and quick. Yes, and one of the girls says call for backup. And I was just like, yeah, I, I, I guess that's, yeah. I just didn't even, I would have thought they would be just desperate to say, like, help us, help us, help us. Like, call for baggers, like, sure. And then they arrest Madam Webb. And I was like, just, what? <laughs> what that, like, there's really, do they know at this point anything, like, about the situation at all? Anything about what's actually happening here? It's just, oh, well, random lady arrest her. <laughs> and uh, we can, this is something we find out a little bit later, but we can bring it up now to explain this. Uh, the film would want you to believe that because Sidney Sweeney shouted, this woman is trying to abduct us, that all of the police now know that Dakota Johnson, as in like that person, is abducting them. And so if you see her, arrest her. From Instant Sidney Sweeney life. saying that, and I guess a random bystander hearing it and telling the police. This all happened now in the all span the of like know. thirty seconds. Thirty seconds tops. It's absolutely insane. And the cop, by the way, doesn't manage to get the cuffs on. But if she did, no, it's it, like it's really weird because she turns her like she gets turned around and puts her arms behind her back. But then the bad guy just jumps out and it's like, oh, well, she's fine. She didn't actually have him on. But yeah, if she had him on, they'd be screwed. She'd just be stuck, mm -hmm. arms behind her back. Not able to escape. Do you think the film ends? Had Man. she just, uh, I don't know, was normal speed at cuffing mm -hmm. her, but she wasn't. But then, mm -hmm. luckily for our heroes, the villain appears and beats up and all good, the police. And then the villain beats up the cops instead of going for them. It's so why? Why? It's insane. Like, what are you He's doing? He's basically teleporting. Like, yes. The why is he taking out the people who are an obstacle to I don't know. the people he's trying to catch? <laughs> because. So stupid. He's evil, so he has to kill. He can't help it. <sighs> it just this keeps, is fake. Crumbopulous Michael. Oh boy, here I go kill him again. And uh, they are they're able to just sort of semi hurriedly leave the subway, and he's how many not police right would on you, their tail. How many police would you guess were there? By the way, I think it was about four or five of them. I mean, I was going to say six. Yeah, I was going like to say that. anywhere between some... four and eight. Like, there's some somewhere in there because there's a couple of them, and then backup appears as well. Or show up. Yeah. Yeah. They come down the stairs. I um, think. If you had to go with yes or no, did all of them die? Uh, I think so. I believe so. Mm, I no. mean, I have. He just knocked out a couple. Probably looked... not. He just. He pulled one. He he like jumps on a couple, and then he like pulls one under a sign or something. Yeah, and I, I would have thought that one a lot of them, them may have been like knocked punches. out. 
I wouldn't have thought he killed. And another all one. Of them. Yeah, they don't seem killed at all. I I I don't really see any kill shots there. Some are probably a couple might be banged up, mm -hmm. but it it just doesn't. Yeah, it seems more well, like silly than deadly. With how you know this works, as the film progresses, it gets wilder and wilder. So. Keep all of that in mind, I guess. That's just the situation. So they escape. They run up to the top and they steal a taxi. And then uh, this dialogue, again, is throughout the whole film. It's fascinating to, to just look at. Sometimes you wonder, because everyone has spoken to humans, right? So you know how they work. So when you're a writer, you try and just translate that down. But somehow you're worse at like writing down dialogue than you would be just saying things to people. I just don't get it sometimes. Anyway. So it says, like, did he kill those cops? And then I think, for lack of a better descriptor, science girl, because she's about to become that character, says, uh, he climbed on walls and dodged bullets. How is that possible? Oh, no, sorry. The, I think Sidney Sweeney says that. Science girl then says, it's not. There's not enough frictional force in the bare human foot to overcome gravity and keep you stuck to a wall, let alone the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's the what? way, oh, I'm the smart character. Yeah, That's it's, all I'm that the that line smart is. one, yeah. I'm the, I'm, which, by the way, I mean, I guess it's probably worth prefacing already. These characters are so one-note, it's unbelievable. Sydney Sweetie's basically, oh, I'm, I'm docile. Yeah. And, uh, the, uh, uh, and docile then like, delinquent oh, I'm, I'm the science. smart one. And then, no, yeah, hungry. exactly. Docile, I mean, the, hungry, it's, it's smart. Well, she's also the delinquent, right? She's the one that middle-fingered the ambulance. She's the one that'll yeah, be more aggressive. She and gets, she's a skateboarder. She gets more. She gets more characterization for being hungry. I think <laughs> than being a delinquent. Yeah, we could call it the hungry that. one. If you want. hungry, docile, she's and the science. Hungry one. Uh, and of course, hungry, because this film science. is twenty years. Like this film came out twenty years ago, but then through a time warp, came out now. They're like, ah, see, yeah, Sydney Sweeney, she's the nerd, you yeah. know. She's like the nerd loader. <laughs> That's whereas she's now they would glasses. all be. The she's wearing glasses. She's the loader. All right. She... <laughs> Nobody pays attention to her. I just realized how much of the some of the things that show up in this trailer that I probably should be highlighted. This is this is old bad guy. This is in his vision. This is what he looks like. It's just like yeah, you just dyed his really hair. Old. That's all you did. You know, I was I was really confused about uh, <laughs> I was really confused about like the timing because. He was in the Amazon in the 70s, and now it's like 30 <laughs> years later. I was like, wait, how old is he? Like, yeah, because he, he looks the like fucking same looking. in the Amazon. So it's he like, exactly the same. if he were he in like early 20s, guy. then I guess he's early 50s here. But it's just, there's no sign of it, really. And then, like, apparently they've guessed yeah, in 10 years he'll look like this. But he looks, the, the skin is exactly the same, but he just has dyed it. It, catch, it, <laughs> it, it, it catches look, up to you. It does. It looks it like does. he's in his 30s. You don't look old. <laughs> yeah. He's got the Tyler Perry grain. <laughs> oh, this movie's so funny. Speaking of which, by the way, we're coming up to what I think should be a competitor for the best line in the whole film. So, after she says, there's not enough frictional force in the bare human foot to overcome gravity that keeps you stuck to a wall, let alone a ceiling, the response from Hungry Girl is, well, science didn't seem to stop him, so what good is it? <laughs> <laughs> and then she says, "What good is science?" That's, Listen, I love, that's... science, science brought us Cheetos, hungry one. It, they did. So I, I, uh, but I, I just, I didn't even. Obviously, she wouldn't <laughs> say that. But why would anyone ever say whatever the hell that was? <laughs> science that's, didn't that's, stop this him. Is, this is really good. This is really good writing. I like these. This is how humans They're talk. So yeah. fun. They're so fun and relatable. Um. Eventually, Madam Webb says, I'll drop you all off to your friends. And then there's like a cut of just looking at them all, and the implication is none of them have any friends. I thought that was really odd, because we've seen... Wasn't the hungry well, girl the with her friends when we saw her? She went yeah. to her friends, yeah. I didn't understand also, that. Also, you have no friends, really? Well, so because the, the point <laughs> is that they don't have friends or family, so they're all ready to become uh, a family, right? right. right. But yeah, they're all they're all alone, they're ready to be abducted. You just you want me to believe the? Do all of them go to school? And if so, how would they like? None of them have friends. Okay, because well, it's, it's the web. The web is school. doing this. You see Remember the web. The, the web. The hungry one goes to school because of the a beginning. She was headed to school. She had her uniform on, and she was going to all the. What other I'm girls. saying is, she was heading to her friends, and she must be a part of that. But like, what I'm saying is, the web has picked people who do not have friends. So I guess she's unpopular. Because the web did this. I guess so. I guess. Because you know, I any of these actually... girls would be 
not popular, as we see evidenced by the fact later on that once they're seen by boys, they become incredibly popular instantly, but whatever. I, I just thought of something. I think it was Fringy earlier brought this up when we were talking about the being in different, all in the same location, and wouldn't it make more sense if one of them was from a different location? Sydney Sweeney's character is from a different location. She They, they mentioned that later. So yeah, it is even more coincidental. More coincidence just to yeah. add on to the pile. Hey, I just, yeah. I just remember. I just like it just came to me. I mean, no, she, she stayed in New York for. Well, it's the thing. Years or whatever. To be fair to Frankie, like I don't even know the names of these characters, and I won't by the time we're done talking about it. I will. Uh, I almost refuse to. Uh, read well, I think their names were. Uh, it was. Uh, it was Anya, uh, Julia, was An and Anya, and Maddie. Right, those yeah. were their names. Excellent. I don't but, remember yeah, which one is which, though. Sydney, Sweeney, Smart One, and Hungry. <laughs> That's <laughs> those are the three. Hungry Science and Docile. It's funny because they don't really say yeah. their names that often. It's just one of those things. Like if you know them from the comics, you'll know. But their they names. devote a scene here in a second to like giving their names, but you still don't remember them. Even yes. They devote time to be like, I'm this one. I'm this one. I'm I feel like one. it's way easier to just characterize them by their one attribute, their one trait that yeah, they each one have. Semi trait. Yeah. But we're going to do a funny now. That's what the, the film is about to do. So the radio says reports of several NYPD officers have been attacked. Oh, my God. Terrifying. And uh -oh. the Webster, the camera gets on her and she says, I hope they find his crazy ass. That was insane. Hope they lock him up. Right. Right. I mean, and then the radio continues. Eyewitnesses have confirmed a woman in her early 30s has kidnapped three teenage girls. So... We're supposed to believe that the police believe that Madam Webb herself has beaten up a bunch of cops and stolen three teenage several... girls. I mean, is that plausible? That as like, come on. As a story Especially alone, it's not all... plausible. But yeah, but they why would have would seen it... all of them leaving together. This is and all then of based. Course you would see that the uh, the injuries. It's all based on that one line from uh, Sydney Sweeney. I mean. I agree. It looked like it's just absurd. Uh, I, I I almost like struggled to understand if I had like missed a scene because how did this happen? How how did it become that the report is we have to get Madam Webb? She's the one that's behind all of this. Especially assuming that any of the cops, you know, assuming any of them survived, they'd be like, "Oh no, I got attacked by like some dude in a big costume." Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the thing. You have to assume all of them died. Which, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I think, I, think so. I just assume that they all died because that's what the filmmakers probably want you to conclude. But in terms of the actual attacks and injuries, yeah, like one of them just got hit. You know, he just got like pushed away. It'll be fine. And then all the people on the, uh, you know, any any of the people on the uh, on the trains or on the platforms or anything. The, I mean, the only no. way this could ever make any sense is absolute crazy hearsay from witnesses that saw barely anything. Mm-hmm. And that they're just buying it completely, and that nobody has talked about the Spider Man person who is would have been seen by fucking countless people. Especially given that he, he was walking around barefoot, I'm pretty sure. So it's like that kind of calls attention. A guy in a suit walking around barefoot, just looking around, and then presumably at some point getting out and changing into his spider costume to then chase them. Well, and the movie accounts for this because she says everyone, uh, the, the uh, girl in the back says everyone thinks you're the kidnapper, and then Madame Webb says, "Yeah, because you told them I was." That's right. It's your fault, Sydney it's, Sweeney. <laughs> somehow that line from Sydney Sweeney has just defined the whole plot now. She said when it that no line didn't even make careful. sense in the first place because nope. if she felt that way, why wouldn't she just run to the police? Why the would she way. stand there? She's the shy one. She's so shy that during uh, a kidnapping, right. she's so she'd be shy like, that hey, she, don't yeah. kidnap me. She follows the kidnapper <laughs> wherever they go. Yes. But, whoa, she's so, but while also yelling out that she is being kidnapped. Doesn't make sense. The sheer um, power of her charisma is lulling me closer and closer to her. Please, someone help. She then has to, so for like plot reasons, anyone paying attention would be like, so they, they could be found easily because they're phones with the NSA shit, right? And so Madam Webb realizes this quickly and tosses their phones out the window. Remember, the, this has barely been explained to these girls. Could you imagine how fucking mad they would be if you threw their phones someone, out the window? Yeah, instead of saying, you know, you, you can't call or text anybody because they're using whatever to do whatever or putting it in the pocket so that you have a cell phone that you could use if you needed well, in an emergency to call They could for track that rags, gotta toss it, gotta toss it. Oh, okay. And, and, uh, why does she think that they can 
yeah, track she that. shouldn't even she shouldn't even know that. Well, so that's actually what I was going to bring up. In the 2003, early 2000s, right? Yeah. This is this is the thing. Like you, as an audience member, may have thought about this, but why would the characters? What reason does she have to think that they will be tracking them through their phones? What what in yeah, the world made her say or think that? They that? found them like. Through any gov, does she believe that he works for the government? Is she aware of the meme of like tracking phones back in two thousand three? I got nothing. Like <laughs> I feel like pieces are missing. Maybe that actually is the case. The receipts missing. Uh, then she says, "Anyone who wants to leave, leave now," which I thought was a really dumb line because, of course, all three of them want to leave, but only one tries, which I thought was strange. And so she locks the doors and says, "No, you can't leave." Because you're the only ones that know what happened. As in, they're the only ones that can exonerate her. So you That's might be a, thinking... We're going, you figure that number one would be... Uh, so first of all, it's like, oh, you can't leave because that guy's trying to kill you. So that's already pretty bad. But mm -hmm. then the next thought would be, oh, you can, we can go to the police and you could explain it to them. Exactly. You can just kill. explain everything to the police and then we can give our account of what actually happened. And then mm -hmm. once they're like, oh, okay, well, you're clearly not kidnapping them. They're all here of their own oh, free will. So you're just, you know, you. And to clarify, I think people have gone the wrong idea. We're not asking whether you could track phones, like, in general. It's whether people would have that level of awareness that they toss their phones every time they're on the run from anyone in any fucking, like, context. She just threw it. No. Like, nobody does that. Nobody did that. Fucking people probably wouldn't even do that today. Even though it's way more likely and way better, like, as a format. In fact, you can fucking have friends track your phone if you have, like, enough access to certain you accounts. You just turn it off. Right? So, like, you know, yeah. the, the idea that you can track signals, no, I know that, but we're talking about would a person reasonably in 2000s when being chased by someone in a Spider-Man suit 2000s. be like, I gotta toss my phone so that, uh, yeah. I mean, I would go as far as pushing it all this the way to 2010. Would, if I was in 2010, I would fucking throw my phone because the spider person's chasing me. <laughs> as Rags yeah, pointed out, I, I would hang on to it because I'm like, oh, phone, I can contact people with my phone. Yeah, I might need to call someone for help or let someone know that I'm coming or, you know, do anything Honestly, like that. Honestly, the fact that all three of them, so 2003, we'll not snake. Every, it wasn't as common for no. you know, everyone to have a phone. It's, well, so I mean, it's even less likely that they would have the awareness to be like, oh, yeah, Spider-Man over there, he's going to be tracking our phones. Like the one girl, Anya, that most, most definitely would not have one based on her history I in think... the movie. To be fair to the film, only one phone is tossed, and the implication being the other two and didn't have them. And it's the phone of the one who was with the rich family, so, Makes you know, sense, that's something. But still, I just don't believe she would toss it. In and fact, then, yeah, if one of the other two had one, they wouldn't have said anything. If it was me as one of the other two, and someone just threw their phone away, I would just, like, not even say anything. I just, the phone would just stay in my pocket. Well, we wouldn't even be wouldn't... in the car at this point, Rags. If we, like, this oh, yeah, wouldn't... we wouldn't be in the car. That person would, that person would probably be like, all right... Well, let and, me go and or I'm on that literally note, shooting you. She's highlighting, I can't let you guys go because you're the only ones that can exonerate me. The implication being you could die if you leave this car, which is the thing, as Fringy pointed out, should be the primary thought. Don't leave because you'll die. But simultaneously, yeah, that's, that is true. They're the ones that can exonerate you. Go to the police. So go yeah, to the police That's where right we're going, now. right? Obviously right we're going and to the police. then the police can protect you as well. Yeah, protective custody with all their guns and everything. So, wacky, wacky, wacky lines. I don't know what to make of this at all. What is she saying? And then she says, we're going to lay low until I figure this out. Oh, what are you talking about? Oh, you're taking us to the woods to kill us, aren't you? To... You're, you're going to murder us. Figure what out? What are you going to figure out? <laughs> what could possibly... She has no plan, by the way. She comes up with one while they're in the forest that has nothing, no reason to assume it would make anything better. But she says, like, I got to figure... It's like, what information do we have? Crazy man is trying to kill us. That's it. All you got. Yep. Oh, I'm gonna figure this out. It's like, what do you have to figure out, you crazy man? I don't understand. But this this makes them want to go to the forest. And I say them, I mean her. Just her. She's gonna take them all to the forest. <sighs> this this is what this part was when I started to like really laugh because the fact where like they essentially they go to New Jersey, which. As we established earlier in this uh, stream, that's where I'm from. Hmm. For there to be an area that wooded, she would have had to drive pretty far, like, outside of the city. Did and they go to just... New Jersey, or did they go to, like, upstate New York? New Jersey, no, they go to New Jersey. Yeah, they, 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 they mention it. Uh, I actually wrote down the name of the town, because it's not real. Uh, oh. Church Hill, New Jersey, they mention it. Well, then, and... in this oh, not okay. real town, there is plenty of wooded areas, so get yes. wrecked. 
Yeah, they were basically like showing what would be like the southern part of New Jersey, clo closer to Philadelphia than New York City. So, hmm. probably why they made up a town. <sighs> so, Evilman is like, "How did they know I was coming?" Which again makes me wonder about the whole his his point of view about fated things to have happen. How has this not been incorporated and making him think about what's going to happen next? You know. And uh, his response from, from his tech lady is, wherever they went, there aren't cameras. <laughs> I just, like, there's a lot of places that don't have cameras, man. Like, <laughs> all right. Middle of the woods. Somebody, gotta be, you gotta be safe. Gotta be safe. Somebody asked if they, went to, if they drove to Hoboken. Hoboken was a real shithole back then, so no, I, that, that's not where they went. Um, and then we have competition once again for the greatest line in the whole film. She says, wherever they went, there aren't cameras. And he says... I went to a lot of trouble to steal those tools. Use them better. <laughs> this happens here, and it happens here. It happens. No, it's yeah, not. it happens again later in the movie too, where it's he's so like, funny. "This is your fault that they haven't been caught." Like, if, like, if, they're, if they're not on camera, there is literally nothing she can do. <laughs> what? All can I, she yeah, do? all I can do is monitor the cameras. If they don't show up on the cameras, like, I, what do you want me to do? Make them like you want me to go out there and push them in front of a camera? What? What do you want me to do? Use the tools better. <laughs> Like, useless shit. Like she's only <laughs> invested in getting the job done for the money. Why you? What? What? What does that do for her? Use it better. Oh. Then they get to talk in the forest. <laughs> um, there's nothing oh, we really. We get to learn all about these riveting characters, huh? Well, like the the kind of characterization we get is uh, Sydney Sweeney starts a fire. And then she says, I started a fire, I, you know, I was a Girl Scout. And the other one's like, of course you were. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Well, that's, that's character. First off, first off, Girl Scouts probably don't learn that shit. Girl Scouts, I ain't, nah, that, nah, Damn. they don't. Boy Scouts, yes, but the Girl, Girl Scouts, Scouts let's, do let's, cookies. They, they do cookies and they, they sleep in, like, cabins and they do, like, arts and crafts and shit like that. It's like, it, not, not, you know, not poop on the Girl Scout. They just, like, let's just be real here. They, they really don't teach them how to do, like, a fire? You would have thought that would be a useful thing to teach basically anybody, right? Like, you just, out but, of, but like, don't. I don't believe that any of them could make a fire out of nothing. Because well, you, to make a fire out of nothing, that's, like, really difficult. You mean, like, with, with what they would have had access to, they probably don't have the experience to do that? Or Sydney Sweeney I don't even think they have anything to... Well, yeah, if they don't have, like, a, essentially a lighter with them, then I don't think they could make a fire. And at that point, that wouldn't count. <laughs> like, I could do this because yeah, I'm a that Girl point, Scout. Yeah, yeah. Like, hmm. But yeah, the girls... So, because to make, to make a fire it, without any, like, fire tools, you'd have to, like, take, out, take off one of you, get a string... You might have to take off one of your shoelaces, make a bow with it, know how to make the little the, the bottom segment by getting a stick and cutting it in half and flattening it out and making sure there's enough airflow to get through. And then you have to back and forth and back and forth and you have to get enough kindling and make it into a little... Th it's really difficult to actually do. We had to do it in Search and Rescue and Boy Scouts. And it's, it's fucking tough. It was why in like all my survival kits, I would just say fuck it, and I would put in like three or four Zippo lighters, just because they weigh nothing, and you might as well have redundancies. Because having to make a fire with that, it sucks balls, and it's difficult. It's really difficult. They ain't doing it. Those girls and Madam Web, they're not doing it. <laughs> well, there you have it. Rags, did you get your eagle? Yes, I did. I'm an Eagle Scout. Wow. Yeah. Um... So they talk about Spider Bro, and they're like, you, "You, so what's his deal?" And she says, "I don't know. I've never seen him before." And they say, "Well, then, how did you know he was coming?" She says, "Ugh." And then she says, "Why are they trying to? Why is he trying to kill us?" And she says, "I don't know. Crazy shit's been happening. I don't know why. Stop asking me." Which um, what else are they gonna do? The three girls in this forest with the woman who's essentially abducted them at this point. What are they going to do other than ask her what the fuck is going on? All she's got from is I have no idea. But we're in a forest now. Well, there you go. Yeah, well, What else it. needs to be said? They're in a forest now. I thought, by the way, this is a segment where I thought a lot of it was pretty, pretty boring. Um, um, this part is, is less funny, I guess, but I was just thinking about the previous scene probably when I was watching this part. Yeah. Um, did you, did you, you watched it with Fringy, right? At your theater that you went to? Sure. Okay. 
I had to watch it alone. There's no one else in my theater. I was fucking alone. There was no one there. I couldn't lean over to the person next to me and be like, <laughs> "Is this?" <laughs> because there's no one fucking there. It was just me in my sadness. I had nothing to bounce off of. It was misery. You had the madam herself to bounce boring. off of. Ugh, don't even say that. So the three of them highlight that they've seen her before in all the opening places. And they're like, wow, you saved my stepmom. Wow, you live in the same building as me. Wow, you nearly run me over. Which is not what happened. You nearly ran her fucking <laughs> self over. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, you know, this is so freaky. Wow, wow, wow. Everyone's just so surprised by all the coincidences. You're just like, okay. But um, each of them deliver like all of this shit so dead-like. Meh, meh, meh. Sort of getting through the script as fast as we can. Then she says, I can see the future. I didn't ask for this. I saved all of you, so you're welcome. This is the dialogue. This is what they say to each other in this scene. It's really good. She says, I can't control it. One of the girls says that the other guy, he can walk on the ceiling. As a comparison of powers, why would they do that? When anyone having powers is brand new to them, this woman has come to them saying, I can see that you're going to die and I can prevent it, Final Destination style. And then the other dude is walking on ceilings and they're basically trying to say, like, so this is your power, his power's better. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's so weird to want to, to wanna even point that out as opposed to what can we do to not die? Yeah, his pa being able to crawl on the ceiling is more cool than being able to have premonitions yeah. of the future. Well, so I don't know about that. The, that is so weird to say, but there's a reason. That prompts the other girl to say, no, he can't walk on the ceiling. He was using his hands. Now, you might be thinking, wait, what, what, what does that mean? And what she's trying to highlight is he wasn't walking, he was crawling. That's all she wants. She's, she's being... That's it. Yeah, that, that's all she well, wants to highlight here. Well, Mahler, you're not being fair to the movie. This is like an obvious setup for later, right? Yeah, well, that's, the, that's where this is going. Because this, this, yeah. uh, the other lady then says, Yeah, he was like a spider person. Which is another <laughs> weird thing to say. Like, you see a man crawling on the ceiling. If, if you don't have Spider-Man or anything like that in your universe, which they don't, what would you compare him to as a creature? I guess you go straight to spider? Like, uh, is, this is hard to uh, sort of think about because Spider-Man is so ingrained in our culture. But seeing a man crawl on a wall, I don't know that everyone would just immediately go like, oh, he's like a spider person. Yeah, I would probably compare it more like something that's closer to a human, like a monkey, like a monkey. or something. Yeah. yeah. Um, like someone's in a lizard in the chat. Like that's, that could work too, I guess. But yeah, I, I, would, I would default to monkey every time. You, there's a lot of different things I think people would go with, but she goes with Spider Person, and that triggers something in Madam Web. She's like, "Wait, Spider Person? Wait a minute!" And uh, that sends her to go and check her mother's notes from the Amazon because that's going to help her in the plot. How insane is this? Like, nothing anyone said to each other was a reasonable response, and it's now going to prompt her to go and check those notes. And what's she gonna find? York, right, I yes, she's gotta go back. She said, like, I'm gonna... And she leaves them here in the forest. She leaves them here in the forest alone. And, and, and this is why I said, like, where she... Like, the, the, the range that she would be in, the amount of woods that was required, yeah. not, not be there. She oh, the timeline to... because... is gonna get real yeah. confusing soon. Because uh, she drives back... Well, she says, I'll be back. And they say, where are you going? Don't leave us. And she says, I have to check something, and you're safe here. Be a Girl Scout. You may as well just take them with you. I don't know. How is it? How is it safer for them to just stay here, especially when they don't know you? They only think of you as almost antagonistic. And as she's leaving, Sydney uh, Sweetie says, "Can we trust you?" And then she just doesn't answer them. Instead, says, three hours. Stay here. Don't do anything dumb. Seriously, don't do dumb things." And of course, the answer to the question of that, the question asked is, "Why would you even?" think that you can trust her. You don't know who she is. Well, yeah, any normal person would just leave. Why would you stay there? Mm -hmm. She should know that. And, and the fact that she believes, I'm going to be able to help you deal with this man who can climb on walls, because as you've smartly pointed out, he's a spider person. And my mum dealt with spiders back in the Amazon, right before someone tried to kill her, <laughs> so I need to go check Look, her notes. The, Absolutely like, the fucking is, nuts. 
The logic is totally sound. What part about that doesn't make sense? This is flawless logic. Rags, it's not even April 1st. How, how come you fooling me? Stop it. What? No, this, I mean, my mom was researching spiders on the Amazon before she died. And this guy ha it crawls on the wall like a spider. So it only makes sense that you go to my dad's holy grail diary to find out uh, all of mums. the clues to defeat him. Mums. Yeah. Dad's I know I was doing, grail it diary. was an act. That, yeah, that was a reference to another film. Yeah, oh. and you did it badly. <laughs> no, be, I did it you amazingly. You should be punished for no, oh, referencing no, I, 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 just, I just got it. Okay, I just got it. See, see, see how subtle it can be? It sneaks up on you. Nope, that doesn't improve the reference. It really sneaks up on you. Next time, Rex, reference an Indiana Jones film where he has to get his mum's diary, and then you'll be on point. Or his granddaughter's diary, maybe? Because she's really smart. and ha Yeah, there we go. Indiana See? Jones 6, the tales of <laughs> Helena Shaw. That was her name, right? Yeah, I yeah. guess so. Fucking hell. Anyway, <laughs> Madam goes home. Why, you may ask? Well, we've dealt with that, so shut up. Uh, she researches, the, the, she's reading through the books. She's like, research on spiders, peptides, spider people, las aragnas. According to local folklore, they have powers from spider venom. Incredibly fast, strong, and climb like spiders, just like the ceiling guy. I don't understand you know, how she's never read this before. I Exactly, that was just what I was bringing up. How come, of all... How come you haven't read all of this before? I don't understand. You've had all this time to read all of these things, and you never read... If all I knew about... Um, my mom, if she had died in childbirth and I never got to meet her, I, I, and all I had was this box of her stuff, I would have, I would have read all of it, every word, mm -hmm. all of that stuff, her research, everything she devoted her life to, the things that she was working on when she died, um, like, all of that I would have known. None it's of this insane. would have been a surprise to me. Your character's primary motivation is, uh, or primary, like, I guess law or the conflict she's dealing with is did my mom yeah. even care about me i guess not because she went to the amazon and got herself killed because she couldn't be taken care of during childbirth like she would have if she were in the west or whatever and you're like okay so why don't you want to find out why she was in the amazon it would be in the fucking diary wouldn't it but wait a second but in the original trailer they she it was wasn't it it was her saying the things about what she was doing in the amazon she knew she was researching spiders she even said earlier that she cared more about spiders than her. Well, she didn't read the important parts. She didn't read any but of she, it. I... I'm... I know. This, is, this, is, this isn't a well-written film. No, it's you're, very confusing. You're just realizing this now? <laughs> no, but sometimes just... Some people have it, we need of, to tell them. You know, it, it just, like, hits you again. Every once in a while, you, you suddenly get that jolt of remembering, oh shit, this is a really bad movie. Also, why not just take the book and go back instead of just staying there to read it? You have but what two, if you read it? Because you, have, you have three kids alone in the She forest. doesn't even read much more. She just reads that. Unless she stayed there for ages. But the timeline again, this is so hard to tell what the fuck's even going on. She came back. It was uh, nighttime. <laughs> yeah. Well, so the, 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 we cut back to the, the woods and they're like, there's a diner a half mile down the road. So we can, we can go there because Hungry Girl's hungry. No, um, you forget something. You forgot something that was really great. I'm about when How they could I forget? How could you forget? She... Everyone lives alone, or you talking about someone else? No, no. She has. She tries to climb on the wall. No, I knew that. I just didn't oh, reference yeah. it because. <laughs> what about what? Are, your rags. Why don't you take that one? What do you want to say about that? Okay, so she reads in her little diary something about how the spider people of Peru they can crawl on the wall like spiders, and then. They then she tries to crawl on the wall like a spider, but she can't do it. And then she like awkwardly slides down onto the floor. And then she tells like then she like says to the cat something like, Oh, that was don't say anything about this cat. And then the cat goes <laughs> And then the movie continues. I thought that when they did that joke, uh, in the script it probably would have read, tries to climb on wall and fails, and they filmed it, she put her hands on it, and just sort of, you know, maybe jumped and went back down to the floor, and they were like, man, that's not funny. 
Can we do anything else? And then maybe someone was like, what if she just slides all the way down to the ground? And then someone else was like, yeah, but... why would she do that, though? Why? Yeah, I don't know why she slid all the way down. And then someone else said, but it would be funny. The wall and... and then someone else said, it no, it wouldn't. It was really funny. And then they had a huge fight on set as to whether or not it was funny. And then Dakota Johnson the music said, swells. I'll do it anyway, even if it isn't funny. Well, it matches, it, it matches the rest of the comedy in this movie. All of the comedy in this movie is completely unintentional. And um, there are parts of this movie that li li they made me laugh out loud. There really are parts that made me laugh out loud. Yeah, Nothing I, that was intentional, though. Well, that's the thing. I feel I may be unique here, but I did kind of enjoy it from a... It's just so awful. And I just didn't I have any parts. feelings as to... Like, when we get to the final act, I will be arguing that is a, a, a wonderfully constructed piece of awful shit. Like, <sighs> Here, I'll, I'll, say, I'll say this, all right? I think the start is like, okay, let's see what's up. And the second part, it wavers. The third act... The third, like the last third of this movie, I think really does save it in terms of its amusing factor. Mm -hmm. I think it makes up a lot of potential lost ground because there, like I said, there are parts in this movie later on where I, well, I, I was actually laughing out loud. Maybe I, maybe you know that I think about it. Maybe I should give this film more credit. It is act. Some uh, of these lines, maybe. man, they're special. Maybe I'll come around to it. This film is kind of growing on me in that weird, like, <laughs> viral sort of way. Like, the way that, like, you get sick and then it gets worse. Mm. This film's kind of growing on me. Now, yeah, now that I'm kind of thinking about it, this... Well, so, we're Ugh. about to get so fucking funny in terms of the writer. Like, I, I want to meet them, sort of. Because the girls are in the diner, and they start dancing. Because the music is on, and yay. Not quite the song that will be important is on yet. But it will be. In any case, they walk over to a table to, to talk to some boys. And they want to do some dancing. Oh, it's so nice. But there is a man. Just to be... Hold up. Um, the, is the part... Is, is the fact that they walk through the woods weirdly instead of using the road, is that of any importance to the film? Or... I don't know if we're supposed to believe that they went to the road as fast as they... Like, they didn't know... I don't know. I, I'm not entirely sure of what they, they did. Clearly... They clearly show them like going through the woods and like having to move branches and shit out of the way. And they even say like, "Oh my god, yeah. are we lost? Are we lost? Are we?" And then they just like stumble in, into onto the highway where the, right across from the diner. And I'm thinking, why did we even? What was the purpose of that? Um, was it supposed to be like a bait and switch of oh oh they're, they're lost in the woods and it's getting dark? You're like, no, actually they're fine. It's a diner. No, because it Instead is weird, like you say, the if they had come the way the car came, then they would know they're heading to... Well, yeah, that's how they noticed it on the yeah. way in. Just take the road. Don't, like, walk randomly through the woods in the direction. Or I guess they did. I don't know. They weren't using a trail because they were having to, like, no. move bushes and shit out of the way. It's like one of those weird things about the movie, you know? Well, yeah, because... Uh, it's just weird. The Webster herself goes that way. On her first attempt after them, right? She goes that direction. Yeah, she just gets in the car and she imagined she, there. she was able to track them, um, which I thought was surprising for her, you know, because she's not exactly familiar with what might be telltale signs of tracking. But it doesn't matter because we're not there yet. There is a man in the diner who looks at these three girls and he goes, hmm. And he realizes something, you see, because he's been reading the local newspaper. And the camera shows us that on the local newspaper, now I know you're all going to object to this, but you shouldn't because it makes 100% sense. You ready for this chat? On his newspaper, it has an image of the subway where the events happened and a, he a headline that says, Girls feared to be abducted. And they have images of the three girls. And that's how this man knows that those are those three girls. And so he will now call the police because he has spotted them. And that's how the big bad man will be tipped off as to where they are. Because... There is uh, so much. There's it doesn't so much. make sense here. Uh, so First of all, how would it be printed on the newspaper when it happened that day? It'd be that's printed just how on good the newspaper. Daily Bugle is. Saying it happened that day is... Over exaggerating it, <laughs> oh, no, under exaggerating it. Like, like a few hours ago, yeah, already on the papers. 
Uh, front page. Front punished. page. If yeah, he they called left. the police, the police should be there very so soon. Just to be, <laughs> very, just to be very, clear, very just don't don't skip over it too much because it, it's even more. There's not so only pieces. would it had to have been put onto the the newspaper, would have happened to got the news, print out the news with the page, made the actual newspaper, physically transported the newspaper yep. to wherever it was that this guy got it, or to the diner itself, over and in New then, Jersey. Yeah. yeah, over in New Jersey, an adjacent state, right? And then he would have had to read it and then and then see it and then notice them based off of incredibly well, and can we be clear, blurry you've, video f- feed. You're, you're slightly ahead of like the craziness because the event would have happened. Police would have arrived on the scene and then been like, okay, we need, to, we need to check the cameras. And however long that took, they finally got the footage. They looked through it. Crazy Spider-Man is killing everybody. Also, three girls ran away Feared with uh, to be fair four girls ran away that's what it would have looked like yeah. on the camera it wouldn't yeah. have looked like abduction yeah and then, they would have all escaped together they all went together yeah. and if any of those cops survived we have to assume they didn't because that makes more sense but if they had they would have been able to corroborate that no it was just the crazy spider-man this has nothing to do with anything else and again and, how would... um and then the police would have to cooperate with, we'll like, journalism to help get this, like, you know, yeah, get, get it out that this is definitely what we need to find and do. Here's all the material you need. Like, the verification to make sure they don't fuck any of this up, just none of that happens. It goes straight to the equivalent of the Daily Bugle everywhere, just get these out. And then what Rag said about the processing of all this information... That the papers go out, and apparently this all happened in about three oh, hours. Oh, and of course, making the choice as the editorial that the front page is that rather than the front page is a man was crawling on the walls and jumping or around. Six and cops around slain and by yeah. mysterious cops. superhero that would, spider? Yeah. You know for a fact that would be the front page. It wouldn't be the three girls that have been be abducted. It would be the, this fucking crazy mass vigilante person just killed a whole bunch of... Well, he's just a monster. I don't know Cops what the hell's the going subway, on. Yeah. Creature just dis- dis- described as crawling on walls and killing people in single punches. And then he would have had to see these three girls at that diner, clearly there of their own will. They mm-hmm. walk in, they order a bunch of food, they have a good time, they meet up with a bunch of boys, they're talking, they're doing all that gay shit, and then he's like, oh, look, maybe those girl those three girls maybe those are the ones from this state well there are images of their over... faces on the newspaper which means they managed to get that from the camera i guess that's how good it was oh uh, there's yeah the that, 2040 the yeah. security camera 2003 <laughs> public cctv you know to, to to jump ahead a bit he's called the cops cops never turn up to be fair for me there's a reason for that there is a reason, actually. Oh, wait. Was there? there actually, yeah, we'll get there. It's, don't it's worry. very briefly addressed, but it is oh actually Oh my god, addressed. I don't remember this reason. Um, yeah, it's, it'll, it'll, it's very exciting. But yeah, overall, no fucking way any of this could possibly have happened, and what a lame reason to get them back, when you could have just had it be that one of the three girls, like, thinks, oh, this is crazy, we've calmed down, I'm gonna call, you know, someone or something, even the police, fuck it, she could call the a police. A friend of mine... I'm gonna well, they're not yeah, allowed I'm to have friends rags, so if she calls, the, it would make sense for her to call the police. It's like we want to, we want to make uh, sure well, everything's cleared up. Well, hungry girl could call her friends, right? She had some nope, friends no she friends. was going to meet up with no on friends. this case. Oh, nope. okay, no friends. All right, so, well, fair enough. It would I'll achieve right the exact same thing with way less bullshit if you just have one of the girls. Probably Sydney Sweeney be like, "We should call the police. We should, we should put ourselves in." But to be fair, later in the film, they will be pose the question of whether or not they should put themselves into the police, and they will answer that. But we'll get there. Not right now, though. Anyway, uh, the, the guy calling the police to alert them uh, alerts the lady on the NSA tech, who then alerts bad guy, and says, you know, we, we, we got him, they're in a diner. And so he then uses a call sign of some kind that he's aware of thanks to the NSA computer to essentially sign in and pull any cops off that scenario. He says, I've been there, don't worry, these aren't the girls, 100% not the girls. So we're supposed to believe uh, that, like, with a verbal code, he's able to confirm with, you know, NYPD that he is a trusted, like, officer on the case. And I was just thinking to myself, like, wouldn't they actually have active officers that are using codes? As in, if he uses one that is valid, it would also relate to someone who is in the field, so to speak, on the beat, whatever. As in, figure, yeah. let's just say he's using that... the code for Peter Jones, and it's like, 
it's like and, and you know he signs in with that and then says yeah i'm, I'm there already and it's like but peter but you're not there you're going. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what i mean like i was just like what is, how is, how how is it work. why is that even something he can do i don't know i don't know how that makes any sense at all it, they just want to try and cover their asses because they knew the police should show up as well but he says, nah, mm -hmm. don't, it's fine. And that apparently works. And, and I'm sure that the guy who was there at the restaurant didn't think anything was weird when, you know, I guess he finished his meal and the police never showed up. I guess he left. <laughs> He's like, oh, they'll <laughs> sort it out. Left. My job's so done. My f and I know that uh, we're about to, like, get into it. My, my favorite thing about this, right, is now, sh like, she's on her way back at this point, right? We've already established that. Uh, we haven't gotten to what she's up to yet, because the last thing I was going to say is, if the guy called the police, then the amount of time it would have taken for NSA lady to pick that up, to relay the information to our, our bad guy, and give him all the information he needs to trick the LAPD to, sorry, not LAPD, NYPD to, um, then be able to sign in and call them off, in that amount of time... It wouldn't be NYPD, though. That cop probably would have turned up. I, I think so. I think the, the whoever was on yeah, set on the case probably would have arrived. It's not like she would have gotten the phone call instantly. That would have taken time. Wouldn't that happen instantly? I wouldn't no have thought way. so, no. And, and all those little pieces of getting to what they needed to do, I, I just don't see why the police wouldn't already have showed up. But whatever, that's, that's like the least of the stretches across all the stuff that's happening in this film. But yes, that would take us back to the Webster. He's, uh, she's arriving back at the forest, and it is seemingly nighttime, which... So, here, here's a detail that I love. Um, so to get from New York to New Jersey and back and forth and all this stuff, you need to go over various points, either the George Washington Bridge or the Lincoln Tunnel, one of these things, which are very heavily, uh, they pay a lot of attention to the cars that are going through there, especially in 2003, uh, you know, because there was a little incident a few years prior to that. Uh, she has no license plates on her car. She did. She took them off the taxi. She That's right. She takes them off and no one seems to care. Not the New, New York... Are we supposed not, to believe Shuni took them off when she parked and she put them back on when she was... No, because I, I, I'm pretty certain, and I, I mean, it was very brief when she gets into this, like, you're trying to outrun the, the truck that she's getting there, and which she passes twice, might I add. They show it in a scene, she passes it, then they, like, do some stuff, come back, and she passes it again. Oh, and, yeah. And, uh... Okay. Which is a great jump cut, that they show the same thing twice. Uh, but that was an unintentional showing it twice. I'm pretty certain I saw that she still had no license plates. Now, yeah, even if she no did, way. even if she did, the, there's no way she would have gotten this far through New York City without some way of it being ran. Uh, it, it, well, it, I mean, it's a stolen taxi it would have been reported. exactly. It's a stolen taxi would have been reported. All this stuff. So either way, she's screwed, and it's not affecting her in the slightest. Well, have you considered the web? <laughs> uh, the, the, <laughs> the web. Right. The web is important. The web is indeed important. <laughs> Right, uh, we've done so many crazy things, the craziness is about to get crazier. This is gonna be really hard it's to follow. It's almost like, just because, it's almost like another film starts, kind of, we're getting to that point, where it feels like we're entering another weird, goofy movie. It's gonna get difficult to, as a viewer, understand how stupid this is about to get, but I'll do my best, okay? So, the girls start dancing to Toxic by Britney Spears. It comes on, oh, here we go, Toxic, yay, woohoo. And then... Uh, Madam Web is like, ah, oh, they've, uh, they've gone, like, she's figuring out where they've gone, so she walks to the diner, and she arrives, right as they're dancing to Toxic, and she's like, what are you guys doing? I told you not to do that. You, you shouldn't be out here. You should be in the forest. You'd be safe there, you fools. And I think even Sydney Sweeney's like, I'm sorry. And it's just like, why have you guys even, what is, <laughs> like, what is the nature of this? Like, Stockholm Syndrome already, like... They don't seem to just feel like, this is insane, we should be going to the police, whatever. No, it's fine, she's just mad, it's like, okay. But then, Spider-Man, evil Spider-Man, he comes through the doorway. Like, oh boy, here we go. And they do the thing, it's in the trailer, he kills everybody. And it's quite, it's quite spooky, even with, uh, he's, he's toxifying one of them, and in the background, you, you hear all lyrics relating to toxic. It's very clever, very Wait, interesting, yeah. very cool. Um... But then it goes like, and, and it's stuff the Madam Web has now seen in the future, and so now she has a chance to change it. And so she decides, I'll go by car instead. I won't walk to the diner, I'll drive. The only thing is, she's prompted to do this oh. by hearing on the radio. Oh. That, Discord had a float. 
that hearing on the radio that Toxic has started. Okay, so... I don't know the runtime of Toxic as a song. I'm on it. <laughs> but like... It would need to Jay be Longbow knows pretty fucking long. Head. It's one of her favorite songs. No. No? Okay. <laughs> Do radios ever play songs like that ten times in a row? That could maybe explain it. Three, three minutes, maybe it was on the ju Maybe it was on the jukebox, because they're in a diner. It's on a radio, Rex. It has to be on a radio. Uh, three, minutes, uh, three, three minutes, 19 seconds. The, three minutes, 19 maybe seconds. Maybe the jukebox looks yeah. like a radio. So, she, no, hears, radio. she hears it on uh. her radio in the car, which prompts her to think, right, I gotta do a different plan. But you're already thinking to yourself, like, wait... So the forest area was less than possibly two minutes away from the diner? Even though they said it was half a mile. By which foot? Is what, that's like 700, 800 meters. Yeah, that doesn't make any fucking sense at all. Well, so she does drive just... there, and it takes her longer. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because she's right behind him, right? She shows up <laughs> so, after. She shows up, she after, shows up him. after Evil Spider Man when before walking, she showed up before. Now, maybe yeah. it is that there was a direct path through the forest, but half a mile is not a short distance by foot. That'll take you some amount of time, presumably longer than driving a car at like, you know, 50, 60 kilometers per hour. Yeah, she's Russian. So. Yep. And, you know, the forest was deliberately shown to us as difficult to move through. Rags brought this up as like, why would you want to go that way? This is not a footpath. You could easily get to one. You knew where it was. So this is very confusing. And the whole point is to facilitate the payoff of her running over evil Spider-Man. Um, yeah, because you would want to... It, the timing and everything that goes into it. And it's ugh, it's weird. It just happens. None of it makes any sense. I was I was sense. totally it, yeah. confused when uh, Toxic started while she was in the forest. I was like, they're dead. There's no uh, way you're getting to them. Yeah. They're dead. No but then the film is just like, no, she did. You're like, oh, okay, <laughs> it's for sure fine. Um, and yeah, he uh, he grabs her as they're trying to leave and poisons her. And you're a like, oh bit. no, Just that's awful. Yeah, he gives a gives a little poison. You're like, oh, that's terrible. We'll come back to that. Um, so she's got them all in the car and they're leaving. She's real mad. As she, as she would be, she's like, do you guys think of anyone but yourselves? You're so impulsive and entitled. You don't listen. Your futures were almost so different. You're lucky I saw them. <laughs> <laughs> <I> <laughs> so bad, and she delivers it. And then the so really badly. funny part. Cindy Sweeney puts on her glasses again. I'm like, oh, jeez. <laughs> I'll go back to being nerdy. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's unbelievable because, like, first of all, nobody knows what's happening. Remember when they asked her anything and she said, don't ask me questions? So she mm -hmm. was like, you should trust me and just stay in the forest indefinitely. They decided not to. Crazy, I know. Yeah, and can you imagine? As a result of that, she calls them impulsive, entitled, and they don't listen. By the oh, just to be clear, if anyone in chat, if this happens to you, don't let people take you into the middle of the forest. No. Don't Dude. let Especially people do group. that. It means they're going to kill you. Because the film is trying to develop the idea early on that, like, see how she's kind of like a mother to them? And you're like, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, that. It, it, uh, yeah, well, yeah, that, yeah it, it everybody's does. mother just randomly drops them off in the middle of the woods and says, stay Without here for three hours and I'll come back. <laughs> And yeah, they say sorry, and she says, yes, yes, you should be so sorry. All of you should be sorry. That's how, she, that's how she's delivering this shit, too. Yeah, but yeah, to be fair to her, it's a really bad line. Like, delivering that well is tough. I feel like she should, she could have done better, but it's um, a really bad line. Then we get some more funnies, because it's just nonstop. He, uh, he says to his, um, his, his tech lady, I don't know how they're doing this, the, the evil Spider-Man. Even though, if you remember, he said... That they're connected by the future, and he's already aware as a spider person that there's a potential of seeing into the future. That's apparently a listed ability of some of the spider people. I don't know. Like he's aware of everything that should give him some interesting thoughts, but he never has any. He just says like, "How are they doing this? How are they doing this?" And there are um, no interesting thoughts. And the lady, I guess, rad information she had, and she says, "Webb, daughter of Constance Webb, deceased." And he goes, "Wait." Did you say web? And she says, yes. And he goes, that's impossible. 
I laughed when he said that. I laughed when he like stopped, turned around, and said, "Wait, did you say web?" <laughs> I, I think I I laughed out loud. It's so funny. When he said that. Wait, did you say web? Did you say Madam oh. Web? <laughs> did you say Morbius? <laughs> the, the, the king himself. He's here. Oh. Oh, what a great line. Great line, boys. So, yeah, they have to come up with a plan now. And she's like, I don't control my visions, so we can't really use it to any particular advantage other than just when it happens. That's the best we got. And so they say, first thing in the morning, I'm taking you guys home. Your parents can deal with this, or the police. And then all three of them basically explain that all of their families have left them. Like, they're abandoned. In different versions, it doesn't really matter. It's just like, okay. And she's like, well then, the police. And so Science Girl says, my dad got deported. I don't need anyone to support me. But I can't be known to the world. Like, I can't exist in the world until I'm 18. Or they'll put me in the foster system. So just to be clear, to make that bad. just to be clear, the suggestion okay. is go to your family because someone's trying to murder you, and they all say we don't really have families. It's like, right. Police then, which should have been suggestion one. But they should have been one, there hours ago. One of the three girls says, I can't go to the police because they'll find out that I have no, like, carer slash parent or guardian, and thus I will be put into the foster system. Wait, now, so how young are they? Because if you're 18... 17, I think. I don't know. 16? I actually have no idea. I don't know if they give an age. They've got to be older than Yeah, that. I think she did say she had to last for two, two more years, I think. Well, in, in that so. case, the question is now... Because that's a really good point from her. So now we have to think, what would be worse? Foster system or death? Mm -hmm. Really think about it. <laughs> yeah, it, it's just... <laughs> it, uh, and yeah, it's, a, it's... You know, it's not a great situation, but... um. Compared get, you to get, death slash being on the run for the next, you know, few years of your life, <laughs> like, you know. Yeah. So it the really funny is thing is, like, come on, man, is that the film seems to think the, the yeah, okay, fair enough. Like, we'll go with death <laughs> like, instead of the false system. But the crazy part is, I don't care if she thinks that's reasonable. <laughs> I think it's insane that Madam Web thinks Madam that's Web reasonable. Goes with it. But yeah. what about the well, other that's, fucking that's, two? Well, that's her maternal okay. instincts. Yeah. That those are her natural maternal instincts really kicking into overdrive. Because the other two lose nothing by going to the police. No, they only gain. Nobody loses anything. Those two can go. You two stay on the run, I guess. In fact, wow, this is so helpful, because at up? least those two mm. could tell the police what happened, and then they can say, the other two, uh, you know, they're being chased still by him. That's crazy. We managed to escape. Make up whatever the fuck you want, but you can exonerate her and be protected. And they'd be invested in that. But for some reason, they shut the fuck up throughout the whole moment. They're just like, look, mm. this is all pretending that, like, that that would be the first thing that would be happening is like, all right, you're going into the foster care system rather than, we might be putting you in some kind of, like, I don't know, protection program. While we uh, deal with this, you know, evil guy that's trying to get you, that we have security camera footage of climbing on walls and shit. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely no, fucking I... nuts. And then they all, like, uh, pretty much like, Cassie, please help us. How? How is this random lady gonna help you? <laughs> like, compared to the police? And all they have to go on is, well, she knows when we get killed, and so we can avoid that. see the future occasionally. I, I, you just can't believe it. It's, it's, you know, it's throughout the whole film. They just need to go to the police every time. And the funny thing is, that's exactly where they end up going. Like by the time you hit the end of the, the film, film they decide to go to the police anyway. Yeah. Well, that's no fun if they just went there, right? Exactly. That wouldn't be. But then, but then Mahler, then we couldn't have a movie. Yeah, that's oh, probably what me. the screenwriters would say. They might <laughs> yeah. actually say something yep. like that. Not even joking. Yeah, that's probably what they would say. Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not kidding. Like yeah. that's yeah, the kind of that... thing I could believe them saying. You don't um, understand story. It's not meant to be realistic. It's not a, a science lesson. Film is not science. Even though there's a science lady. Fucking. In it. Gosh. <laughs> we love uh... our science ladies. Um. So, Madam TM uses web to access mainframe with her mind web and uses protocol Madam in order to web into the main dyna frame of the webverse and she speaks directly to spider-man evil spider-man 
I it's, don't understand. When you talk like what? this, it's hard to remember which of those is actually in the movie and which is the <laughs> meme parts that you're yeah. I got, I got no way of explaining this one. I was so fucking confused. She just starts talking to him. They talk to each other through the web. I don't like, what does that even how mean? They do <laughs> yeah, just I don't a, even yeah, know how they Madame do it. Webb how do returns it? to the diner that night, and then it's like she steps into an alternate dimension where bad guy is just there talking with her and they have like an interaction where like some information is exchanged about some some plot thing or about spiders in peru like or something i don't know that's just like a it just happens because it's just a thing that happens she was in the womb of a woman who was bitten by a spider and that he was bitten by a spider they can speak through the web verse <laughs> what? Like, I don't <laughs> know. I, 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 I don't. I, I don't I have know. No idea why it works that way. Yeah, I actually <laughs> don't know what's happening. They keep flashing back and forth between his original form yeah. and his his oh, yeah. suit. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. is something For some that reason, we have it's... we have spoken about to some extent, but the actual like filmmaking is insanely Horrible. bad. Yeah. I don't know what they were thinking with the choices that they made by way of editing and cinematography. I, I don't get it. The, the whole scene is cringe-tastic. It is constantly flickering yeah. and fleeming all over the and place. And it honestly seems like the majority of what he said in that scene was ADR. Because, like, yeah. very little of what he says actually syncs up with, like, his mouth. I don't yeah, get it. Well, um, much. Most so, of it is, yeah. And proof of, possibly proof, to be honest with you, because the whole film doesn't make any sense anyway. Proof of reshoots. You know, she's been hit with that poison. They even reference it later. They're like, is your hand okay? And then she's like, yeah. Yeah, it's fine. And then in this little, the web dream, web frame, she's talking to him and he says, nobody survives poison entering their system. You won't be so lucky next time. <laughs> like wait what <laughs> and like that's it he poisoned her but it didn't do anything that's it i guess it was just a, it turns out it was just a little bit i just actually a bit. don't just a little bit of poison like i don't that's know what what, say, that's, that's if what you're gonna says. if there was originally a payoff for that and they took it out but they didn't take out the part where he poisoned her and so they had to put an adr where you know he says uh you got lucky why not just remove the part where he poisoned her because then we can't have the payoff of why she wants to teach them CPR? Oh my god, I think you might thing, be right. I think that's the thing that gets her Oh my in god, hotel that room might be right cuz yes, yeah. Cuz cuz yeah, because his his warning of the poison, she says like, "Oh yeah, the poison will stop your heart, so we got to make sure everyone knows how to do the CPR, which gives them the huge payoff at yeah, the end." Also, so the whole reason she gets to, poisoned and it has no effect public, is to uh, set up the final payoff. Public service announcement to everyone in the chat. Um, CPR isn't an antidote to having we'll poison. Get, in your heart. I was going to bring yeah, that up, but we'll get it. I just can't, I can't believe how <laughs> right you are. Clear. I should have thought of this because, like, yeah, get... all the stupid, goofy lines that come out of nowhere all set up plot things, like, every time, the worst lines. If you get envenomed to where your heart literally stops beating because the venom is inside of your heart, you can't. You can. <laughs> you can't CPR the poison away. Just to be clear. Now, also, not to every one of you should be CPR certified in no Heimlich maneuver. All of you need to do that. However, these things do have their limits. And on that very oh. important note, I'm afraid we're gonna have to say goodbye to uh Dark Hour. It has been okay. nearly five hours of discussing possibly the greatest kino of the year. I think we can we definitely can the best film of the year. I, I wish I could stay longer. This has been a lot of fun. No problem. I want to call We've it for the decade. Yeah. Glad to have you. Uh, why don't you tell chat what you get up to and where you can be found? Uh, well, my channel is in the uh, description, so that's the best way to, way to find me. Uh, I also do a uh, I do have a combo show with uh, my buddy, the Uninspired Reviewer, which tends to happen around the same time as this. So please, you know, don't please watch this show first. But if you want to come check us out, you can. <laughs> You can also find us on our repost channel, which is uh, uh, Uninspired Hour. So it's the Uninspired Hour or so, two hoes. Um, and uh, yeah, the next thing, I'm actually going to be dropping a uh, review for this tomorrow. It's pretty much done. I would It would have been out already today if I wasn't, you know, here. But uh, yeah, that's basically what you can see from me next. And I hope I, hope I was uh, entertaining enough to come back one day.
Oh, I'm sure you will. At the very least, you'll be brought back for the anniversary where we just spam everybody so that we can have plenty of fun talking about how great the year was. Because it always oh, is. This has been a wonderful addition to 2024 already, hasn't it? I mean, we already mm. have our movie of the decade right here. I'll call it say, early. Yeah. Uh, I'll yeah. call it early. I think it's safe bet. I think that everyone should call it early with this one. You're missing out if you haven't seen the glory of Madam Web. But thank you so much for joining us to help explain to the world why it's so incredible. Um, yes, I, I, I am it. glad that my New Jersey expertise was able to come in handy. <laughs> you never know when it'll <laughs> pop up. Um, but yeah, yeah well, thank you so much, sir, and I suppose we'll you. see you next time, whenever that may be. Yeah, yep. See you then. Bye! See you bye later, bye-bye. Alrighty. See you, dude. It's up to us for now to kill the rest of the- I mean, to celebrate the rest of the movie. I've been told to wait! I've been told- <laughs> wait. I, I've been told- tell Mahler to wait. Mahler, wait! Oh, oh god. Wait. Oh, Jesus. What's um, happening? I, I actually don't know. I was- wait. someone just- so- it was, uh, I've been told to tell you to wait. Baywin told me to tell you to wait. Oh, did they mean for Dark Hour to wait? Um. Oh, then they they yeah they specifically said you. Okay. Tell Mahler to wait. I'm so, here. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not either. We still have so. We have the best part of the. Movie I was gonna say we haven't even hit the third act. Come. This is gonna be oh, great. Yeah. This is basically the end of the second act. I guess we're about to start the. Mm -hmm. We still got a bit the, of cringe left. Oh yeah, there's still some. Oh, we've got, we've got a lot more cringe to go. We're not even close. I think it ends on the biggest cringe of all. So that's something to look forward. Oh yeah, to. no, it does build up. They they try to give you an immunity, much like in the same way that if you were poisoned, you could be provided immunity by uh, CPR. But like, it, it, this just sort of takes you, you know. Oh, we haven't even gotten to. Okay, Baywin sent me something. We haven't gotten to that yet, but I will bring it up when we get there. This is... Oh, <laughs> okay. I gotcha. All right. All Don't right. worry. We're not quite there. We're getting there. Right, That's I a third I'm not going to... Baywin, I'm not going to click on your messages until we get there. You sent it to Mahler. I don't want to spoil myself. I... <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, I... I'm not spoiling myself. Not so, for Madam Web. Yes, he speaks to her directly in the web frame and mentions the, the poison thing, thing, which is so fucking funny to me in retrospect, because you're right, it is to set up the final payoff, which... Uh, that was so pathetic of them. They couldn't figure out anything else. They just went with that. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> like, that's fine. Because it's totally unnecessary. It's not even a good payoff. Um, so, he says, uh, the girls are going to kill me. And she's like, what? No, they won't. And why do you get to decide that they die? And he says, because I have the power. You think you can beat me with your mind? Don't make the same mistake as your mother. Tell me where they are. <laughs> I, I, I was like, what? <laughs> when now did, this when is did, writing. When so, did the pregnant spider bitch try to beat you with your, her mind? <laughs> Wait, I don't know. What? Don't make what? that mistake. Like, what? <laughs> and I don't, like, what the fuck do you do with that as information? Like, besides, you know, like, like how is it fair that you're just going to kill them? And he's like, because I have power. And also, isn't there, like, a discussion to be had here about, like, if I had a premonition of three people murdering me in the future, there, maybe there's why. something to, well, be, yeah, maybe there's something to be I said guess, about, like, well, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill them before they murder me. I'll admit, it would have been fucking hilarious if he had walked up to them and said, why are you trying to kill me? <laughs> They'd be like, what? <laughs> isn't he, isn't he curious? Like, no. what? Like, doesn't he want to know? If I got premonitions about three random ladies dressed as spider superheroes pushing me out of a window, there would be that part of me that's like, man, did what? Did I did, did I do something to deserve that? Do they hate me? Why do they want to kill me so much? What's going on? There's got to be some context here I need to understand. So. But even then, like, in that sense... Well, I mean, like, this is the villain talking to the hero. Trying... This this stuff is always like easy, super interesting stuff, and and the the hard part is causing these things to happen. How do we get the hero and the villain to be able to talk to each other without ending their conflict? You know, and like, oh well, yeah. the, the 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 web verse, of course. You're like, yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. So they connect, and then all they did with it was this, where he's just like, "Don't make the same mistake as your mom. Try to beat me with your mind powers." <laughs> What? <laughs> That's what his mom tried to do. That's right. That's true. He did. It happened. We when were all she there. said, please don't kill answer. me, that was her attempt at changing his that mind was, with her mind She's powers. trying to use his guilt as a weapon against him. 
Francisco to Anconia would not approve. Would not approve. So, in the morning, she explains to the girls, I was poisoned, but I got away, like, I didn't get killed by it because he didn't hang on long enough. He's like, yeah, they, they didn't, the, the, of the poison yeah, that like was I, in I, here, it wasn't enough poison to poison her, it was obviously just some yeah, poison. Like, uh, Alright. Um, and so, so she teaches okay. them to do CPR, as we kind of mentioned, because obviously if the poison did get into her enough to cause cardiac arrest, she would need them to, uh, to perform CPR to keep her, keep her going, to keep, uh, compressions going. Yeah. I mean, I would have thought that poison entering your blood so that keep pumping your heart, that would just cycle the poison around anyway, and so it would be able to do what it does, which is kill you. There's a lot of confusing things Well, it has to, to be this. at a certain parts per, you know, parts per blood unit or whatever. Like a little bit. It, you know what they say, poison's in the dose, so. There you go. There you and, go. Uh, yeah, so she if teaches it little them, bit gets on your hand, you know. And... And, she, and they say, it's, it's funny, Beowulf's like, you gotta show, it's like, I can't, it's a spoiler for one of the fucking cringiest things in this whole movie. We can't do that yet. <laughs> we gotta yeah, get there. That's not allowed. We gotta earn hey, it. I'm, even I'm excited. Fine. I'm so excited. So, well, the, you know, I, I mean, what it references from the movie, I'm, I'm looking forward to chat, finding out about it if they don't know about it, which some of them won't. <laughs> so, yeah, they say, you're a good teacher. Uh, just and it's it's just cringy because they keep trying to push the whole like oh see she's so nurturing this is this is such a great connection these people have got like oh you know well, what I hope they end up together by the end of the movie maybe they will thing, what I was thinking web <coughs> at this point and maybe maybe it's time we have this discussion now oh my god because this was the part of the movie where I was thinking wow they have done fuck all with the fact that she is a paramedic yeah. I thought you were going to say there they've done fuck all with the characters. I was, like, was going to say yes. Well, yeah, I, there is that. Yeah, the characters are just basically nothing. There's a reason we call them hungry, docile, and science. Because that's, that's mm -hmm. it. Even Madam Web is... We don't, we don't really know anything about her. And what little we do know is pretty, pretty strongly negative. She's kind yeah. of a bitch. She's kind of an, an and, asshole. Yeah, she's stupid and an asshole. But they don't do anything with the fact... Th this kind of gets into... Um, kind of echo right there are some parallels between this and echo and we'll get some later in particular but like they don't do anything with echoes you know really being like you know choctaw lineage it, it's just mm. a little bit of a little bit of flavor sprinkled here and there but they never do anything with it and here the fact that she is a paramedic really never plays into the story at all that's not used for uh, anything she told them CBR there you go. All right. They'll well, get racks ruined. The whole movie yeah, is fucking keno. It's true. It's very true. Um, she doesn't. She doesn't ever mm. use anything that she's learned about people. She doesn't learn anything about you know how she's seen the good and bad sides of people. How even though she's, you know, in, in her business, you know, she she tries to see the good in people because she wants to save people's lives. Or we don't even know why is she why is she a paramedic? I don't know why. Why it just seems like that's just a that's not a job that you just stumble into you know well, it's not like oh core, well you know i'm a receptionist or anything or this is something someone said by the way somewhere i don't i haven't seen it but someone said this they'll say at the core she's always wanted to help people and that's something she got from her mother who was so caring that she even almost gave her life just trying to find a way to get her daughter into this world and you know what that kind of thing is is passed on to her and the the efforts she shows to take care of these these three teenagers shows that no matter what's happening to her in her life, that she'll do everything she can to help other people. And you know what? She may be a bit isolated. She may be a bit antisocial. But ultimately, she's always there, and she will always put her life on the line for you. That's you. All that is made up. <laughs> yeah. That's all that is made. It's literally. An you didn't it's get that from the movie. <laughs> you made that up. Well, yeah, because she doesn't come across as maternal. No. Or caring. No. Or like none of that exists. It it's all it just doesn't exist. It's not in the movie. You get the opposite. They seem to be with almost a mechanical precision trying to tell you that she's cold, doesn't like being around people, is antisocial, is just a jerk and an asshole. Um, she makes people upset. She's just it's it's kind of gotten swallowed up in the rest of all the terrible things about the movie and all the memes with the actress and everything. But like Catherine Webb is a really shitty person. Mm -hmm. Catherine Webb. Catherine, yeah. It was Cassie. Cassie. Cassie <laughs> Cassandra <laughs> Webb yeah. is is just she sucks. He's kind of like Echo. Like I said, the parallels. Oh yeah. You have Echo no reason too. to like root for her. 
and the only reason the three girls kind of get that is because, well, like, I, there's not much to you, and none of you are really likable or interesting. But like, I don't want you to die. Yeah, they exist you know? mainly. Yeah, you get that. You get that. You know, starter level of basic human empathy. You know, and because you haven't done anything to erode that. You know, you're not terrible people. You just you're just different flavors of dumb or naive or annoying, or whatever. Um, so she mentions that her mother knew the guy who's trying to kill him, and uh, they say, "Wait, so this is because of you?" And she says, "Look, all I know is that my mother was researching spiders, and then it like that's that." And then she says, "She wrote yeah. a book with crazy stuff in it. I have to go figure out what it is." And it's like, "Hey, hey, you cut it out, you, <laughs> you bastard! You cut you the took fucking it line." From us. <laughs> that's why I watched the movie, and you removed it. It's, uh, this isn't the first time this happened. It was probably not far from the first time. But do you remember they did this with Rogue One when Rogue One's trailer had the uh, "You guys are the rebellion." Well, I rebel, or something like that. And everyone made fun of it, and then it oh, wasn't in the movie. That. It was, uh, <laughs> it was fucking hilarious because it was like, "Hey, you stole the meme. What the fuck?" And they've done that it. Sounds in this like movie. something that would be in a Zack Snyder movie. Oh, Are yeah. you the rebellion? Because I rebel. It's um, it's pretty cringe. And yes, it was it was cringy here, but I think it's cringier to remove it of you creators, editor out there who saw the memes and was like, "Oh, we better remove that one bad thing from the movie <laughs> before we." Release he took it. out something that would have literally given people joy, which yeah. is what they desperately need in the movie. The memes, the meme line, like we tell the Amazon this about that thing, it would have made the movie better. Yeah, because it would have made me laugh and smile and enjoy myself. I would have been like, I know that. I would have been like Leonardo DiCaprio pointing. I'd be like, yeah. I know that. Oh. That's the thing. This yes. was the last Bandwin meme. We'd all be like, ha, 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 all of us on mm -hmm. the couch. I was there yes. for Madam Webb when I saw the trailer line. Um, so we cut to her saying, I'll be gone a week. I don't want to leave them, but he's out there looking for them, and they're relying on me, and I don't know who else I can use to protect them. She's speaking to Uncle Ben, and it's done so quickly. We just slam cut to her dropping them off, and she's popping to the Amazon unbelievable and the delivery is so weak she doesn't give a shit nobody's giving a shit it's just yeah they, they they stay with you bye okay i think they would have had them go with her if they thought anyone could possibly have believed that but no one could have like also all four of them going to the amazon also let's 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 also consider right Madam Web knows that there's a crazy psychopath who kills and poisons people who's trying to destroy these three girls. Hey, go hang out with Ben and his and his pregnant girlfriend. Well, that would be his sister. Oh, yeah, sister. Yeah, whatever they are. Go hang out with them. You stay here with these two. So you're saying that Madam Web, the Madam herself, is trying to kill Uncle Ben indirectly? I'm just... It would it would mi it would fit within her character to be a terrible <laughs> to be a shitty person, but I think it's a little. Uh, I'm just saying, like it seems really well, so, crazy to uh, do that. The um the nature of like all of this crazy shit in terms of deciding what char characters want to do, right? Like we've highlighted that all four of them have to be against going to the police, but for every character you involve in this insane plotline, that adds another person who's just insanely retarded. She explains this to him, and he says. Oh, uh, I'm staring. I'm staying with Mary for a few weeks. Uh, he won't find them there. I can't pretend to understand what's happening here. Just be careful. So he's just casually agreed to house three women indefinitely in his sister's house. And if he know, do we know if he knows that his life is being put at peril from this? We don't know if she told him that, but the fact that he said he won't find them there makes me think that she must have highlighted the danger, in which case he must have said something like, oh, we have a thing for that. When someone's trying to kill you actively, there's people you can go to as part of our society. There's a group yeah, of them. That we have the police and witness protection. Those, and those we have, ones, like, yeah. No, don't hang out with me at my house no. with my pregnant whatever this no. woman is to me. You can't Bad. be. You can't be here. This is no. They'll. They might kill us by proxy, and that's not cool. So I can't accept this risk. Yeah. So you might assume the dialogue from him would be, "You want me to take three girls I don't know and house them in a in a house that's not even mine because someone's trying to find and kill them, putting me and my sister-in-law and her unborn baby in serious danger 
when it would make sense, even irrelevant of those details, to go to the police? She'd be like, yes. And then he says, because he's useless. Are these the three girls useless. who were kidnapped? Sure. Yes. Yes, and he would probably know that, because apparently the fucking random dude in the diner did. Front, it's front page news. But that's how much he trusts her. Remember, they're partners. Remember, remember yep. all that explanation we had hours ago about how amazing their history is and how much... There you go, that's the payoff, I guess. That he'll just do anything she says. <sighs> it's, right. uh, it's hard to believe, but yeah. There you go. It's and she says, fucking um, cringe. She says, I'll be back as soon as I can. Thanks, Ben. And then as she's leaving, she says, you know, you, you didn't ask for any of this. And then he says, it's okay, neither did you. I don't, I don't even know what's going on. Okay. Friends! <laughs> I don't know like, okay. Uh, just terrible. So yeah, she's just going to go visit uh, the Amazon. Why not? And they'll stay and chill with Uncle Ben. It's going to be great. Um, so she meets up. This is done so fucking fast. It's absolutely insane. She meets up with that Spider-Man guy from the beginning. The, the, the shaman man. Spider shaman. And, uh, oh, yeah. Just it, She just... She, she goes... She, yep. She goes to Peru. Yep. She flies, she gets on a little bit plane, flies to Peru. Just meets up there. with him. There he is. Yeah, and he says, ah, oh, you've come back. You're looking for answers. I promised your mother I would be here. She came here hoping to extract healing properties from the spiders. She thought she was being protected. I was like, what Stop the, it. what the Stop fuck? <laughs> Stop just quoting the movie. It's What? <laughs> Nobody speaks like, like people. <laughs> just to be clear, she goes to Peru walks into the forest and like bumps into the guy yeah it's the amazon around the amazon but yeah it's he knows, the amazon around I, there's like uncontacted tribes in the amazon we haven't even like found yet and then she just walks into the amazon and, he and within knows, a minute remember, she just meets the guy he uses the web frame he knows he knows what's going on the webverse he's connected as there, well yeah spider skype so he's like, yeah, just, oh, you're looking for ads as well. I promised your mom I would be here, which is funny because the mom didn't say anything. He just said, yep, I'll be here when she comes back. Just it's like, if It feels like a guy who's just like, I am important to your lives there. because I said so. <laughs> you're like, okay. That's gotta, what, what's up with this guy? He just waited there for 30 years for her to wander back? What was yep. he doing? Where's Not helping. Friends? What is he doing much. with his life? Well, I thought it was really weird that he said she thought she was being protected. It's like, are you... Are you, are you implying that you could have protected her, but didn't? Because that's kind and of what just happened. Chose to leave her to her own devices. So that's what we saw. <laughs> they didn't really put much effort into helping her out. Um, but yeah, what he's referring to, sorry, because because I, I didn't want to imply like that that is what he's referring. He's not. He's talking about Ezekiel. He's like that. She thought she was being protected by a security guard, and uh, that's what he's trying to prompt. I just thought it was funny because it applies to him and his people too. But anyway, uh, Madam says. Ezekiel Sims, and then, and then he says, yeah, his motives were selfish. Uh, he used your mum to find out about us, to find us, because he stole the spider. He was cursed, and he's been trying to run from his destiny ever since. How does he know all of this? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? Because <laughs> it's, look, it, it's magic. It's just, it's just magic. It's magic. It's insane nonsense. He's decided when and where he can interact is based on what? Knowing all of every detail of the future and just however he sees it, he makes it happen that way? Is that the deal? Sure. Why does he speak English? We'll never know. But yes, he, he says... Because so that we can understand him. He knows that evil Spider-Man is running from his destiny. That's something that he just casually says. It's like when he saw He's him run from off. His destiny. It, the men were gonna be like, "Let's stop the guy with the gun who just shot the pregnant lady." He goes, "No, no, 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 no." no. He has to get killed. Oh, he has I to run. Say, I, his... I can't even say. I can't even say. It's his destiny is. to run from his destiny. So don't stop him. Otherwise, he won't be able to run from his destiny. What about all the people he's going to kill? Oh, that's their destiny, that's their destiny for you. It was their destiny. It was the destiny, destiny of those cops to just get killed in the subway. Yep. And imagine he had explained it further. It's he said, like, shame. yeah, he's cursed now. Cursed to see visions of the girls you're protecting killing him over and over again. You might even say that's torment on a level that would make him want to kill them. <laughs> I just, you know, like, <laughs> who decided this? The spider gods? They they cursed him? Like, wh why? The spider gods! <laughs> I don't understand what's happening. 
Praise the spider god! And before you can even understand this, he's like, right, off to the, the magic spider cave. That's where we gotta go now. And you're just like, oh. And then she's like, this is where my mum died. And he says, yes, where you were born. And then she says, I don't understand why she would risk my life to come here. He says, to see the future clearly, you have to heal the wounds of your past. <laughs> I hate it. But uh, the thing is, the film lampshades. No, this is, this is great. She's this is like, really good. Wow, that sounds like every therapy session I've ever appointed. It's like, yeah, it is dumb as fuck. Um, and he says, you have to go back to your beginning and keep going past that. There are powers you don't even know you're capable of. Your thread didn't start when you were born. Do you trust me? This guy. What do you do with that? <laughs> um, I don't know you. I don't know. I don't even know what you're saying. Like you have to go further back than your past. What? <laughs> what do you mean? And she says, uh, "I don't. I'm not really sure if I can trust you at this point. Do I even have a choice?" And he just pushes her astral ghost form into the pool in the magic spider cave. Uh, okay, yeah, I guess that's something. What if she said do. no? I can't explain that further. I don't even know how it's possible. He like, how could he do that? I don't know. He's a spider I told guru. You, Pringy, it's it's magic. Oh, I guess it is. This is like this is just magic. This it's isn't magic. like getting bit by spiders. You know. This isn't like venom. This isn't radioactive blood. But no, this shit's just magic. This is magic. It is. So you remember that line from really far back no. in the film, right at the beginning, where her mum was working and she says, oh, she's trying to keep me from working. It's talking about being a prego and the baby maybe mm -hmm. kicking or having a pain or whatever. Now, any normal human being would see someone say that and be like, oh, look at you being silly. Like, oh, like the baby's trying to stop you from working. <laughs> so Madam Webb sees this because she's now in the past. She sees her mum say that and goes, Why did you hate me so much? <laughs> I thought it's this really was weird. Hilarious. Like, so, and she delivers it like almost like in Scary Movie, if you've seen it. The kind of, Are you trying to make this funny? I don't understand. And why do you misunderstand so much about your mum when you've been told already by the guy that she came here looking for healing? Like, do you not care? She didn't even ask about that, by the way. She's just, whatever. But she heard that line and she was like, you hate me. Then she sees the mum get shot. And she... Like, th this is on Dakota Johnson, I think, at this point, because her performance was fucking awful. She's watching her mum get killed and she's like, oh. Oh, she's like holding damn. her mouth? Yeah. Like, oh, like, oh, oh, no. Uh, if I cover my mouth, it's less of my face that has to act. Oh, uh, oh, my God. And then this is where the film, like, you've already seen from everything we've described or heard uh, that the film doesn't trust the audience member to understand anything that's happening. So the further along you get, the more explicit you often will get with, like, character journeys and themes and stuff. So you can already guess that this is about to get real explicit. She sees the mum meeting with a doctor. The doctor says, your test re results have come back, you know, no cure. And the mum says, single target nucleotide intervention. That's something that I need that I could possibly get with the weird research that's been done in a distant part of, like, the world. And, uh, Madam Web's watching this happen, she's like, Oh my god, you- you went there... for me. You did it- you did it for me. <laughs> you reached then, the spiders in the Amazon for me, and she's, like, holding me. her throat and her face and her mouth. And oh then, uh, <gasps> yeah, yeah, she's having all this- and, and, and the mum says, I'm unwilling to accept a diagnosis of helplessness, and I'm not gonna teach my daughter to do that either. What? <laughs> By the way, this was- this was the part of movie- I- this is where I started to really laugh. Yeah, it's this really funny. This stuff was hilarious. This stuff was... oh. Boy. And uh, the music is fucking swelling. It's like, -da 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 -da, like realization, happy, blah, blah, blah. It's meant to be like the epic sort of hero realizes their true potential sort of music, but it's all a meme. And this is this... mega memes. Oh, ultra memes. This is, this is what Dakota Johnson then says. She says this. This is all the actual dialogue. She says, You did it. You did it. I never knew I was sick. The spider venom, it did have healing properties. I'm so sorry I spent so long being mad at you. 
<laughs> Someone wrote that. Like, <laughs> Stop it, please! I can't take it. <laughs> uh, this random film talk says in the chat, "I diagnose you with helplessness." <laughs> I, like, I really? don't know what they were thinking. I really, I do not no, understand oh, what they were thinking. Bring it. They, they didn't give a fuck. This guy, you, this guy, he didn't give a fuck. He's like, I'm just gonna write this, whatever, get my paycheck. Doesn't. I'll get another big, massive, multi gajillion dollar project. Doesn't matter. Fuck it. Whatever. I know. I clearly know somebody. I've got dirt on somebody in the industry. It like they. It's like the thing at the diner when they go into the Spider Verse and talk to each other. Mm -hmm. It's just like they just don't care. They just gave up and are like, "Well, I'll just write this to happen." Gave up. Doesn't matter. <sighs> uh, it actually doesn't matter. Just whatever. Just yeah. This the, happens now. I reeling from that dialogue. What you may not realize at the time is she hugs her mum at that point. And the mum responds. She's like happy and hugs her back. I can't yeah, even begin to the understand past, what interact. the fuck is happening. And then she's underwater. Then she's like in the water and surrounded by a bunch of webs. She traveled yeah, she's like through the webverse back in time and interacted with her mother. I don't know. While she was pregnant with her. Yeah. Uh, what? <laughs> And the film is like, isn't this wonderful? And you're just sitting there like, what is happening? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> uh... I don't know, man. Oh, it's amazing. And by the way, I... this isn't the super funny stuff, guys. We're not even there yet. No, this is like, this is hilarious. But what we have coming. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Like I said, the third, like the last third of this movie fucking saves it. It turns this movie into something magical. So, recovering from all of that, she can then speak to the spider guru again. She says, I thought my We're mom didn't recovering. care about me. You know, she always thought it, right? Like, that was the assumption. My mom didn't like me. And he says, well, sometimes you have to sacrifice yourself for the ones you love. Wow. Wow. That's inspiring, honestly. And you yeah, know it what? really is. It makes you think, does that this apply movie... to anyone else in the film? Maybe even her? I don't know. Wow. This movie makes me want to sacrifice myself. Yeah. <laughs> so deep. Uh, so she says, how, how was I even there? How did I do that? How did you do that? And then he says, no, you did that. You're starting to see what you're capable of. You came here to learn the truth of your past, and now you will need to embrace your future. Did I say uh, or mention how much I hate his dialogue? <laughs> he doesn't speak to it like a person ever. But none of them do, but There's he's different. Problem. It's particularly, I am talking to the audience. Yeah, um, and she says in response to that, by the way, the stupid, like, floaty language, uh, seeing into the future doesn't help me fight Ezekiel, I gotta stop him before he kills the girls. I can't leap, I can't crawl on walls, I can't do death poison. And his response to this is, you didn't get you the gift gun. of greater physical strength, or the ability to release poison, but seeing into the future is only the beginning. Your mind has infinite potential if you use the web to be in more place than one to be in more than one place at one time. You can uh, you can do, you can save time. You can you're the only one that can change the future. And uh, and 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 I pause because he then says yes. something else. A last uh -huh. line to to complete yeah. the point he's making here. He says, "Oh yeah, when you take on the responsibility, great power will come." That is, um, there it is. There that it is, is like boys. one of those you should be disqualified from writing kind of like this fucker, <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> this fucker, every single line that comes out of his mouth is a trailer line, but that one is particularly cringe. Hey guys, get it? We're Spider Man, kind of. You like Spider Man, <laughs> he said the Dog. line, kind of. Did you see our old kabuki outfits? How they kind of looked like the Spider-Man outfit because we were red and then we had the web and the, 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 the. <laughs> oh. Remember, remember, just to remember, the writer, Dracula Untold, The Last Witch oh. Hunter, Gods of Egypt. The writers, I think you mean. It's Morbius. a pair. They're working together. Oh, Jesus. Delivering oh, yeah, some um, great stories. It's S... So it's S.J. Clarkson? That's the director. Okay, who... Oh. <laughs> great. <laughs> <laughs> great web! That was great! <laughs> that's, a great that's a great cut! 
Kyle Ben, he's back. Kyle Ben is back, Kyle everybody. Is he, looks, getting old. he looks so confused and dry. This is season one meme coming back. <laughs> Kyle Ben. One might have assumed they just forgot what the line was, but no, they're trying to be like, we can do our own cool thing. And it's like, shut up. Stop. Sit down. Good oh lord. Great web comes great. Yeah, debris uh, or some shit. <laughs> did they write Morbius too? Yeah, they were Morbius. God damn. Dracula Untold, yeah. The Last Witch Hunter, Gods of Egypt, Power Ranger credits, Morbius, Matt. How do you keep I don't Yeah. Yeah. I don't understand. I don't, how it, does it happen? Honestly. How does we're, it happen? We're hoping there's a pop Is of this some a kind money happening with this because it's insane at this point. Got off way too long. <laughs> like I said before, if they wrote terrible films that made money, that would be one thing. But yeah. like their entire career has been writing things that have failed commercially and critically. I don't mm -hmm. understand. I don't get it. How do you write <sighs> Morbius and they're like, let's bring you back from Adam Web? We gotta write these these writers, man. They they just surely that film's failure had nothing to do with the writing. We gotta bring uh. these guys back. This is fucking gold. <laughs> yeah, Michael Bay films, they made a profit for the most part. They made money. The That's Resident Evil films, why. those made a profit. Yeah, but now we're in a weird era where you can write something or direct something that fucking failed. <laughs> and then it's like, here you go, Avengers movie. Maybe they just tell everybody, it's like, oh, it wasn't the writing, of course, it was all these unforeseen circumstances. So It yeah. wasn't the storytelling. And now, it was a, a story bad trailer. It was, yeah, uh, and now uh, I'm even uh, better to hire because now I have the experience of knowing what doesn't work. More so than that. And also, I'm really cheap. <laughs> <laughs> By the yeah. way, Rotten Tomatoes has Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny at 88% audience score. Don't believe it. Mm. Yeah, which Don't is like, I that know one. that you guys are liars. I know that you Millie. lie. <laughs> I know that these are filthy lies that you're telling. Mm -hmm. Kingdom of the Crystal Skull has it at 53%. Which like, I can, yeah, so I can believe accurate, that one. I can believe that accurate. one. Don't. Yeah, it's just, I know that this site lies now. That's the thing. It's kind of, like, kind of sucks that we just sort of. Oh, that, that they just have no integrity and they well, just wasn't lie. that what happened? Like Captain Marvel yeah, changed caught. the way that they uh that they did the system. It yeah, it literally was Captain Marvel. Yeah, Captain Marvel was the one where they finally like had the big breakdown and bowed to the you know the overlords and deleted a shit ton of reviews, like that many many thousands of reviews. Something I was thinking about. I was going to bring it up either earlier or just now, and I feel like now is better because the guy has clearly expressed that he basically knows everything that's going on and how it works and why. And I was thinking, if he knows that the power to be able to be in multiple places, to see the future, to affect it so that you're saving people all the time, is all because of the fact that you were in the womb while your mother was bitten by one of the spiders they have, why have they never done this before? Because I imagine Madam Web. Alternatively, how did I know that any of this is possible if they've never, if it's never happened yeah, before? Yeah. So they don't replicate it, but they did almost cause it to happen. And I was just thinking to myself, like, is the answer to this every time? It's just they just go and buy what they know happens and they make it happen. Seems like that's what we're meant to conclude, which is just. What a lazy approach to writing. Did well, you, you remember, like, well, um, it was all meant to be that way? Remember Ragnarok? That's what Angra Boda is all about. She's got a specific list of things she's got to do to help people in certain places and provide stuff, and then she says, like, helping Atreus was the last thing. That's it. And so now she's just like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. And the part of the point of that game is like, well, fuck fate. You, you make your choice. You make, you make your nature. Exactly. Like, Figure out what you want to do. Someone just doing everything you know because the great web tells you to. It's like, okay. Well, it's just, wow. I, I guess you're just deferring all of your uh, free will to this vague, uh, like, notion of, I guess, fatalism in a sense that everything is going to happen the way that it's, that it's supposed to. Mm-hmm. But it just makes it yeah. easier from a writing perspective because any bullshit you can just appeal to, well, yeah, that's the, the yep, web. Tight. That's it's the fate. webs of fate. Yep. That's, that's boring. It. The web will do Super that. Super mega Well, the boring. thing is, the only reason I'm saying that that's probably it is because anything else would be insane. Like, the amount of insane pieces of knowledge that everyone oh, well, has. I mean, it's, it's the same bullshit in, in fucking Halo. Not the games, obviously, the fucking show. 
where like yeah. any of the insane coincidences that if you were to just chalk them up to people making choices are insane. But if it's all fate, destiny, oh, we're part of something grander. It's like, oh, well, then I guess fucking anything can happen, can't it? Why would, why? But why would you present your story in this way where you defer all of the causality to just like, well, it's fate. Fate. It's, uh, it was all going to happen that way anyway. Who cares about the character's capacity to make their own choices? It's lame. It's just super lame. And it's lazy. It is. I hate it. Um, if I ever write a story, it will never have fate. <laughs> it will. No there's way. no destiny, no fate. People well, might I imagine the only way you would have it is if you had but... commentary on it, like. Um, well, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like I might have. Yeah, I might have people. Like there might be uh, people who uh, espouse prophecies and people who believe in them, and maybe act with those stories in mind. But I would never be like, oh yeah, it's just fated to be that way. You know, you didn't actually have a choice or anything like that. It's just so fucking lame and dull. And <sighs> that's why I really like, you know, like Ragnarok and stuff like that. And I, I, I have a lot less interest in stories that say, like, this is your fate and you met it while trying to stop it. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, I guess you should have just died and accepted it then. There like, can be that the whole sort of interesting stories to tell with that, but. It it just Usually it becomes distinctly fucking uninteresting. Yeah, if it's if it's done as a sort of like I don't know what to do. It's this. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because this guy just mm. knows everything that's going to happen. It's like, wow, your life must be simultaneously effortless and boring <laughs> that you know everything that's going to happen. Yeah, which uh, well, and like I said, it. I think it should cause a whole bunch of extra questions about everything that he's doing, but. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't get Why, to know much about. He's just Guru Man. He, he provides basic. Yeah. He provides it, trailer lines. Yeah, because I was gonna say, like, That's what he job. says isn't much of anything. Nope. So, because yeah. he doesn't explain to her the nature of how to love. use her abilities. She just says, "Oh, your abilities are really cool." It's like, "Oh yeah, but what? What do I do specifically? You know, like, what yeah. is your guidance? Yeah, do I have to on clench a muscle? What I need or... to do?" Well, well you figure like, it out. You do it. It's like, ah, yes, because that's how that's how you teach people is you'll figure it out instead of giving them direct and specific instructions on how to develop their skills. It's almost like it's I just wasted a plane ticket coming down <laughs> here. Like, also, I mean, it's worth emphasizing, like, what a bizarre what a bizarre like plot structure where the main character just goes to another country for like fifteen minutes in the middle of the film. Yeah. I mean, and they all deal with it pretty well. In fact, the, the what I was going to say is that they all don't seem phased by it, right? Which is super crazy. Like, we basically put everyone on pause. Yeah. They have to, like, do a bit. It's like, it's funny. Now, Ben has known the girls significantly longer than Madam Webb has. Yeah. He's been, he's been hanging out with them for, like, a week. And also, he would have had to, she would have had to tell him to not call or talk to anybody about it. Um... To keep it all secret, to yeah. not tell, and make sure that um, Aunt May didn't talk or tell about anything either. Like, it has to be a secret because someone's trying to kill, and then they would be like, oh, well, what do you mean we have to keep it secret? What happens if someone finds out? Yeah, and they're out, in Mary's like, house. Are they in danger or whatever? There are three girls living well, yeah. in her house that she's just got to deal with. And Ben's going to have to say, like, yeah, they'll only be here for, like, a week, hopefully. Just don't ask any questions about that. It's like, oh, that's cool, No. What if the police like knock on the door and ask questions? What if? Hey, are you're these the girls why would the police the be their rags? <laughs> Is it because that, that would be the obvious thing the police would do? Like, when, no, it's not like they have I mean, her identity if, or anything. I think like four or five days goes by and Madame Webb hasn't returned from Peru and the Amazon. What? What if one of the girls is like? I think we should call the police. I think she's dead. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I have a. Oh, like no. I have a. I have a life, and I I gotta go to school, and you know stuff. At what point do they say, "Yeah, we gotta move on"? I don't know. It, I don't know. I don't know. I, I thought the plot's not great. <laughs> no, and uh, we get Evilman again, and he well because we fast forward to, I guess around about the time Madam is is returning, and he says every day that goes by, my appointment with death gets closer, and you still found <laughs> nothing. <laughs> it's so <laughs> funny. <laughs> my appointment with death gets closer. Is your hair gray yet? Do you look like you do in the dream? 
Yeah, well, you can't deny it's closer if any time has Have passed. you noticed any... Like, is there anything about... Uh, you know what I would do is I would... Um, there's a lot of interesting stuff you could do. If you always saw a vision of them killing you in the future, and it was like that bed in your room where you lived, what if you moved? Like, what exactly. if you got a different house? What if you... What if you said, oh, I'm having this dream every night? What if I what if I keep a calendar on the wall so that I know the date that this happens? <laughs> I said, why doesn't he look at his phone? Do, yeah, like, um, what if I uh, what if I do something, you know, like, yeah, like I said, move, put a calendar on the wall, something like that. But nope, none of that. None of that at all. Um, unless he has uh, no autonomy in this vision. He simply watches it happen. And in the vision, there's no indication of any kind of. Anything that he could possibly use. Well, it doesn't make sense anyway. We've kind of been over, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> it's we fucking just, insane. Yeah, we, we can just move right along. <laughs> and he says, um, how have they been hidden for a week? So that you know a week has passed. Someone said no <laughs> yep. lucid dreaming. No, no, no. This isn't lucid dreaming. What if he put a calendar on the wall in real life? What if he moved houses in the real well, world? Well, but Rags, that would be fated, so then that calendar would fall off the wall the day the vision happens, so that you can't see oh, it. Oh, and then when, and then the vision would just move to a different house or something, <laughs> yeah. instead of getting kicked out the window. He I literally guess... destroys the building, oh, and the something... vision is like, ah, but that's fated. Under his lawnmower or yeah. something. Shoots himself in the head, and fate prevents like it. <laughs> be like, I, I moved houses, but still they find me. Where, wherever I'm sleeping, it's, it's where they, they, they manage to kill me. There's nothing I can do to escape it. Which is already like lame and uh, but and what? It's some, and, the, and again, these are like too. the small things. If he got particularly deranged, he could like I don't know. He could like draw a knife against his like cheek to see if he had a scar in the future. It's like, well, the fact that I didn't have a scar in the future now I've got one. That's got to change something, right? And then if it just gets reflected in the dream and he started getting even more unhinged, that feels like a story. Somebody constantly trying to change the future, but every time their dream just keeps adapting to the crazy things that they do in their lives. To the point that they maybe realize that they're, like, actually insane and that they need to, I don't know, like, live in the present or get help. Mm -hmm. Well, But no, uh, he just, he, he doesn't really try anything. <laughs> he just, no, like, he's immediately decides that he's gonna man, commit to... Ceiling man, not very talented. Uh, he... No. I, I, I like that we had enough time there between his two statements because the second one is arguably funnier. Uh, she says, I have eyes and ears on everything. And then he says... Those girls cannot exist. They will destroy me. I will destroy you if you fail me. <laughs> Let's remember, he wouldn't be Listen. a cliche villain if he didn't threaten his employees. I just don't understand. For things that Isn't... are literally beyond their control. The only they're way... already doing so much. The only way she could definitively fail him is if they finally kill him. Because until they do, she will be providing information to get them, right? The only way that stops as a process is if he dies. So how's he gonna kill her if he dies? <laughs> like, mm -hmm. It's not even a good yeah. threat. If I die, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> and also, the fact that she's been able to do all the things that she does is already in the realm of fantasy. That uh -huh. she Pretty can much. listen into every single call across New York City, a city of 8 million people at the time, and be able to know which ones are happening and where to look at all the cameras with already fantasy-level technology and arrange it. The fact that she was able to find them all where she did is a miracle. And he's acting as if she can, like, make things happen. Like, she needs to go out there and push them in front of a camera or something. All she could do was say, well, uh, until someone does anything, there's nothing I can do. So, you know they had a weekend, the, 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 the NSA computer of godlike powers. He knew yeah. exactly who she was. So, like, it, it should take him maybe an hour to find the house. Maybe that. And that's, that's it. Done. Mm -hmm. Film over. So. Oh, yeah, if she, yeah, he knows who Madam uh, Cassie Webb is. Yeah, yeah you check her apartment, then he would ask her living relatives. Known well, I thought... I thought was what when she did go back to her apartment actually the, the the first time when when she was in the woods and went back to go check the Grail diary, I thought that she might go up to the door and the door was already unlocked or something or someone had already been there and or was waiting for her you know, like that. Sorry, would I was be distracted a by a thing for giving whistling. you a theme tune for your speech there. <laughs> no, I like it. I like it. But that's what I thought because that's what you do, right? That's the thing that yeah. you would do. But it didn't get done. So, never a lot mind. of things don't. Wait, get done. sorry, did my whistling come through? A little bit. Normally yeah, it, it doesn't. Nice. 
Oh, it's kinda nice. normally it doesn't. It was kind of nice, yeah. All right, I all thought right. you were well, that's all right. give Rags a bit of a backing track, which is cool, right? No, I appreciate that. Yeah. I really do. I liked it. Oh, I think we, I, I, I thought that it didn't get through when you whistled. It typically doesn't. Like, mm. mine don't get through. So. But mine, mine do. I guess they did that time. I was they whistling just, Discord is a pretty very funny specific... With that. I will say, I, I was whistling to a very specific track from Oppenheimer. <laughs> like, a very specific one. That's what I was whistling to. I, was I just whistling need to think to about a different with, uh, movie. The, uh, the, the scene with uh, Dr. Hill, you know, the one where, like, he testifies against Strauss? And then Strauss, Strauss? Yeah, that was the one I was whistling to. Mm -hmm. Oppenheimer's got some really good music. It's got like, really good music. Yeah, it's it it. good stuff. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. It should be remember other Remember other movies? <laughs> Aren't other movies? Well, yeah, I mean, right? I mean, it does, again, you, you, when we're talking about the broad meta, when you have Oppenheimer, there's like an actual film <laughs> compared to... Yeah, compared with artistry to and storytelling and great dialogue and <laughs> well, acting. Dude, I want to and... watch Scorsese watching this. It'd be so funny. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then present him with someone who said, you know, I enjoyed that about as much as I enjoyed Goodfellas, oh. Mr. Scorsese, and watch his soul well, just, away. After he sees it, be like, so... You know, what do you think of Cassandra Webb? Uh, like, what, 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 what about her? Like, what strikes to you first? What, what about her character? I could just see a bit like, ah, <laughs> uh, you know. <laughs> I directed Shutter Island. I directed. <laughs> I directed Taxi Driver. <laughs> you know. Leave me alone. What happened? It was so exciting when we were making films back in the day. Like I said, what that Tarantino quote, he's like, we're, we're coming back, baby. This is the bad period. We're going to come back. I'm sure of it. It'll happen. Well, I guess it's interesting that Tarantino, because this next film is his last, right? Yeah, Apparently. it is funny that he's like, we'll have a good period again. Anyway, bye. <laughs> anyway, I'm, re I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this. Yeah, ten movies is probably a good number to retire on, but still. That I is probably why. He's like ten yeah, too is solid of a movie. Yeah. Set, he yeah. wants it to be ten. Yeah, but I would like for him to keep making more. You know, Tarantino, you can make twenty. Twenty's cool too. You can make twenty. You can make just like fourteen. You know, that's that's fine if that's all you get up to before mm -hmm. the end. You know, fourteen's a good number. So, problem, unfortunate. You might even call it a crazy coincidence. Mary's water breaks. She must go to the hospital. Oh dear. Because the ambulance won't make it in time. Well, I was going to get to that in a moment. The first question would be, this doesn't change much of anything for the girls. She can go to the well, hospital. Well, they can just stay at home, yeah. and then you go to the mm -hmm. hospital, and they just stay inside. But instead, they decide they must all go together to the hospital. You, to might, you might be I mean, thinking... It's, it's, to, be, to be fair, it's a special occasion. It's an event. I mean, you it's know? not like they're dealing with any problems, like no. a Spider-Man trying to get trying to kill him. him. Well, it's been no, a week. Maybe exciting, they forgot. Yeah. You know, remember Danny forgot about the Iron Fleet, so... <laughs> they said that. They, they said, said that. it. The fucking writers <laughs> said that. So. It's funny, I wonder if people blame the fucking studio for that one, you know? What was that? Oh, <laughs> that was... I'm just, sorry, it's just so funny. That was wild. That was I, so I find it so funny, it's like, yeah, they just forgot about a massive fleet of ships! <laughs> God. It's a classic for a reason. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I like that's literally the fact that they said that that she just sort of forgot. They said that in an interview. Mm -hmm. They just said it out loud publicly. <laughs> it it killed a dragon, which and that is like having nuclear weapons like that. You it just knocks it out of the fight. Like okay, well, bye dragon. Even I with. Even I, with my very limited knowledge about Game of Thrones, was like, I remember, like, fucking Tyrion and, um, Varys. Yeah. Right? Varys talking, like, but this was before, when he was, like, in charge of the city, and the, the fleet was coming, and even they were talking about, like, oh shit, those three dragons are gonna be, they're gonna get old one day, and then nobody can stop them. Like, even in the early seasons, they were setting all that shit up. I've seen clips, people. You have. I, I just, I, I, it is fascinating. What, what, and you know they got a new show coming out, right, on Netflix. Do they? Yeah, three body problem. I think it's called. That's uh, that's Dan their new Dave. adventure. Yeah. yeah, the 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 Game of Thrones guys. That's their isn't new it amazing project. how they could do that and they're not radioactive well, in the industry I mean, and you just. 
remember they were going to do Star Wars for a bit. They were. Uh, you're right. They almost got yeah. Star Wars. But I mean, it's it feels like it's kind of the work. same with uh, like JJ. He had stuff lined up, but he hasn't made anything since the rise of Skywalker. None of that DC stuff has happened. What was the other thing that he was working on? Isn't there, isn't there like a million things that he's attached to and working on that are just never going to materialize? Yeah, I think it's a matter of we do see some consequences for piles of shit being splattered across the screen sometimes here and there. Well, once I mean, once you stop making money for yeah. people, then at that point. Um, so you might be thinking, right, because we were just making fun of it, that oh, all of them go into the hospital, right. so that doesn't necessarily give any of anything away yet, I guess, if they get onto the records of the hospital, like, you know, because it's the girls, right, they've got to be recognized. It's like, nope, the second they pull out, girl has window right open, pokes her head out, and then her face gets snapped by some camera, and it's fed into the NSA computer, and she finds them immediately. That's right. Mm -hmm. the, it out. is 2003. I don't even yep. know what the camera was, but it got it. And this is the camera. It. This is Eagle Eye. Ah, uh, there you go. Remember Eagle Done. Eye? Brother Eye. I do. It's Brother Eye. Yeah. That's what it Eagle is. Eagle Eye is a different thing. Eagle Eye. He's talking about if you're thing, referencing what I think but... you are, Rags. But I don't know if you are anymore. <laughs> I I am. Yeah. You I'm are. Moving. Yeah. Okay. Um. So the one from 2008, I think, with Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf. Billy Bob Thornton. I think. Oh my gosh. I I just double checked the um the cast for it. Shia LaBeouf, Michelle Monaghan, Rosario Dawson, Billy Bob Thornton, mm -hmm. Anthony Mackey. Man, star-studded cast. So they leave, and just immediately after, the madam herself returns, and she's like, "Oh gosh, I missed you." But then she has a vision to tell her exactly where she needs to go because, of course, she does because that is, I think. The writers being like, wait, how would she know where to go? Um, oh, oh fuck, I can't, I can't figure this shit out. Yeah, yeah give her a vision. Anytime they have any trouble like that, they just be like, we just do a vision. It's like, try not to do it all the time. And, She's uh, like, yeah, okay, I'm we'll sure do it all the time. I'm sure that she will be able to catch up. I'm sure that's possible. Yes. But before thinking about that, she arrived yes. in her taxi, gets out of the taxi, has the vision, and as she is thinking about what she's going to do next, the ambulance arrives from when they called it, but of course, as was mentioned, it took too long, so they ended up driving to the hospital themselves. So that means the ambulance has arrived and nobody's there now. And so she's like, aha, I will steal the ambulance. Another vehicle I can commandeer. Why didn't she get back in the taxi? I've, you figure that I presume that a taxi can go faster than an ambulance. Well, there's a more important reason that I assume you guys are on board with already. If you steal an ambulance... That means those EMTs that means don't have an ambulance. ambulance. Yeah. That means the the very people you have called to help save or protect people now don't have the vehicle they need in order to do it. And and those are the kinds of people that are on call going from place to place to place to place to place to place. And you just took their Especially vehicle. In New York. Not yep. just taking the fact right. that they can travel with it, but obviously all of their shit is in there too for helping mm -hmm. people. And then obviously, you know, just you're probably going to destroy it. Um... <laughs> I yeah, I just couldn't believe it because I was like, there is no reason for you to do that. Like you could have just have taken. Yeah, you have your own car, you're but now you're gonna just, kill somebody. That's too. probably gonna have had a drastic result for no reason at all. But you know why, right? Think of it. every that's time like, something wow. stupid happens. That's real stupid. It happens for no real reason. It's like, wait, what happens later? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, well, There's yeah. something in that ambulance they're gonna need later. To do a thing, yeah. and, they wouldn't and... have needed it. Nope, really, they could have written something else. A different vehicle. Yeah, but no, we have to have it so she steals the ambulance because she's gonna need something in it later. So fucking dumb movie, doing dumb things, but whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So she steals it, and uh, Spider Bro has NSA girl. By the way, it's been a week. We we did mention this earlier on, but the NSA have not done anything to stop them from fucking around on that profile. Nope. Still logging in. Nothing you know, I think, you know, that doesn't surprise me. You know, just because someone dies doesn't mean that they shouldn't, you know, really be giving it their all at work. Yes. So, they make all the lights green in the hopes that they'll cause a big old pileup, and they kind of do. And yeah, then. They watch all the things. Yeah, and, and so they're, they're fucked now. Spider Bro knows which car it is, and all he's going to do yeah, is toss a grenade at them. Actually, uh... It's worse than in watch. It's worse than in that demo for Watch Dogs because in that demo, the people get out of their cars after having crashed into each other and argue with each other. But here, they just sit in their cars 
They just sit in the middle of Everyone the road. Everyone just sits in their cars, yeah. In their cars, so that everybody can oh, remain sorry. strapped. There, there was a line here. Oh, I think we skipped over it, or maybe we didn't. I'm having a Biden moment, but it really bugged me when um, Ben told everyone to put their seatbelts on, and then the they, they laugh was like, at him, "Are you right? serious?" Oh, yeah, they yeah, they like laugh at him or something. Telling yeah, them to put on their seatbelts, as if and then they an proceed to get into like first. almost one, and then like a cut, like a couple actual automobile accidents, yeah. and it's really and of course, <laughs> as the driver as a of the pregnant vehicle, lady too. As the driver of the vehicle, it is his responsibility that all of the people yes, in the vehicle have their seatbelts. It seat is belts on. like so oh, is like everyone put on your seatbelts. I can't put on a seat. I what? What do you mean? A, do, I'm, a, I'm pregnant. I'm a pregnant Even lady. What do you mean? Put, put on, on a, yeah, yes, put on your fucking seatbelt, woman. This is this is arguably the most deadly in thing you'll ever time. do in your life. Is is get in this car and go down the road. Put on your fucking seatbelt. Correct. He says, "Okay, never mind." Yeah, when it's not no, it's no. Put on your seatbelts. I'm not moving this car until you put on your seatbelts. Yeah, on. literally, yes. This car is not moving anywhere until you put on your seatbelt. It. You could take the three seconds to put on your seatbelt, or are we just not going. Well, we put on your seatbelt. That's right. It literally <laughs> will save your life in the event of a crash. And then as he's driving them to the hospital, <sighs> I'm gonna turn this car around and there'll be no Cape Canaveral for anybody! You will have Nelson this baby at home, so help me God. Nelson <laughs> just drives by and smacks him on bed over the head. <laughs> no, yeah, that's it. Back to Winnipeg! <laughs> ah, good memes. Anyway. So, I don't know how else to explain this. Madam... She's accessed the web, so she knows now where she needs to be and what she needs to do. She, I assume, is driving through some kind of parking lot that leads up, has an up, like a midsection. She, she, I, I'm just gonna have to say, what else can I do? She drives through a wall, out into the center of a street, bursts through, and evil Spider-Man jumps. jumps, presumably to avoid her and instead jumps directly into her path, and then she hits him with the, the ambulance and avoids everyone else. And also avoids suffering traumatic injuries herself after driving an ambulance off of, like, I, the fourth story of a building through I'm a concrete I'm so glad, for me that in the trailer I, I have the shot I need. It's not the shot I would like to yeah, have, but it's a shot yeah, I need. That's that, she comes through that side. That Calvin Klein ad, that's what she crashes the ambulance through and hits him with the ambulance. I, I do, yeah. This is a part where I, I just, like, I don't think describing it captures just how fucking stupid it is. It's insane. And they probably thought it was a really cool payoff, but it's just stupid. Well, no, it's all stupid. I have asked how this is fucking possible, and I've had someone say, is it to do with, like, the web? <laughs> <laughs> Sure. The web protected her. Yeah. I don't even know what is behind that sign that she so easily can just drive through it. I'm curious if it wasn't unfortunate that she... Like, is like, it she like just... a car park? Well, so like a, a parking garage? Less, I, it, as I mentioned, I think it is a parking thing, but I'm talking about the material she has to drive through, like be it concrete, well, plastic, yeah, metal, like... Thing... How does... Right. Yeah, the like obviously the there's going to be a concrete... Yeah, there's a concrete rim mm. around the levels of the parking lot, so you can't just... You can't just careen off the side accidentally. It, I, it, it's it, just which 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 one breaks the the ambulance or the wall? That's what <laughs> like what you know which one is going to be the and and if you do get through the concrete wall, how much will you have been slowed down by all of the force that would be absorbed by that wall anyway? It's just impossible. It's, it's stupid. It is, and that's beyond assuming that she didn't get killed by driving believe, an ambulance. Like... Off the of a building. Oh, they even show. The I I want to say that. How do they explain it? Did she go off a ramp or something, or does she just? No, she just drove through the wall. I don't but think gotta, they do it so get fast. The concrete barrier. They don't want you yeah, to no, think no. about <laughs> any of this. It's oh, it's, it's beyond and insane. Course, this like is, it... this is all the vehicle is fine and drivable. It's not like yep. everything about the vehicle is destroyed. The well, engine even... destroyed. The wheels were destroyed. But we're going about all that, but it's like so. The other thing is, of course, the he jumps into her, meaning that like she, if if she was heading where he believed she was, she would have crashed into the car full of the people. Yeah, and crushed them all. But luckily, 
If he had stood in place and not jumped, yeah. he would have been fine and won. Yep. This is what I mean. And None of this lights up. Gone forward and stuff or whatever. And then she's lucky because enough, of I course, to not crash happened. into anyone else. But I bet you what happened, by the way. Oh, sorry. Finish but, your thought. but by doing what she does, his grenade indeed does not hit their car. It instead falls no, out of his head and blows up another car. Another taxi that probably had yeah. someone in it. So see well, you, buddy. You fuck them. Oh, I so well, fucking gonna, stupid. Well, we are going to run into this problem later regarding a decision that she makes. Yes. So we will yeah, we definitely are. be talking about this later. Something... You already probably know what I'm referring to. Probably. Something I would add in, by the way, for mm -hmm. what I think happened there, what I bet it was, was in the script, she drives off and then hits him, and it's not like he jumps or anything, and then when they were there on set, they're like, wait, but like, the taxi but would how? just hit the, <laughs> like, the, the, the ambulance would hit the taxi, there's no way, it can't, it can't be so close that it would hit him and miss the taxi, and then they're like, oh, make him jump. <laughs> That's what happened. And then someone said, <laughs> well, why would he jump, and they're like, because he's trying to avoid it. Because because we have booked this location and we can't fix this. And Just they say, have him jump. So by trying to avoid it, he hits it, and they go, "Yes, yeah, see, it's thematically on brand. That's what he does." Exactly. The whole movie. Yeah. It's literally they just don't. It doesn't matter. It, we're we're making Madam Web. It doesn't fucking matter. Just have it happen. We just need to get this over with and done. Yeah. And, I and go yeah, home. like it's this is that kind of movie. We just go, "Yeah, the web did it. She did it because of the web verse. She web framed. It's yeah. all good. The web. It's fine. Don't need to think about it." I took physics lessons from the Blues Brothers. Oh, don't even mention that movie. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Like, don't never even. attach that to oh. this. It's it's one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. Is Blues Brothers with the Nazis in the car and all the cop cars piling up? It's the one of the funniest things in the universe. How dare you? I mean, say Adam Webb is pretty funny, but yeah, no way. Adam that. Webb is pretty funny. True, but with Blues Brothers, they were trying to be funny and they succeeded. This is funny by accident. Yeah, the creator of this has probably got some pride, and you're like, oh, you should <laughs> put that you away. You shouldn't. Like, <laughs> in a way, you should, because you brought joy to people's lives, yes. but not, like, you, accidentally. It's like when you tell a joke and people are laughing at you instead of at the joke. Mm. Like, you did bring joy to people's lives, but not in a way you should be proud of. So, he starts, uh, like... Hopping over and over and over on cars, and uh, Madame spots him, and she's like, "Ah, he's gonna be hopping on top of us soon enough." So charge the defibrillator, and on my mark, uh, you know, electrocute the the roof of the car, and it'll electrocute him. And uh, that is the reason she stole the ambulance. Mm -hmm. the, otherwise, you couldn't do that. And that's um, true. just like, "Wow, good job, Madame Webb." <laughs> It's so funny. You did it. <laughs> your, your powers are growing stronger, Madam Web. Yes, she is webbing gradually all over She's the place. She's webbing. <laughs> She's starting to web. Not, not quite as hard as possible, but getting pretty close. Yeah, well, you know, I want to excite people. You will see her web all over the place soon. Uh, not yet, but she's gathering power. It's going to be uh, gonna be something for the ages. So, uh, she sees, like... She does a vision thing again, and and she's seen the whole finale in her head. She's like, "Oh my god, we got to go make that happen." And so that factory, god, poor Madame Web, she has to watch this movie twice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that factory from earlier. Um, we're going back there, or, or warehouse, whatever. Um, full of explosives. When for the rest of this, we're just going to be referring to them as fireworks because that's obviously what they are. So it's a place full of fireworks. Remember, they were there, like as. Uh, there was a there was firemen there, and they were sawing out a big fire, and, and and so that that place was on fire at some point. They sorted it out, but all the fireworks are still in there. It's been a week. Yep. Huh? Yep. They're all just in there. I would have thought it either would have been blown up, like all the stuff in there that was blow upable blow, blew up because it was on fire, or that they would have put out the fire and cleared the whole place out because it, she even says it's you structurally unsound. The... Well, yeah, you have to repair everything. You have to have people go out there and rebuild stuff and make things, you know, solid again. And it's... also, the area appears to be unguarded, which seems unwise to just have a bunch of fireworks yeah. unguarded in New York just for anybody to come in and grab. It was a different, it was 2003. It was a different time. You it was know? a different time. Yes. So, good plan. 
again, she could go to the police, but we will not do that. Instead, no, she's because gonna we have to have a film. Gather the webbers, and they're gonna web. The web team are gonna get in there, and they're gonna gather fireworks and flares, and they're gonna set off all the explosives. Now you might be oh, thinking, wait, wait. that's. Well, go ahead. They, um, sorry, I'm just trying to remember. I, I feel like, oh, fuck. Did you talk about the defibrillator or did I have a Biden moment? You had a Biden we moment. We did. Yeah. Okay, I just making sure. I, I you, was, you can, you can talk about uh, it. Go ahead. No, I just thought it was, I just wanted to make sure that everyone knew that there was a part where he's about to jump on the ambulance and they defibrillate the top of the ambulance. <laughs> yeah. And it, and it, and it shocks him off of it. Mm-hmm. Did you I, not like that moment? No, no it brought me joy. But <laughs> I was gonna it's say. Just, it's just, it's just so fucking insane. They, 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 def just to be clear, they defibrillate the top of the inside of the ambulance when he jumps on it, and it shocks him to the point where he, like, flies off the ambulance and into a nearby parked car. Mm-hmm. The, I said this movie was really fun. <laughs> I know. It's just like, isn't that insane? That's wild. That just happens. They just do that in the movie. They should take that with them. They should take that defibrillator with them in case he gets close and then, go, and pew, then pew, pew, shock pew, him yeah. away so that he goes and he flies and hits a wall or something. I agree. Um... <laughs> I've never seen this, but this is unprecedented. This so, is wild. So this is the first time, honestly, this is the first time where the web verse is causing me issues, okay? The rest of it has made total sense. Yeah, yeah, it's, but, yeah it, it adds to the film. But now it's good world building. we've reached a complication because they're running into the building. There's explosives everywhere. They're setting up flares to light everything off. And basically, she said, the building is going to explode and fall apart, and trust me, this is what we're going to do. That just seems, to me, seems like a bad idea. IMO, in my opinion, to me personally. Like, to go into a building that isn't sound and blow it up while you're inside. You guys think I'm on the level with that one, or do you think maybe... Um... I I 50 50, 50 50 I think I see where you're coming from mm. I kind of see the logic but I'm not quite convinced yet so I'm I'm uh, uh so like I think kind of nitpicky honestly yeah, well, a little nitpicky never happened to me so I'm kind of speaking out my ass here but when I if a building falls on you a lot of people okay I've gone too far with it plenty of people survive that that's fair that's fair I well, just fireworks doesn't Fireworks isn't gonna like destroy a building. They're it's fireworks. structurally unsound, right? She says that. Oh, okay. Structurally unsound, and they're explosives, is what she says. Not fireworks. What even is a firework? Oh. What is that? Fireworks? Yeah, I, I know fireworks. What do you mean? Yeah, Avatar mean idiot. Yeah. So you you just I don't. This plan isn't working for me, but everyone seems to be on board with it. Uh, especially the Madamster. She's really into it. And I think you're supposed to believe that she has seen the whole thing in her head, and what she saw was just loads of explosions, and I guess the web is telling her yes, though. I know it sounds crazy, but yes. It is crazy, but it's crazy in your favor. You go, girl. Because you'd think, well, okay, but what if she went to the police and you're like, ah, oh, well, that's, see, that's where you're wrong because <sighs> evil Spider-Man will just kill all of the police. That's just what he'd expect. Every that's time. just what he'd expect. Even though one gunshot to him would kill him. True. Th that, sure, that'll get him. But, like, you know, explosive building, that'll definitely get him. So don't take the risk with the police. That's, that's too risky. you got to get him in the explosive building. All right, well, knowing all of that, like I said... You have to really buy up the webverse, and so at this point, yeah, we just have to take it. This is going to work according to the web. Now, she calls in air support from the ambulance. I feel like that's not something she could do, even if she is an EMT. I don't think you can simply grab up the walkie-talkie and say, air support, 
where where I'm at right now. I, I need a helicopter just... to come here, and they just say, "Okay." I, and then they just say, "Sure." I feel sure. like yep. they'd ask you questions like, like "Why?" why? <laughs> <laughs> you... Because as I remember, it's not a it's not a um, it, it's not like a medical helicopter. I think it's a no, I think it's helicopter. a police department helicopter. Yeah, police helicopter. And also, they probably say. Holy shit, where have you been for like the past week and a yep, half? Yeah, you've disappeared Is that completely. Cassie, holy, all right, Cat, are you okay? Are you, are you all right? No, we're Unless not just going to send a helicopter to you. They assume the voice is the, the person who should be in that ambulance right now. But I imagine that they've already contacted their, you know, director or slash contacts or whatever saying our ambulance has been fucking stolen. And then, yeah, because they would have had, they would have called, they would have used uh, the phone at the house probably, and to be or their with own you, cell phones to say, "Hey, someone stole our ambulance." Wouldn't surprise me if the police were already on that ambulance for having been stolen, and if they were contacted from that ambulance saying, "Send air support," I seriously doubt they would send a fucking helicopter to the people who stole an ambulance. I don't know what the hell's going on anymore. This is like where. But I think at this point you have to trust in the web. It did say this would happen. And even the web. Happening. Do not doubt the web. Mm -hmm. To doubt the web is heresy. And it, it's so funny how much they take on faith with her because she says, uh, evil Spider-Man is going to be here any minute. Put the flares in the boxes of explosives. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> has she, just to be clear, has she done anything in front of them that would convince them that she can see the future? Or did she just say that? Um, she's told them that she has information that she doesn't know that she gets from visions. I th not because a they lot, do that but thing, enough, chick, I guess. I mean, the, the thing the with the ambulance. The the rock at her, right? The and ambulance is the one that would probably be like, hmm, wow. Like you, if you, you said, like, how did you exactly burst through a wall and hit the yeah. one thing you wanted to hit and not all of us and it worked out okay, perfectly? It's yeah. like, well, because of the web, I can see the future. You're like, oh, sure. Yeah, I, if they could have even seen that, because... I don't know the what they would. The Honestly, I, they've not acted human throughout the whole film, so this wouldn't be, you know, out of character. <laughs> yeah, I, I could see how a non-human would be mm. easily convinced by that without having any any shred of skepticism. What's so, funny yeah, too that's true. is the he could just not show up. They booped him off the ambulance. They've turned several corners. We don't know if he even caught up. He might just not show up. But it's like no, he no. Might just have a will. broken rib. And yeah. He's going ow. <laughs> Holy fuck! How ironic! They oh, get me. Fucking hell! I've been I've been hospitalized by an ambulance. Oh no! I mean, I'm laughing, but Jesus Christ, that hurts! I'm going home. Fuck! And then um, he just leaves. The place begins to explode. We have fireworks because just they're going, putting wheer, 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 wheer. because they are manually putting yes lit road flares in random boxes yep. massive boxes of fireworks they're all just going around lighting flares putting them in boxes of fireworks lighting flares boxes of fireworks as they go that's just that's just what they're doing that's the plan and her plan would rely on an incredible amount of precision for that to be able to like work in the way that it does. But everyone's just like, oh, I'll just put in this box, in that box of firework, in this box of fireworks. And then all the explosions just happen to catch them in the right way. Instead of k killing them all. That well, would but it's kill all you according to the web's it, plan, so it, it is. It prays the web. It does make sense web. somewhat. Yeah. Plus, it is the mind too small for a doubt. So he's, uh, he's on him. He's coming. Oh, it's scary. Oh, what are we gonna do? And she says, just go that way, and they start running, and then she says, now, and ducks, and a, a firework flies past them, <laughs> and hits the wall, and blows open the an brick exit wall. wall. Yes. A firework a hits the brick line. wall, the brick and mortar wall, and it blows a perfect hole through it that they can escape through. Chat, you have to understand, this makes less sense than the wheelchair rocket from Doctor Who. Less sense. <laughs> <laughs> An RPG? Yeah, why not? <laughs> this is a fucking RPG in the room, why not? Well, I mean, yeah, that, that firework is basically... <laughs> it's basically a rocket-propelled grenade. It's yeah, like an explosive rocket. grenade, yeah. yeah. I, I just... And you just watched it. You're just like, this is this is wonderful. <laughs> this, anything can happen, and they believe it makes they, sense. Yeah, this film doesn't know what fireworks are. No, 
And it never will. <laughs> it's no if they don't it, understand it now. It never will, yeah. Um, so then they all start doing, like, the help us, help us to the helicopter that has already arrived, and I just don't even know it's what here. the helicopter here, yeah. would think of what's happening. Like, the people in there. What in the world? Why? You've blown up this building. <laughs> like, what, what's going on? Why is any of this happening? And um, then Madam Webb picks up a piece of debris and starts, like, Captain America shielding all of the fireworks because she knows where and when they will hit because of the web. Well, it's not its not the fireworks so much as the, like, the massive sharp pieces of shrapnel that are flying through the air. Like, right. Because the whole like, building's like exploding. A, yeah. Fireworks are shooting through the roof and coming out the top. They're causing explosions to create massive pieces of shrapnel. It's like a war zone. It is brilliant. It's insane and nonsense, and the thing happens. I had to tweet it out because I was so blown away by it. Um, fireworks are going off, okay? They're everywhere. Spider Bro is on his way. Here he comes, evil Spider Man. He's going to get you. Oh, God, he's coming. But she has a vision that a firework is coming right at her. So <gasps> she thinks to herself, wait, if it's coming at me and I got out of the way of it and it was in the pathway of evil Spider Man, it would hit him. Aha. Uh -huh. And so she does it precisely that. She thinks she, she she's in place. She dodges it. It goes right out. Of it. Chat, like, if you don't know about this, I'm just going to tell you what happens. He sees that firework just in time. And so he punches it into the helicopter and it blows up. <laughs> so, <laughs> like the just to, so... <laughs> hey, why didn't he... Why didn't it blow up when he punched it? <laughs> because the, the firework... <laughs> Just ex if we let's just accept the fact that a firework can hit a helicopter and <laughs> blow it up instantly. We'll just accept that because yeah, we've we'll established give that. <laughs> power level, established the power level of fireworks in this universe is such that it can destroy brick walls, destroy building rooftops. It's basically a rocket propelled grenade, it's basically a missile. It blows up the helicopter, right? This means that, and I, and I thought it was different. I thought Madam Webb tells somebody, one of the girls, to duck. So that the girl ducks, and it hits, um, and, and then he deflects it into the helicopter. Oh, it, it could I be. I don't remember. But I think she tells, because the, the spider guy, Ezekiel, he's about to, I think he's about to kill one of the girls, or hit one of the girls, and that's, and then she tells the girl to duck. And that's what makes it happen. There's an important but, part of this, okay? <laughs> yeah, he, that he punches so, Madam Web, Madam Web's character is such that she will, knowing what's going to happen, having premonition powers, she makes the choice to tell someone to duck, one of the girls to duck, knowing that the people in that helicopter will die if that happens. I guess she didn't know that. She was... She's got the, you got the premonition she powers. She's got the web. She didn't know that one. She didn't know that one. She only oh. knew. Not. Oh, okay. Also, with how much I, clearly it, goes wrong in this scene, according to her, like as in things that happen that she is shocked by, why in the hell did she try this plan in the first place? Yeah, what it I, seems like her like premonitions are not all encompassing so or reliable maybe, or even reaguring. Yeah, and, so it, probably shouldn't do this crazy plan. And also relying on the fact that you have to tell them to, like, duck or get down at the exact perfect moment. If they're a second off, if they're one second too late, they're dead. Mm-hmm. Which they might be. If anything, it's likely that they might be one se they would be one second off. Well, but, yeah, um... with all this shit exploding around you and the shrapnel and the booms and the fireworks, relying on her to say, duck, without even saying <laughs> who... <laughs> yeah, and assuming that they can actually hear you over all the explosions. But him punching it into the helicopter and exploding, that for me was when it had crossed the line into, oh man. Yeah. I actually feel like yeah. I could recommend this to some people. Don't pay for it, but that shit is so that funny. And like, it, it would belong <laughs> in some films. Like, that's a good 
meme for a lot of comedy films. If if that were a naked gun, you know, it makes, a good meme it makes me. They, they hold on the helicopter exploding for a little while. Like they think like it's, the you know they what they're doing. Know. They're like, look how fucking Logan. incredibly like effective evil Spider Man is. Look what he just did. Look I'm just laughing. Like it's so fucking funny. <laughs> That's, I guess, why it's funny because, like, they just don't know. How could they know? They think it's badass. <laughs> it's, it's so stupid. Ah, uh, it's good that you know, like, because people, a lot of people, have been saying, and I just agree with it. They, this is the kind of bad that I almost prefer. I would like to see more of this kind of bad. Not the bad that makes me furious because of how much you've pissed all over everything and you keep, like, telling me within the content how much you're awesome and how much everything else sucks that you're working from mm -hmm. or the culture around you you hate it and stuff. Yeah. This is just someone earnestly trying to tell a story about characters and they can't do it to save their fucking life. Yeah, they piss on their own creations. Yeah, which is way funnier. It's so much funnier. This film, like I said, I laughed out loud a number of times during the... I had... I enter. I I got more entertainment and joy from this movie than many many movies uh, in like the Marvel. I got more entertainment and joy out of it than yeah a lot of these Marvel films that we coming made, out recently. I was like laughing out loud. I saw some of this exactly. shit happening, and I was just like I was laughing. Yeah. I was like this. <laughs> I'm so happy. Yeah, because someone's compared like Suicide Squad, Kill Justice. Like, yeah, that just pisses me off almost every fucking half an hour of understanding everything that's happening. But in this, like, I could go for a sequel to this. If they get it. Oh, like, yeah, absolutely. You know? <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Just do more stupid shit. Let it be that Ezekiel survives. He crawls out and he's like, nah, my spider powers, bro. <laughs> I'm actually okay. Uh, which, you know, I mean, we're getting close, so may as well carry on. I was going to say, we're actually like near the end at this point. Yeah. Um, which is which are. is sad because you'd like to see a few more punched. Um, there is some. Um... Where are we? I forget the order of it. Does a uh, hungry girl? Does she do? Does hungry girl the slide down? The... Not, not quite yet. Oh, I don't yeah. think. But okay, okay. Yeah. Well, so I can't quite remember the order of everything, but I know that something happens here that I was getting confused by. He doesn't he strangle Madam at one point. He's got both of his hands. Evilman. Yeah, yeah, um, he does, but he doesn't use the power. Yeah, he doesn't use both the power. hands. On her neck for a significant amount of time. If he's if he activated poison, which he has no reason not to, she's dead. Well, he exactly. don't forget he randomly takes off his. Uh, he mask. does because yeah. this is the, this is the he randomly off. Off his <laughs> mask. Yeah. Yeah. He's got a rags. It's a final fight. Why would he? Like for yeah. literally I mean, for no reason. He just like he's about to like. I think it's when he's strangling her. Yeah, he, he just like, takes gets it off. her. Yeah, he gets her in like one hand, and then with his other, he takes his mask it, off because it's really so important like, that he does that. In the Raimi Spider-Man films, they were creative enough to either partially destroy the mask so that you can see part of his face, or have the mask get destroyed such that he has to take it off and then do something with it. But now it's just like, basically just take it off. We're not even going to pretend that we care about keeping characters in costume anymore. Nah. Fuck it. I love it how he, he made a little, little Spider-Man outfit. He made he a little yeah. Spider-Man outfit for himself. That's yeah. kind of that's cute. Look it at is. you go. You got your little black and red shitty looking right. Spider-Man outfit. Well, discount uh. Spider-Man is too kind, I'd say. He's not that good. Yeah, I, I you're probably right. This is like Chinese uh bootleg fake. Yeah, like this is a Chinese fake. This is a Yep, this is Fake stuff. He has some more funny dialogue. Because I, I think it is while he's grabbing her, or close to it, that he shouts at her, You should have walked away! You can't protect them! <laughs> what are you doing, man? Just get the job done, seriously. Like, <laughs> what are you oh, doing the stupid Goober. cartoon villain, man? Goober, man. Uh, but yes, that's when she does the slidey skate thing, I think. And uh, he throws her in such a way that it looks like oh, she... Yeah. I don't know how else to explain it. She looks like she would have not only been injured significantly, but the, there's no way she's grabbing onto a rail. Well, how would you explain how he throws her? It's, it? it's that awful CGI. They yeah. do this awful CGI thing where he throws her, and then she, yeah, she grabs like a beam, and then she, yeah, like, she spins around so and grabs it. Yeah, yeah, it's she's flying super so fast. fast that there's no way she could have gripped it. She was trying. It looked like she was moving like sixty kilometers per hour. She was flying past it, but I guess she's got strong enough grip to grab it. But oh no, she's in peril now. Mm -hmm. 
Well, and, yeah, and that's that's the the nature of this situation is they're all in peril. The three girls, all three, they're all but three remember, girls are hanging off. They're hanging off all, of something. They're all in peril because they were trying to help her. See, maybe we shouldn't have gone failed. into the building and exploded ourselves. Yeah. Maybe that wasn't the good. Idea. All three of them put up that helicopter. To blow it up. <laughs> they thought they were going to get evac'd, but then it blew up. Oh, okay. I thought. Well, they, though, they, so <laughs> no. Rags raises a good point. It did, why did the web tell you to do that? Assuming that's why you called it. It just got exploded. When if it weren't there, the firework would have just gone up into the sky, and that would have been it. Do they think that evil Spider-Man Ezekiel would have just let you get on the helicopter? Well, and I this know is where you live. This is all. This is all with like. Do you really think the helicopter's actually gonna land there while well, there's a bunch of no, fireworks going off? Building this They're not falling gonna apart. land on that roof. There's no way. He's not Bishop at the end of Aliens, okay? He's not gonna do some risky plays. The guy in that helicopter has no idea what's going on. Fucking nuts. Um So yeah. If you're Ezekiel at this point and you can see that she recognizes there's three people in peril and that she wants to save them, do you kill her? and then just enjoy the fact that all three are going to die? Or do you instead stand there and shout, You can't save all three! <laughs> oh, that, that one, that one, that's what I do. That's the one that I one, do. Yeah. That one, yeah. That if, one right there, yeah, that one. If you're a stupid, yeah. insane villain man, you would do that, yeah. It's so fucking stupid, I couldn't believe it. I was like, you got it, it's man. It's funny that he said you can't save all three. It's like, really, you can, you can barely save one of them. Yeah, <laughs> good luck saving two even one. In, two of them are in inaccessible locations. So, I promised that she would web all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> and, she, and indeed she does. So, oh. she accesses the web. The hyper she web. She does an echo. She makes an echo. She does the echo thing. The web echo has been activated. Is, the mainframe is online, so she's in there. And she manages, and this is the thing. This has been set up. So anyone in chat who says, dude, what the fuck? Anyone who says that is wrong. Anyone who didn't even imply this is a poorly yeah. written film. So <laughs> what, no, what happens wrong. is that she spawns ghost versions of herself that can all save all of the girls at the exact same time as though she's splitting herself across a web. She's yeah. spidering herself. It's like herself. she's making different Whatever. versions of herself. She's, she's like Madame projecting web. She's madaming into herself. different web areas. Like clones? Yeah, like she makes yeah. clones essentially. She Web makes clones, little little ghosty clones of herself running around, and they all save the girls. Um, I don't know what what this and, uh, what, what spider trait this just, is supposed just, to represent, but what spiders being able to split up into multiple different spiders. That's... Well, listen, I I already, I already think I have an issue with super strength being a spider trait, but I'm like, okay, but but this one here. This one's like what? What spot? How is this related to spiders? Well, least of this film's issues you know, is its and thematic then, relevance. Evil Spider-Man just sort of stands there and lets this happen. Yeah, he, he does. Uh, I was, you, you sort of sitting there thinking, like, man, He's if he had just tackled her or punched her, this would be over. Yeah, but he doesn't. Yeah, he, he eventually he does. Eventually, he eventually does after they've all been saved. Well, what, what you it, mean is he does once he's allowed to. Well, yeah. yeah, when it when it's showing like um, when when it zooms out a bit and you're watching all this madness happen, I think they have him doing the whole confused like oh what oh oh what am I oh, oh. like he's kind of moving up oh, and back and he's looking around like he's totally bewildered by all this instead of him just fucking just just killing her instantly because he has super strength I think so he can just uh, he can just kill her you can just kill her she's just a normal person you can just kill her. With your hands. You can just grab her neck and squeeze it and break it. I like as well the the montage of her saving them with one of them as she's picking her up. She's like, you're gonna be okay. And it's just like, this fucking, <laughs> this fire and chaos everywhere. The man is still there trying to kill you. All of this peril has been created by you. It doesn't even, it's not even the murderer. <laughs> and he's also here. I just, sure, it's nice to say to somebody. I just find it hilarious. If she was picking me up at that point, saying it's going to be okay. It's like, it's not and okay. Them, this is not okay. <laughs> there's the one girl, it's Hungry Girl. When she gets thrown onto the sign, the, the one that looks like terrible CGI that isn't believable in any way. She's just sort of like hanging on the sign on some like cross beams or something. Mm -hmm. The Madam Web projection that goes to her. I don't think it does anything. 
Like I with the other, she's Scarlett like pulling Howard it up. Help because yeah, how can because you, you can't really it? do that. It would be long and awkward for her to get off that position right. and get back onto safety. Whereas the other, she's kind of like pulling them up. And that's like, okay, that makes sense. But well, it's, with it's, Hungry um, Girl, it's verbal support. They don't even show it. It's t <laughs> telling her that she can do it, gets her to do it right. Yeah, you can sense? do it. Yeah. You got you just, this. You have trouble with film language. I've noticed that. But that's okay because we're here to explain it to you. Uh, it's, it's just <laughs> a subtlety, even... you know? I just remember they just they didn't even try and show her saving Hungry Girl. There's no way that they <laughs> could do that. It looks too awkward and weird based on her, like where she's hanging on the sign. So. We reach the Pepsi sign. They are. I love. I don't love Pepsi, but we've established this. They're on the Pepsi sign. She's crawling along it, and he's he's after her, and he says, <laughs> "He's really big he's, mad. He's really How mad, and he, and he says, you 'You're just like your mother, which is <laughs> fucking insane.'" Girl, classic, classic villain line. You're just like the aspirational character. <laughs> just, to, <laughs> just to be clear, these two are nothing alike. I don't no, even that, know what. That, well, imagine we being don't even him. know what he's referring to. You're we just like the the you. pregnant woman I shot because she didn't want to lose the healing spider. <laughs> what? Yeah. You're just like her. <laughs> you're That's just who like you're her. like. <laughs> just like the woman I shot fighting over <laughs> a jar. <laughs> In much the same way that she didn't give up for some reason, you have elected to split yourself into multiple versions of yourself to stop me. Just like your mother. <laughs> Set off fireworks that have miraculously hit me several times. Just like her. It's such a cliche villain line. Well, and so You're just like them. Once again, though, if, if you were trying to make this funny, it's like, what would you have her say back? It's like, there's a couple of options, but I quite like what they go with, which is her saying, yes, I am. <laughs> yeah, I, I did appreciate that. I appreciated that. That was that was great. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. That's right, Cassie, just Chad yes. Yeah, you got yeah. it. <laughs> you know what? You're right. I am just like her. However she remember, was, had, I never knew her. the same uh, thing in Secret Invasion, remember? The the bad guy said it to uh, Amelia Clark. Oh, you're just like uh, Gravik. Remember they did? It's so generic. Yeah. Well, if you we're not so different, villain, you and I, is the other one, right? right? Where they, they yeah, go like, you and me aren't so different. Which, to be honest with you, he could have fucking said, he could have done that, and I would have bought that this would be the film. He would say, there's not much, di you know, you and I, we're, we're the same. We're working so hard just to have a chance, or something like that. Just some generic shit. It's always as a general rule, as a general rule, don't write your villain saying you're just like Ancestor, and similarly, don't have them say we're the same, you and I. <laughs> <laughs> if, if, if there's a connection, if you have a really good idea. If you have a really good idea for that, and there, yeah, and there is a meaningful connection thematically or whatever, then go for it. But, well, but even like, then, you these usually, let, really us, you usually let the audience pick it up and point it out themselves yeah, exactly, instead of having them. Oh, is this in like some shitty screenwriting handbook? It's gotta be. Like gotta where be. they just have a list of these lines where if you're stuck, if you're just stuck, turn to the page of miscellaneous in interchangeable villain lines and just grab it and plop it into your scripts. Plop. Plop is a good word for this film. Yeah, really plop it in. Yeah. You're plopping it in. Plops. You're dropping it particularly haphazardly, I feel, mm -hmm. is what plopping it is. So Madam Plop. The uh the sign <laughs> the sign is falling apart. And uh, and yeah. as pieces fall on him, trapping him sort of on the on the sign at the back, she says, "Those girls were never in your future. I was." Which um, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> I, not only not only is that a bizarre question, but then it raises the question of why the fuck did he get visions that they were going to kill him? Why I did, don't know. He, well, he was he was cursed because he death. stole the spider. That's what the guys say back in the Amazon. But got, I guess it was it was all a lie to mislead him into a situation where he, Madam Webb gets him. I can't. I, I, <laughs> when she said that, I was legit so confused. I was like, why would she even say it? What? Why would she believe that? Did, I guess they thought it was badass, but like it's so fucking confusing because I guess she's yeah. right because his fate was to be killed by her, not them. Okay. Yep. And, then, and then he falls. <laughs> He, he does screams. fall. It's hilarious. It's like He's on a blue screen holding his arms up and screaming, No! <laughs> and oh. Did you mention, because I, have... uh, I had to step away, um, did you mention how when he's walking towards her on the sign, 
I remember her saying like out loud so that intended for us to hear as an audience. She was like, come on, keep coming. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. She did. She, she says that said. out loud as he's like right there fall, walking towards Which, her. Come on, kill me. Come on. Give, me. Come on. Me to give, her, give up the goat. Shut up. <laughs> what did you say? And it's like, what? What did you say? Did you say, come here? No, uh, I'm this gonna is, walk away. I'm this has the uh, this has the same energy as when in I think it was in the Desolation of Smaug when Bilbo said out loud, "The Black Arrow found its mark," and 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 Smaug went, "What did you say?" to imply the weak spot on Smaug's chest. Right. And Bilbo said it out loud because the audience really needed to know what he was supposed to be thinking at that point, and when it's utterly retarded to say that out loud. Uh, I have pulled up the most relevant screenshot for what happens next. <laughs> yeah. So, he falls, and as Fringy mentioned, he has the stupid, like, Oh, no! No! And what's so weird is no. you can see this distance. It's not that far for, and we I guess we didn't mention this, but there's earlier parts in this film where he jumps off of places and lands that are huge distances, more than this. So yeah, he can very easily recover. Strange. That. He's also been hit by two cars, one being an ambulance in mm -hmm. midair. <laughs> yeah, but this yeah. is a Pepsi sign. This is it's not even the Pepsi sign, it's one of the letters. It's like is it the S yeah. or the B or It's the... clearly the B from Bepis that hits him upside down. Yeah. <laughs> so how much money did Pepsi give this movie? <laughs> well, yeah, to so, be the so hero that stands. kills the villain. Pepsi kills the bad guy, it falls on him, and he just dies. There's no reason to think this would it, kill him. <laughs> it falls it on does. him perfectly, too. It's like, it's no, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, you can see that. It's, you could see him through like the, it's, is it the P that lands on him? But you could see the, um, yeah, you, you could see, see his, his face like in the, in the loop of the P. <laughs> and right. you see the little CGI blood behind him on the pavement. Can I just say, by the way, this is like looks like the Marvels. They put the villain death in the fucking trailer. So weird. Yeah. I don't know why, but I don't know what they were thinking with that Marvels one. She explodes, <laughs> and they're like, "Yeah, let's chuck that in the trailer." Well, we don't want people to be like worried or anxious that the bad guy wins. You know, we'd better throw into the trailer oh, that. Yeah. Don't worry, guys. The good guys win. The bad guy loses. Do you know that apparently they shot an alternate ending for that where Captain Marvel also dies? Oh, wow. If only. Yeah, apparently that was the case. They shot an alternate ending where she, like, explodes. Do you think that when they pitched they decided... that to Bree, she was like, sure. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> like, uh, yeah, uh, I mean, maybe. And, they're and like, I would have thought you'd be out, upset. No, not, She's not, like, yeah. We're not getting rid of you just yet. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, then she all equally right, is like, sure. fine. That's fine. Whatever. Yeah, all right. Um, But with... anyway, that's the end of Evil Lady out. Spider-Man. That's He's it. He's done. We'll, we'll miss him. He was so, so is great. Madam Web. She's well, yeah, trouble. so she, you know, you think like, oh, we did it. Bad guy's dead. But no, she falls too. And as she's falling, you see fireworks are slamming into the water around her. And unfortunately. Well, she falls into the water. <laughs> Luckily, yeah. she falls into the water when he fell on the pavement. Yes. But also, she fell into the water from pretty high to the point that that fall might have killed her. Nah. She fell off the top of the a web. building. Like, you, what, what you, is that? Like a good 30 meters? Can you, you? I mean. Oh, yeah, you can. Yeah, you can absolutely fall into water. On your back? On, on your back. back? Oh, on your back. Because uh, if you did like the emergency I don't know about your back. where you, you know, like you hold your arms together and you well, go no, straight I can down. Sure. The water, yeah, I've, the water's I've already that, broken but... up because of all the fireworks, you know, so she's not slamming ah, into a flat. Right. She's the fine. Water, water, she's fine. Yeah. The web. Is Fringy, the web. The web mm -hmm. does the guide web. her to safety, but the web taketh as much as it giveth. <laughs> and the web giveth and taketh away. A firework. This shit was. I knew about <laughs> some of this, like the character from the comics, right? But I didn't. I didn't know they were doing this. So the firework goes into the water and slams right into her eyes. <laughs> and it's just like, what? Why? This and... uh. It... <laughs> and, uh, like, would and it lose she's momentum because it's water against yes, it would. fire? Yes, it would. It would lose a lot. <sighs> Bullets slow down dramatically when they hit the water. Yeah, she was like yeah, pretty far about, down into the water three already. Feet, you're, basic, you're basically bulletproof after about She was three very feet, far so. down. She was really very far down. Very far down. down. She's yeah. probably like 30 feet down. She was down far. 
And that's I don't know it. why, but this leagues. that kind of reminded me of how, like, in the the like reboot new timeline X Men films, that the reason why Charles is bald is because the apocalypse thing made his oh hair pull god, out. That was so funny and stupid. <laughs> it, re- it reminds me of that, where like you come up with these really weird and stupid origins for the way that a character is supposed yeah. to look. Well, so this, all, this also off, um, so I lost my hair. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that also crippled her. Uh, I guess the, f- I don't know if she's crippled or if she just uses the chair because she's blind and she doesn't want to use the cane. I don't know either. I don't know. I have no idea, but I mean, yeah, we only see her in a wheelchair after this. So yeah, um, they drag you, her you out. you can't skip the payoff. Yeah, that's right. They drag her out of the water and this is the big payoff of the movie. This is what you've all been waiting for, <laughs> chat. We've built this up <laughs> and finally we can have it. She has indeed kind of drowned. What do you need to do with someone who's drowned or close to just being perma-dead when they've taken in too much water? You need to give them CPR. There's a desperate moment there. You gotta get them, or the, 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 the compressions anyway. And so, the music is, is just, it's losing it. Cause it's so, the music itself knows what a big <laughs> moment this is. It's like, I, I hope I can you know, do it well. And the actress is new as well. This is, this is huge. So they, they perform the compressions between them and the camera's just spinning around like, good God, look at this. And they set it up. They really did. If anyone claimed they didn't set this up, you'd be fucking wrong. Cause they did several times. And you know what? It's, it's what? Madam Webb's teaching that in turn saves Madam Webb. Well, she is a really Good teacher. She is a really good teacher, that's true. Obviously, she's blind you know, and possibly paralyzed, but, you know, she doesn't need to comment on that. Well, remember, she comments later about that, all right? She not does, at the time, okay? Want, not, not at well, that I mean, time. She just, look, right, she just got fished out of the water, okay? She's just happy to be breathing, which is fair. You know, she's done, but she's she been is through really a lot content today. with the fact that she can't see. You would think that it would be the, the, the main thing on her mind at that point of, like, Oh, uh oh. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know we're done with that. So then we see that Peter Parker is born. We still don't mention his name though. Do, do we a, a a nondescript uh child is born to uh May Parker potentially. We don't know and, who it and, is. We're not well, legally allowed to say who it is. Uncle Ben is there, but his dad is not. He's off somewhere else. Yes, I guess R- Richard is not he, there. He is not present. That to me feels very much like they actually genuinely feel like Uncle Ben. <laughs> like he's like yeah. the dad always from the very beginning. Like not that he was his later father figure and that he had a dad. <laughs> like <but laughs> it's it's just and I don't know, it feels like the meta seeping in. It's like, yeah, that's Uncle Ben. That's his dad. It's like oh, well, he is in I the think... in the broader, you know, metaphorical uh sense, or I guess philosophical sense. I think Rag still... said May was a Mary is the name of the Mary. Sister. Yeah. Not May. That's, well, sister-in-law. that's yeah. Because anyway. remember, Ben Parker's brother is Richard Parker. Yeah. Right, right. Um so you know, all of it is there's no it doesn't add anything to the film at all. All of those little bits. No, it's it's uh and it's so funny because you remember how people felt that way about um they felt that way in Joker about like the Thomas Wayne and the and the the Batman stuff, but like yeah. that's that was way more tethered to the story. Oh yeah tied in. This, oh, in this dude, case, so much it, it does too... feel like well, we're Spider Man adjacent, so we might as well have an adjacent Spider Man thing going on. Dude, that was an explosion of meaning. The uh, a casual piece of violence during this like revolution from Joker Created creates Batman. the Batman. Like yeah. that's so fucking interesting. But that's cool. And, and, and also, Thomas Wayne was a character. Yes, he was. Thomas Wayne was a character. Um. So we were. we're the, she's in the hospital bed and surrounded by her wonderful family, and they say, "We're not going to leave you, Cassie." And then she says, "I wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for you." And then they say, "Right back at you." I, I just good stuff. Wow. It's really good. It's really they are good. now they are bonded. <laughs> they are family. In fact, uh, the nurse fate. says the, the, these all family, and she says they're all mine. Oh, the, 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 see? <laughs> look, <laughs> no, no. What? Oh, that that made me laugh too because the nurse comes in. They'd better be family. They are nurse leaves. 
<laughs> and that's like that's it. Well, that's and the same. Were, that's in, it. were you were you not coming in here to but, run some kind of test? No, no, just to check. Do you see though the like just so that, both just the so interactions? That Madam Web could say that they're her family. Both those interactions are both not needed because we're supposed to draw that from watching them as people. But then they do a third mm -hmm. one, being do you need anything? Yeah. And she says, "No, I have everything right here." Mm hmm. It's like stop, and then and then, <laughs> and then they ask because th that's the same scene where they ask her, "Oh yeah, how's it feel to like be blind?" And then she just says, "What does she say? I can see better than I ever have." Oh, some bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Lines. She says like I can see better than ever. <laughs> it's like yeah, but I meant how does it feel to like literally not be <laughs> yeah. able to see? That's what I was <laughs> asking. Well, and and, and uh, they say as well about uh, Peter being bored. They, the baby is doing great. Bed is happy. All the fun and none of the responsibility. And then she says, that's what he thinks. Ah, she's like, so she's, she I need you to understand. She's <laughs> memeing about Mary and Richard dying. Yeah. <laughs> like, that is pretty crazy, isn't it? it what is a cunt. She's memeing about the tragedy of Peter's life and Uncle <laughs> Ben's taking And she knows. <laughs> and... But she knows she can change the future. And she won't future. do anything yep. about it. No, well, because yeah, we need Spider-Man, and that's that the only way that happens. Spider -Man. So, sorry, Mary. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> See ya. Wait, Goodbye. What, what, sorry, but Ben, sorry, Ben, as well. Sorry, Ben, you have to die. But he Peter. can become Spider-Man, and Ben can no, live. No, Ben must the web die. Says. Ben oh, must she, oh, yeah, that's right. Ben Remember, must ben die. Ben must die. He must. The web has spoken, Rags. It's a canon ben, event. You ben can't is, interrupt the prophecy. Ben, ben must die. He must. Ben, ben die. must die. <laughs> the rich a one. million trillion universes are stained with the blood of countless oh, Ben. Of countless Ben's. <laughs> On the altar of Uncle Ben. <laughs> Think about, oh, like, I could imagine that as like an eldritch horror movie where one Ben Parker realizes that the universe has guiding forces that ordain his death. It's so funny. And then he dumb. just runs around <laughs> in a, a nether realm with a river of Ben Parker. Yeah, blood. there's just Ben Parker hell where all the Ben yeah. Parkers are. Like... All the ben Parkers are. <laughs> um, we, yeah, we had this. Uh, the, it's, I guess for those who don't know, we had the whole. When we were talking about a lot of Spider Man stuff, there are people who seem to be like really intent that ben absolutely must die we ben can't have a spider-man got... without ben parker being fucking well, killed i suppose is there a is there like a version in a timeline of like a ben you know in the same way that well, flashpoint yeah, doesn't... had thomas wayne batman is but there a ben to, to clear up there doesn't have to be ben it has to be someone it can be like the the, the, the father mentor figure father yeah figure. yeah 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 i think someone anyway, yeah. It has, it, it, someone's gotta fucking die okay the web spoke that's right Oh, Madam and Madam Webb is she's watching over all of this grinning, and then they start playing evil music because she's the <laughs> villain. <laughs> it's all going according Dude, to my well, plan. We're so close to the end, we may as well carry on, right? So we're doing yeah. the wrap up, and they're all like living together now in the in the web house because the the, the web family <laughs> and they're going to be saving lives and shit. The and, web, yeah, the the, the web. <laughs> And they, they the see her and they're tower. like, yeah. can you see us in the future? And she says, yes, I can see you standing up for what you believe in. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the fuck is... that is. <laughs> that speech is, is I, li I love that part the best because it's just, oh, God, no. <laughs> and, yeah, and she <laughs> says, you were always more this. powerful than you thought, than you know. And then it comes back to the girls <laughs> and they just go, makes sense to me. <laughs> 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 nice. Uh, yeah, and, oh, yeah, um, and this is the the final twenty five percent of the one minute where you see them being like Spider Women in their outfits. In yeah. Costume. Well, the, the yeah. last line for the movie is "Whatever the future holds, we'll be there." Ah! <laughs> <laughs> so generic. Anywhere. Oh, you won't. You, you won't be you anywhere. Won't. Oh, and, and dude, like, them and their full outfits at the end, it looks Ooh, terrible. Ultra cringe. Ultra cringe. The Madam Web costume with the big, like, glasses that she's wearing, the big red glasses. Mm -hmm. Those fucking like, easy visors. They, they, they don't have powers. These three girls are just normal, well, they're far below average, but they're, they're like shitty teen girls. Well, she's going to take they're them not, to the Amazon while she's researching spiders. <laughs> <laughs> they get them all bit by yeah. spiders so they get random spider-related powers. One of them's going to have, like, legs growing out of her back, I guess? I, that, I thought that was meant to be, like, the mechanical, kind of like in Spider-Man 2, or, like, the Iron Spider. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. 
Well, I don't you, know. one of them's gonna get electric beam webs. Well, yeah, psionic webs. That's uh, yeah. I don't know how that's gonna materialize, but all right. And then um, one of them is just gonna have more web shooters. What a film. Yes, and that's the end. Like what I said, I feel I have movie. made my argument for why this is fun to watch. It's funny. It's a funny I've, movie. I have looking back on it and talking about it again, it has gone up in my estimation as a so bad it's good kind of movie. It's so funny. It's if, hilarious. Yeah, there really is a sort of <laughs> There really is a <laughs> There there's just <laughs> Don't stop. There's just <laughs> It, I mean, look at it. No, I won't look at it. I will not look at it. This is madness. They put that on her face. <laughs> it looks so awful. It looks so bad. Is she, is she, is she, wait, for you, is she there in spirit? Is that what that is? Uh, I think that's what it is. Yeah. It's one of her projections. It's one of her projections, right? Yeah. Her spirit oh, by the projections. Way, that uh, that that shot, like at the end of the, I'm pretty sure that's reused. The shot where they were looking at uh, what's his name falling out the uh. Yeah, they've the, oh, the God, it is. They I think you're right. It and then took out the background because I guess they didn't shoot anything. Well, so that. Gary said that he thinks that this was added way later to try and like you know bait the, uh, their Avengers. Yeah. I I believe I can believe that totally. So fucking um, cringe. But it's I mean it's so funny because there is no future here. The best I could imagine, the best would be that they would pick one of them to do like maybe a Spider Woman movie about, if they were up for it. Which why would they be? You know that's that to me seems like the best that they could hope for in terms of continuing this. But why even bother? It's a meme. Just give up. Move on. Try something else. <laughs> I don't even. <laughs> I don't think it's just such a funny movie. It's, it's very, movie... it's very totality is funny. It is everything about it. You know, like like we started off with all of the mark. Like it took us an hour to get to the movie because the marketing and the interviews and the posters and the fucking ocean spray cranberry juice was so weird. Oh uh, wait, and... what what was the the art the the thing that we were meant to look at right the meme? Oh yeah, the Bayo and really thing. Excited about? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. We gotta oh, see it. Wow, because I, I haven't looked. I I wanted to save myself until I'm ready. Dude, <laughs> I just, I just this movie makes me laugh. <laughs> Like, in its very being. Just even kind the of. word Adam Webb saying them is funny. I think I don't know the picture is. of her with that that big red visor on her face. Oh, that must have it's... been really, like, <laughs> tough to That's shoot, you know, in terms of just showing up on set, putting all of this on, and like, all right, action. That's wild. There. Like, that's, that's, that's the be best rough. you came up with? That looks awful. $80 million. <laughs> Which I feel it's so funny. That's that is dramatically less than a Marvel movie typically costs, but it's still a lot of money to spend on a film. And this doesn't feel um like it costs eighty million yeah, dollars. Yeah. This doesn't feel like an eighty million dollar one. It's an hour longer and costs twenty million dollars more than this. And, had and it a was like cast. it had and a bigger had... cast, a better cast. It was a very, very immersive. 1930 like 2030s 40s 40s, period movie right that was an hour (laughs) longer you're right had a much better soundtrack Um, oh yeah amazing cast cast, multiple many locations Mm -hmm. um all these sets and this is just let's just well yeah like how much did it cost to just go shoot in a forest how much does it cost to just go to a diner and book it out and then shoot a few scenes there yeah, it's just a diner. A, it's just a I'm random a warehouse. It's just a, an ap- a it's just a bed or an apartment to a roof at night to just shoot. Though it probably was green screen. That's the thing as well, and that's all extra. You can't work. just you can't just bring you cameras. Can't just go someplace. to a location. You can't just work overnight. <laughs> like none of that. They went with the great responsibility one. Wait, wait, well, wait, okay. wait, wait! Like that's. <laughs> I guess there's a new one hit got, off the press. We got memes out. incoming. That's the Inco- thing. The, by the way, 
Also, like the memes in the Discord, the EFAT memes, they have been really good today. A lot of uh, a lot I mean, of the EFAT was. memes have they been always good. Quiet, memes they are always are good, but some days they're always gooder than others. Right, is, come uh, on, Mola. I want to see these memes. Yeah. Come what do you on. mean? I've only got one. I'm not a meme master. As far okay, as I'm concerned, I mean, Rags, wanna... if you want to post any from the Discord, you're welcome to. I do. I I have. Uh, I've I posted a fair amount of them. Oh, I've put them up. Oh. It's been going. Oh, well, we've seen those already then. Yeah, like the one with <laughs> Kylo Ben. <laughs> yeah, well, that was the main one from uh, from Beowin, but there are indeed more. Um, one sec. Well, now I'm really excited. I want it. So this one is, oh, uh, hey. is representative of something that people have been pointing out, which is that I guess Jay has finally been vindicated. The, Jay uh, has been vindicated. Fighters can indeed is. see the future, and... Madam Web is proof, but um, I will say this is not something that Madam Web came up with. It's kind of something that EFAP came up with. So, yeah, they should, they owe us money. I think we're owed a few what, royalties. What? Yeah. Yes, I think we're what owed a little bit of that. There are sweet, for this yeah, film. <laughs> what royalties? We are owed. We're owed like a percent of the profits of this movie. Oh yeah, the profits that I'm sure will materialize in good if time. If all of you need to go out and get tickets for Madam Web so that maybe a little bit of that will trickle back down to EFAP. Which is funny to think about that we're telling people to buy tickets instead of them just giving that money to us. Don't, like I said, don't spend any money on this movie. No. No, like, no, it's but... shit. This movie's, memes aside, this movie is shit. This movie is terrible. Yes. Funny. Very funny. To the point where I did defend it as a, um, uh, a so bad it's good. I do believe it qualifies. Yeah, I think so too. I think I've come around on it. Originally, I wasn't thinking so, maybe, but now I think I do. Yeah, I think I've changed my mind on it. It's no wish upon, but then again, oh, God, no. what but... is? So, <laughs> I think the it's no Batman and Robin, but it's no, something. no. It, but it, whoever I watch it with, I would just be very excited to see them see him punch the the firework into the helicopter. That's such a great moment. But I the... think oh, if I were to be making some it. kind of parody film, I would probably have that in there. Just. As a reference to the great Madam Web. Why wouldn't I? We got some good ones. Oh. oh we used to get a lot of movie posters. Uh, you know, but we, haven't had a, well, we haven't had a meme pack in a while. We gotta, we gotta catch up on our memes. We do. We got so much to catch up on. We got so many I know. things. Fucking Halo this shows coming out. I like there's multiple versions of each of us. I just can the tell the spider future. milk <laughs> <laughs> face with a hand up. There's been a number of memes about it. There was a um, let's see, let me go grab it. Da, 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 da. I mean, the ocean spray is still to me some of the toppest of tier of fun. It's almost like the people who were in charge of the box they wanted it to fail. They were just like, This is a big experiment, which wait for people to notice. It's like seeing uh, Kylo Ren on a bag of salad, you know? I think they have those, like Baby Yoda on yeah, a that's cabbage. What I'm saying. Yeah. Because why not? This clearly. <laughs> it's just. Someone made that. <laughs> and they were right to. <laughs> Such a bad image. <laughs> but like it's the right kind of bad. I'm very happy that it exists. Oh. <laughs> well, hey. We're uh we're closing in on good old Oh my god. Wait, I think he actually put out <laughs> tweets. He he actually put out tweets saying it was awful, right? Oh, oh shit! No, that was Echo. I don't know. Maybe he approves of Madam Web. I don't I know. Think, no, I think he, I think he said Madam Web was shit. Damn. But what is that word? Can, isn't it crazy how you could look at Echo and be like, yeah, Echo's really good. Echo's Madam Web bad though. Yeah, yeah but but, but Madam Web Sony. is bad. It's Sony. Yeah. It's because it's Sony. And when it's Sony, they actually get like looked at accurately <laughs> for like how bad they are. <laughs> It's time to clap. They'll back. all come around eventually. It might I do. take a while. It might take years. It's kind of sad. Eventually. I, I would like to see Madame Web interact with Venom and Morbius. Yeah, that'd be really, be funny. really funny. Yeah. But they're not going to do it. Oh, no way. Imagine, 
<laughs> and then Craven shows up too, all of them together. They like they have a meeting it's, with um... Dakota Johnson. She's like, "I'll never be a part of this ever again." It's like, no, but do you want? <laughs> look, I know it's not art, but do you appreciate I'll give you ten more billion dollars? Yeah, like, do you do you understand <laughs> the memes? Like, do you understand? She's like, "No." And you're like, "Okay, well, we could ha- just we'll pay you. We will. You need to have this happen. <laughs> we'll pay you a lot of money." <sighs> Good time. But um, yeah, that that does take us to the end. Uh, I'm so sorry. There yeah, is grand adventure. The web can only take you so far. You know, we've learned mm-hmm. a lot today. We've understood the drastic. It was our fate to be here. We were fated to be here. The web, the spiders. The yeah, spiders and brought us here. I feel like there's just so much you can learn from this film that we've covered that uh, that I think everyone's going to take with them now, wherever they may go. Oh my God, it's the Frankenstein. It's really good. Yeah. <laughs> Peter's in there. <laughs> Look at him, there, Peter. <laughs> 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 He's so happy. <laughs> this will be created is, in 3D well, remember, to promote the EFAP movie, of course. This is moments before destruction, Rags. He's about to crash yeah. into the tree in front of Joe Swanson's house. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's a freaking copter, so it's Look fine. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, well, you know what? Uh, before we start to wind down, Jay Longbone, what have you been up to lately? Where can people find what, you, what you're doing? Oh, well, you know, uh, the link to my channel, Jay Longbone, description, so check that out. Yeah. But I'm not going to say exactly what I'm coming out with yet. I got uh, one video I'm going to come out with soon, probably next week. And I just got done filming a review that I've been promising for years. <laughs> uh, so, you know, that's going to be out Sweet. soon-ish. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Well, it's worth mentioning to everybody that the uh, the porn films that me and Rags watched with you are out now, right? The edits of those? Uh, well, yeah, one <laughs> of them is out. The one... F- well, we still... Oh, that's right. We still have to watch the third one. <laughs> of course, we have to. Yeah, I mean, course. we have to. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's yeah. as, it's the, this is where the the web is uh, fading <laughs> us that we have to watch another porn well, film with you. Well, it is webbing, all right. Um, <laughs> gonna... See people like what porn <laughs> film? I was only joking. They're very they're intense no, sort of weren't. dramas that are very romantic, and uh, <laughs> I I just there's some booby in there. That's all. That's all. That's all. I mean, rags have plenty of commentary to provide as to the nature of the writing. We're very much invested in the stories and. That they take care of oh, the characters. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, sure, yeah. I don't remember a single character's name, but that doesn't mean anything. I didn't remember the characters' names in Madame <laughs> Web, really, and look how incredible that was. So, you know, it's uh... well, well, yeah. The 365 Days sequel uh, reaction with uh, these two fellows mm-hmm. on my right. I don't know, whatever, whatever angle you're looking at this in, like Mauler and Rags. It's, that's out on my channel now. And it's out on Twitter, the uncensored version, hey. because yeah, YouTube's powerfully uncool. So, <laughs> well, there you it's go. Really, it's really good. They, they really are. Um, I uh, they really are good. Uh, watch the uh, watch it. I had a lot of good, a lot of good time, a lot of good time. Easy recommendation, especially if you like the the combo that was present in the old Gotham High reading, which you know, what a what an adventure that was too. The full version of that is out. You guys can all check it out if you didn't know already. Mm-hmm. And you'll see uh, Jay Longbone nice and present in plenty of EFAP movies to come, of which there are close to like a hundred that need to be released now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, all good fun. Friggy, Rags, anything you guys wanted to say? Oh. No. No. I don't have anything to say after all this. Mm hmm. I think uh, uh, I think we've said what needs to be said. I mean, it's it was mentioned last week, but EFAP TV, Halo, that's what I am presently working on, making good progress, and that's that's an adventure you can look forward to soon. And, and otherwise, otherwise, just working in general. Yeah. Uh, all of your work on the good old EFAP TV Lokis have been coming out every Wednesday. Those are yay. Yes. Those are coming out. So we're up to episode two with the Brad episode. Yeah, they've had the Brad episode. <laughs> Brad. Yeah. Uh, more Plenty more memes inbound. You'll not fully even understand yet. the enigma that is uh, Loki with guest Jedi Brooks. So um, enjoy that too. And uh, Lord of the Rings, all three of them separated, have been up for two weeks now with any without any YouTube pressure on it. So those will be coming out probably next week, I'd imagine. 
Uh, not exactly what sure what days, but you're going to get swamped with Lord of the Rings stuff. Some of you may have seen already. You know, if you can help us out, give it a little watch if you liked it, because uh, the other one is going to be going uh, unlisted, the trilogy as a whole, because YouTube will just not allow... Like, them being released separately, you're allowed to do. If I put them all into one video, it hits it with copyright that attacks things that aren't even, like, two seconds. I don't know what's going on, but I have given up. I can't deal with it. As in, I can't actually deal with it. There's nothing I can do that'll uh, make YouTube stop. So I had to split them into individual films. So those will be released. As as I said last week, the, the sort of output numbers will be changed accordingly. And then... Uh, I'm currently rendering them all, but there is 20, I want to say 26, there may be more or less than that, uh, videos that are all broken up into the topics, and those will be released once per week on a Friday, which means you'll get a smaller Lord of the Rings video every week for 26 weeks, something like that. It's going to be weird. Plus, obviously, Stargriff, plus, obviously, EFAP, plus, obviously, Loki slash Halo, and those are coming out. And then anything else that happens to pop up. So, you know, like the War Arc. Um, you're getting them once per month. So the next one for that is going to be here in, like, two weeks. Maybe a bit more than that. So, you know. Uh, and then, of course, if you're keeping track of me on other stuff, like Open Bar, the catch-ups for that, and Real BBC, you're pretty much getting a lot of stuff every day. And isn't that wonderful? Oh, yes, and I will get back to streaming more Arkham City. I'm going to try and do one per week of those, because I got, I got a lot of stuff to do. So... Those are the updates. Uh, anything else from anybody else before we sign off? I think that about covers it. Yep. Very well. Good night, everybody. Wait. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, yeah, and catch-ups will be coming out as well, as we will do a catch-up for this episode, too. Thank you very much for the kind messages, kind donations, fun company. Hope you enjoyed this breakdown of one of the greatest films of 2024. We hope to see it win an Oscar. Or maybe a Razzie. But we'll yeah. see you, folks. Bye-bye. See everybody. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.